music white boy play the fucking music white boy I don't know how the song goes we'll see you're better at it the idiots the idiots on social media have the leaks again Timmy they got the leaks <laughs> I got the leaks again number one wristwatch idiot coming to you live everybody Hell yeah, let's freaking go. Let's blow the lid. Blow the lid, OC, from this uh, from this uh, release. Oh, I probably should have played the video. Hey, you know what? I was way too excited. Rolex, see, they know how to totally get people hooked, hype them up, and uh, we kind of create the possibilities that, that are wild, completely out of this world. I suspended the disbelief and just you know, went down a rabbit hole into what these watches could possibly have become. But now, the reality settles in, Osea, and you realize... And, this, and the reality is a lot less than we expected. <laughs> a lot less exciting, yeah. It's not as exciting. I wouldn't... Yeah, I'm not excited at all. It's just none of the watches that I like. Unfortunately, so we're gonna go through every single piece. We'll break it all down for you guys. So make sure you smash the upvote button. We might even stay long enough until the damn watches are fully announced. And I think they're gonna they're gonna go live on the website at like 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. tonight. It's 9 o'clock Geneva time, right? So what's that? Oh, we'll see. Like 2 or 2:30 a.m. 2:30 a.m. Eastern. 2.30 a.m. Let's see. When Iconic meets Unexpected. April 9th. Shout out to Unicorn Magic, the official copyright-free provider of the Tim Wright theme. The soundtrack to my life. <laughs> Psychic Magic. Can, Can we, we address the, elef the elephant in the room? Can we yes. address the elephant in the room? Look at what we have here. This is the new Timothy Wright. The cleanup, cleaned up. Nice and fresh and clean. What do you think, Osea? Pretty cool. Yeah, pretty I, I was somebody said that Tim looks like uh, Marco from Luxury Bazaar. No, bro, I don't see that? No, bro, bro, what the heck? You guys are kidding me. It's not even close. All right, so let's just everybody calm down, calm down. I'm not saying I'm a particularly good-looking guy. I'm not a good-looking guy. In fact, thank no, you, roommate. No, no. Whoa. No Endless Time, shout out to No Endless Time and the German crew. Timmy and OC with the fresh haircuts and style. Oh, yeah, OC's got the new haircut cut, cut as well, and he lost weight. Okay. Lost weight. Tim, so Tim is the first person to see me in person this morning, by the way, I have to report that I hit my target goal, and I was actually under 178.6 pounds. Boom. Wow, you have... You're you're an inspiration to watch enthusiasts all over the world. It's true. It's true. See, <laughs> it's like it's like when the Daytona you know shrunk from twelve point one millimeters to eleven point six or whatever. Yeah, I'm, I've I've shrunk a little bit. Do you I'm feel... in fighting. I'm in fighting weight, Tim. I'm ready for watches and wonders. I'm ready to see all the incredible new date jests. <laughs> I'm ready to see just there. all the incredible new day dates with new dials. <laughs> we got this nothing. Be We've gotten, cool. yeah, I guess. I'm actually kind of excited to see that stuff. No, see? Sure, why not? Look, hopefully you haven't seen the leaks yet because I just transferred them onto the computer. Let's, uh, we could start out by just, by just going over what we thought, what you thought. Uh, and and then we'll slowly roll it into. Um, uh, oh shit! I think what actually happened? Live stream again without without turning it off. Hold on a second. Jesus, you forgot to end stream. Uh -oh. Amateurs. Amateur hour. Oh no no! I oh, know it's all good. Never mind. Oh, good. Shout out to all the Oshin audience because Oshin actually transferred over his stream. He was doing the the leaks analysis. I have sent him uh, all the images that I gathered over, you know, 
during the day of all the different leaks that people have been sending me. If you are coming over from Oshin's live stream, please subscribe uh, here to my channel as well. We do wristwatch kind of analysis just like Oshin does, but a little bit differently. Oshin does it from artistic perspective. We do it more from the news perspective. It's a different show. Great show. Fantastic show. Oshin is a huge fan, and uh, he's like a bit of my mentor in a way. Actually, he is. So, yeah, guys, subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. Become my mentor members. is Britt Pierce. And Britt Pierce? Yeah, my mentor is Britt Pierce. Your mentor is Britt Pierce? <laughs> Look, you, you actually... She's be she has beautiful hair. I'm very jealous. That's why. Do you know who, who Britt Pierce's mentor was? Oshinoma. Uh... He, he got her started. He gave her the early shout out, like at 5,000 subscribers, so, something like early days, you know? Yeah, I don't early think days. that means that he was her mentor. It means that, that he kind of boosted her. He recognized he that she would. Yeah. Uh huh. What were you going to say? No, I just, I just uh, compared and contrasted what it meant to be boosted by somebody and mm -hmm. to actually look up to somebody. Yeah, I mean, look, I, I think uh, Britt Pierce does look up to some you know oshin's like watch videos i don't know if you know she does her videos are more of like drop the link for brit she can tell us herself link for brit pierce it's a different concept uh, oshin oshin videos and uh, brit pierce different concept they do it they do it differently right like she does it from in a way like a news way like she reports on the latest news but she does, and, and she also kind of gives her opinion about the watch. So, but Oshin does it like a really artistic way. It's a, it's a different approach, completely different approach. But hey, they're doing what their what their strengths are in. Our strengths uh, are taking a twenty two second teaser and stretching it out to four hours. Well, today we're gonna have to stretch it to like seven or eight hours. <clears throat> so, guys, sit down, grab a bottle of wine. Pop it open, pour yourself a glass, join us in the chat. We're going to be talking to everybody. This is the biggest day kind of in the Rolex. In the year, this is the biggest day for Rolex. Right. Because this is when these pictures are supposed to go live all, to everybody. And we got them eight hours early. That's fine. And we'll go through them. Maybe these are fake as well. Like there's a possibility Rolex is faking us out, right? It's like a, another one of those simulated leaks. Whoa, check this out. Shout out to Oshina Mali. Tim looks sick. Nice, cleaned up look. Thank you. Thank you very much. It, Actually, took, it, took, it took the team of creative directors at, uh, at my particular salon to uh, like an hour and a half to go through all the matted hair, gum that they found in there. They, I think they found like an old parts of an old parking sign buried underneath there it was it was, it was troublesome okay i was saying he, he didn't hair. look like he was having fun it was it was a matted sticky mess it was like that. don't you ever shampoo brush. your hair i do but but the the problem is is that my tips are all kind of torn up because i bleached the hair so yeah. the hair is really damaged but you got you, you got it you got to brush through it you can't just let it stay like fucking matted well i'm sorry oc i don't have the time uh, to, <laughs> i don't have time it's like, saying you don't have, yeah. it's like saying you don't have time to brush your teeth every morning. Well, no, I have the time. T teeth is more important. The Because if the, the freaking dentist, you know, the dentist, I can't take. If I have to fix another crown, it's going to bankrupt me. Okay. I, I just, the, the dentist drained all of my money, all of my extra income, everything that I have saved up. It's all gone. Yeah, to there, was the a, there was a hazmat team that almost had to be deployed to uh, clean up the mess from this. It's true. It's true. It, but OC, oh, you know what? <laughs> but look at the result. Look at the result. The results Let's speak for themselves. Yeah, take a look. This is the real, the real life results. Check it out. There you go. Oh, there you go. Before and after. This is before you kind of look like your 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 old self again because all of the uh, pink and yellow and blonde tips are now like all gone, and you're back to your natural brown. I'm back to the beginning, OC. Oh, back to the Do beginning. You understand? Yeah. Do you understand? Like. All that hair it represented all the different drama that I have been to. And now 
I have shedded all of it, right? And I'm a free man. I can now go through the world as a new person, new, cleaner, better looking Timothy Wright. Uh, shout out to Easy E, member for 13 months, Timmy Lucia. Staying up all night. Will we get a red bezel sub or even a red liner? Tim, I knew just for men models. Tim, I know. Yeah, just for men. The funny thing is when when his hair was getting cut, it kind of naturally falled into this new parted look where it kind of it fell to the right and fell to the left. And Tim doesn't like that. He likes his it you know his own way. way. So way. uh but roommate was like, leave it that way. Like leave it the way that the people did it. And he's like, no, nah, no, nah, I like I I like to just fucking mess it around and have it. I like it this way. It just it looks fine this way. It's it's actually the other way is more is like the natural way, I think. Listen, it'll be seen in uh, at Watches and Wonders. We have Cam joining us. You you want you want Cam on Osea, or you you rather? Uh, well, I mean, I guess we could have him on until he says something stupid, which should be about ninety seconds. Okay. Hey Cam, we're gonna do some wristwatch releases. The Rolex leaks. Are you ready to talk some leaks? Uh, sh yeah, sure, man. Yeah. It doesn't sound very enthusiastic, and you don't really bring much expertise or knowledge. So, I, I do. I'm a consultant. That's what consultants do. So I, I'm the perfect person for this. Oh yeah. Okay. Fantastic. Have you pre have you prepared the slides? Because I mean, we have we've got slides ready to show all the new models. I mean, do you have slides and bullet points ready? Yeah, I didn't get any heads up. So I. I mean, yeah. Hey, by the way, uh, Cam, you actually had some great advice from humble pine he literally said it doesn't matter whether they tell you don't bring slides or bring slides even if they tell you don't bring you have to just bring just in case so that if they change their mind when you get there it's like a game that maybe they're playing you know they're, they're trying to test yeah. your but you should have had those slides nonetheless yeah, despite... humble, pine, yeah. humble pine's right humble pine's right if, if they were a paying client yeah that, that's what something I would do for my clients. But you my have to look at this as an opportunity to uh, like, this is, this is not just one way you're doing the, the presentation validates your, you, you know, it, it validates the work that you're doing, right? The, it, it, it'll, you can put that on your I, resume. It, it's not, so you're not doing it for free. I, I don't need validation for them. I, I have one of the top offers in the entire program. Okay, at that cool. School. All, right. So All I, right. Let's talk Rolex. Well, let's talk to... Rolex, Cam. We don't want to talk about your slides anymore. We're done with the slides. I, I think it was it was cool story. We, we got to the conclusion of it. There's no point in talking about it anymore. Let's go in here and start with this thing. Number one breaking news off from the leaks is that there's going to be no sky dweller on a uh, presidential bracelet. That was all a misdirection. This is, it's just, it's just a regular day date that they're featuring in this image. In fact, this is the day date that we're already seeing. It's this one right here. Disappointment. Who now took let's, let's talk about, yeah, let's talk about this, this, this picture was taken in the Rolex booth in yeah. Geneva. Uh, because they're about to go, they're they're about to open, and they're going to be flooded with thousands of people. So people who were there testing the AV and doing the run through of all the scripts and everything, someone shot this video, and I'm sure they're not pleased at all. It could have been, yeah, I don't know how this got out, but it did. The video got out. People took screenshots, and but no, no this could have been planned as well. Like they're going to release it in eight hours, anyways. What's the point of, like, this is a wasted time. If, if Rolex, because look, Rolex can get us to talk about them before they even launch the official thing. And then they'll get us to talk about it again once it actually officially launches. They're yeah. getting us to talk about Rolex three days in a row. First with their official leak. Now with the unofficial leak. And then the third when it officially comes out. They're geniuses at this how to get the audience hooked line and sinker and just sucked in to uh, uh just you know just focusing on them and it's a freaking incredible brand 
I heard Oshin talking about this watch early, early in the show, and I thought Oshin is missing the whole point here. This is the best Rolex for Oshin because this is the Oscars limited edition. Oshin makes like videos, cinema style stuff, and he actually has a script for a wristwatch film like a, a film about that involves wrist wrist watches he shared kind of some bits and pieces with me in private incredible stuff hopefully i am like my dream is to someday you know i, I would like it if if it somehow she could actually make that film a reality it could be cool oh, a i thought you were gonna say it would be an actual a dream if Oshin would actually let you read the script uh, i mean listen i would love to see the script <laughs> because i wanna i would love to write my own film and this thing celebrates cinema in every single way. That's why I freaking love this watch. But I didn't want to see it in the freaking trailer to get me confused that maybe they're putting Sky Dweller on the presidential. This is like, this is a watch we're already seeing. So, however, yep. what, what are you guys' thoughts? This was a misdirection. A cool, is it a cool day date? Or is it not a cool day date? It's cool, but it's like, eh. Yeah. I would have preferred this in yellow gold myself. Yellow gold with the slate uh, slate uh, ombre dial. But they, they do so much rose gold. And I I don't know. I think it's the Fumé is classy. The, the, it looks like the silver screen. Do you understand? Like this is in a way, you know, when the silver screen starts out. Actually, let me find what I'm talking about. Maybe Maybe it'll help you. Silver screen, Hollywood. Hollywood. Let's see. When it's like starts out. Oh man. Yeah, it's it's disappointing if all that's different is a dial. Like, oh, we're gonna shoot the iconic meets the unexpected. We gave you a dial, <laughs> different dial color. Okay. It's black. Yeah, but. Oh what? It's, it's slate. It's slate ombre. So it's slate in the middle and it fades out to black on the edges. Yeah. Fume. So it's, it's it's like a like a cinema oh. screen. It's hard to explain. I don't know. I don't know. How do I? There is. is it? It's kind of like you're at the theater. Part? Like you're looking at the theater, right? When a projector shoots a beam of light onto a screen, it or it's it's a circle. It origin it comes in as a circle. And then it, it overlays on the square yeah. screen. And this is represents that. This is not like, this is not just the Fume, right? This was launched uh, on the, what is it? 90, how, what, what's the Oscars? 97? Nin, 90, 96th Annual Academy Awards. Okay, 96th Annual, it's kind of odd number. But but regardless, it, it it's a kind of watch that cele celebrates uh, legendary directors of cinema. When you turn on a film projector and that mm -hmm. beam shoots out of the projector, it's that it's a, it's a cylinder, you know, it's a cylindrical beam that yes. shoots out. And when you look at the projector, you see that bright oval, you know, that's what, that's what I envision when I see this. I'm, I'm looking at the, at a projector or a projector beam on the screen, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A solar uh, uh, can you pull up a picture of what you're talking about? Because uh, I think a lot of people, need to see exactly what you mean you could probably google it in the correct oh hey look at this we got django in the chat tim i'm pretty sure you're already well on your way on writing the um, embellished recounts of my troll dramas at this rate he'll need multiple sequels django i mean that that is that hasn't concluded yet i want to know who it was i listen man i would love to continue hunting the your troll and if you're up for it uh well we could do it tomorrow if you want to join us today we're not going to talk about uh you know your drama today at all we need to focus on the wristwatch releases i i would really appreciate if you wanted to join us it's pretty cool to have you on you're a watch enthusiast you like like watches it would be cool to get a to get your take on these leaks and these new rolexes uh, but yeah, definitely, definitely. I wanna, I wanna talk to you more. In fact, we need to talk in private on on some of this stuff, and we can actually put it into a story. We can get it published in like the New Yorker. It's a fascinating story, bro. And if we hunt down 
and find out who your troll was, man, that oh, would for be. Oh, fuck's sake! Are we back to this again? No, I'm just, I'm just saying. Jesus William uh, Gordrian, two euros. Ombre dial, same as the 36 millimeters. One, two, eight, two, three, five. Chocolate. Let's pull it up. Um. Oh, uh, but by the way, Cam, what's your take on this fit, uh, on this watch and uh, its relation to cinema? Are you you liking it or you're not a big cinema guy? Well, I mean, I see what uh, OC is talking about, um, but I guess if I was a director or a mm -hmm. film person, this might be cool. If I was surrounded by other film people in my career, I can just be like, hey, look at this. But uh, other than that, you know, next watch. Could you buy this if you're a huge fan of cinema? Think about it. Like if I you mean, like films, if you're a but, film uh, nut job. Who would, who would you share this with? I mean, people that love certain things love to share their passions. Like, I, No, you just, I this is for yourself. You buy this for yourself, bro. But sometimes you have to. You don't. But have, you're you gonna want to explain the the theory behind it, like why. Well, so this so you so let's say if you if you like cinema, let's say if you watched every single motion, like you know, important film in in your life, and you you like talking about cinema or whatever, just like watching cinema, you can get you know you can get yourself a date, and if people say, well, what's that? You, then you can explain how this is cinema, and you like film. What the what is there not to get? I dropped a link in the private chat. It's a, it's a Getty image, so it has a little bit of watermark on it. But oh. that's basically what I envision when I see this dial and I think of cinema, Let's how the cinema up. inspired them to do this dial. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's pull it up. Oh, 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 okay. I get it. Yeah, like that's that's a the direct hit. Direct straight look. You're looking lens. straight into the lens of the yeah. projector, right? You know, straight into the lens. And then it creates that effect, you know? Yeah. But Rolex is a big is big in cinema, right? Something huge, like huge. The They're the official the, uh, official yeah. uh, official sponsor of the Academy Awards, and they give a lot to charity, uh, theatrical related charities. Yeah, because Rolex is supposed to be a full on charity, anyways. So. So yeah, so they should be uh, they. Right, they're kind of they get involved, but they also they get involved in like these different cool causes. So that okay, was the brown I, um, brown ombre chocolate ombre right this there. One? Right, yeah. It's not the same though. Not the same because it doesn't have the deconstructed Romans. It has the yeah. uh, the diamonds instead. But it's the same same. It's the same thing. It's the same. Yeah, you know what it is. It's the, there's that other dial. I feel like. Oh, I get it now. I get dial. it now. I get it. Now. I get it now. Okay, so. This is a cinema, like like what OC is it's uh, showing the cinema, um, like when it it starts, and then you have like, the time yeah. that goes three, two, you one. You know when the reel kicks in? With the, yeah. You, you know, yeah. I, <laughs> I don't know. I don't have, I, I don't have the footage. I could see the footage in my mind. I tried googling it for it, and I can't, I can't find it. You know, yeah, imagine those two, big one. two reels. Oh, actually, yeah. I have it. I actually, I think I have it. It's on it's on Rolex website. Hold on a second. It's like I think if we put if we just go down here to cinema, let's see here. Shit, where's the cinema? The second hand sort of presents is like three, two, one, um, countdown in the cinema reflection thing. Sports innovation. Art if I could just yeah. if I can politely encourage anybody, and I mean anybody, to join me on the panel. With Tim, I'd Why? really, really appreciate it. I mean, we're fine. It. We're fine. We're doing okay. Where are you? I'd really appreciate it. Well, you oh, got okay. me here. So we're, we're, we're doing uh, dandy. Unfortunately, I can't find it. Oh, see. But it it was. Actually, I have it on my IG. I get it. I, I have it. Okay. Here we go. Oh, see. Actually, what I did, I took the screenshot when uh, when it when that watch was revealed so i have it i have it i have it. okay i just i just forgot that i had it here this is what i'm talking about okay here we go watch this bam there you go there you go this is directly from rolex uh david django no stream for me tonight 
I can summarize though. Rolex releases same watch for 50th year running. Added new dial and may have slightly improved the move. No, no, there's no movement improvements. Just, uh, just new colors, new variations. Anyways, look, that's just cinema. It's pretty cool. Celebrating cinema. See, see this. You can kind of, you, you can kind of understand that. What the kind of a look that they're going for. But anyways, I mean that's the first. This is the first of the leaks. Is this anticlimactic? Or this we've already seen this watch, so we're seeing it again. Oh, what was the what was the chat? Uh, I didn't see it. What, what was that? I don't know. It was a, some you pulled up a chat. I was gonna read it. No, no, no need to read uh, it. Okay, cool. CN says important stream that I was looking forward to, yet Cam makes me want to turn it off. Cam, Cam's not saying anything. Cam's cool. Cam, Cam. Yeah, that, Cam. that's that's dirty macking. OC, it's crazy. Hmm? Yeah, that's cool. Well, I, don't I don't understand your urban lingo. What could you talk in English? Can you just just ask him a question. I just, I'm just trying to ask you. What does that mean? Nice stream tonight. Greetings from Germany. Shout out to Mr. T. Just put it in the private chat, uh, uh, Cam. Yeah. Please explain what it means. I'm not sure what it. So whatever you said. Uh, Adriano 17, time to call it quit after this stream? No, no, no. We're just starting. This is this is a new beginning. You understand? Told you. I'm just starting out. Uh, here we go. Let's play the next one. All right. So this is the real watch. This is the new this new watch that's actually coming out. Okay. It's the same thing. Well, it's now on the Jubilee. Oh Sky Dweller God. on the Jubilee. I thought it would be presidential with open case back. That was like, that would be a dream. But all they did, they just added a Jubilee. Now, look, I understand it doesn't look like it's a big deal, right? Because, hey, it's just Jubilee exists on other models. But this is actually the biggest Jubilee. So Rolex, they did have to size everything mm -hmm. up because it's bigger millimeterage. So it is technically speaking, it's the it's a brand new bracelet. It just looks exactly like they're all other bracelets. Other Jubilee. I, bracelets. I don't I don't know what the big fucking deal is because honestly, it's already on Jubilee and steel and it's already on Jubilee and two tone. So whoop de fucking do, they put it on full gold Jubilee. Uh yeah. OC, what's your what's your estimates on this? Do you think this will be sitting in the case? Well, the other ones are you think just because this has a Jubilee bracelet instead of an Oyster bracelet that all of a sudden guys are flying off the shelves? These are 52000 52000 Expense, yeah. expense. Maybe I'll buy one. I mean, listen, there's, there's steel on Jubilee already. There's two-tone on Jubilee already. This is nothing. There's a GRNR, a Guinness, that's already in full yellow gold on Jubilee. This is a fucking uh, innovation. <laughs> Jeez, get fucked. I mean, it's boring. not technically innovation, right? It's not. It's just extension of the existing watch that already existed. It's not even a big deal. This is this is a nothing in, in a way. But nothing. look, but, but but wait, 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 wait. Before before going, like it did take them time to scale up a bracelet one millimeter, right? So they had <laughs> the the jubilee in twenty. Now this one is probably twenty one. So it 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 has they do have to do, put in some retool the machines <laughs> they, could, they have. They could tell they could tell a computer to fucking yeah. design it, and it'd be done in like seven minutes. And then they just have to create the equipment to do it. They the computer yeah, they feed it into the computer equipment. It's a full new equipment, though. No, saying. they just feed they feed it into the computer, and they just make they they make those uh, pieces and the new no, sizes. No, that's that's what you think, but that's not how it works. Okay, it's not a three D printer. You have to retool yeah. everything ground up. It's it's more. It, they're doing the same thing. That's the that's the genius of it. it's like they probably it probably took them a lot of effort to make this one millimeter bigger, but yet still look like it's that same size. Could we give these watches ratings, dude? They already exist in steel and two tone. Everything. All uh, they have to do is 11. use a different alloy. <laughs> it's like it's fucking the same. 
Hey, actually, you know what? Let's take a look at what, what what's available right now in in Sky Dweller catalog. Because yeah, take a look. Take a look. Let's see. Man, these things aren't Sorry. selling at all, especially on Oyster Flex. These are a fucking. Who would have thought when I when I got into this hobby, Tim? They said yeah. the most desirable watches are the Daytona and the Sky Dweller, but nobody will ever get the Sky Dweller. You know. You know, Sky Dweller used to be really not hot. It used to be really unwanted. So yeah. That's why they made it in steel, and then it sparked the hype up again. It's a complicated watch, OC. It's not. This is not a as as easy as you think. Yeah, because there's some people that think that it's so complicated that they don't even set the date on their watch because it's too time consuming. Yeah, I mean, it, it is a it, it's it's totally a Rolex watch, right? I I wouldn't. I wouldn't even worry about the the movement because OC, I gotta be, I gotta just, you know, I just gotta break it to you. Nobody who buys these this this Rolex watch cares which move, what movement it has, that it's an annual calendar. It's it's all about like it, that it's the biggest, like it's bigger than Datejust, right? You have a Datejust, guess what? I got a Skydwell. That's right. You got uh, let's bring me another one. You got a GMT. I got a Skydweller. Skydweller is higher right. tier it's higher it's higher on the picking order it's higher in desirability than a gmt it's a higher tier one it's a more expensive watch at retail like it is from the baseline if if a normal customer right a normal person who knows nothing about watches and just judges these watches based on their price they'll think the more expensive one is better right that's just how it goes in real world now you were sold a game, right? That okay, there is this game, you know, you this hard this certain pieces that are hard to get that everybody wants. There's these trends that come in and come out. It's fun. It's fun. It's the this the war of watches. Right? Where people compete who can get the first one uh, from the AD, who can get the who can get the first who's going to get the Jubilee? I don't think this is not a hot selling watch OC to be honest. The um, this is uh, I, I don't know. It's expensive. This is not a right watch for this time, in my opinion. <clears throat> I don't see it, actually. Yeah, you're right, Osea. That's all. That's all that happened. See it? Yeah, but the go go, go, back, go back to the go back to the lineup. All, yeah, look, full gold. There's only oyster, right? So now they just completed the collection. The entire collection is now complete. Every single there's every single <laughs> configuration now. Okay, that's all that's happened. That's right? all that's happened. Yeah. That's all that's happened. Now they Obviously, have even more Scott. Now they have even more configurations that are gonna sit okay. in the cases. <laughs> Not in the cases, but you know nah, what I, mean. I think they're gonna be popular. It's a badass. Think about it. If somebody wanted this watch, having an option of getting it on Oyster or Jubilee, that's that's pretty important. So it's it's basic stuff like this, but yeah. Buckley had a great version. You know, a two tone with the Jubilee with a white dial, beautiful watch. Mm. Um, JBB says after the Snoopy Moon Swatch, it's all downhill from here. By the way, I went. I stopped at <laughs> Times Square today, and they said that they said the line was all the way down to the end of the block this morning. They said the black is more popular than the white. Just when you thought. Tim, that the like the steam had run out of this the, the moon swatch engine. They've completely revitalized it again with the with the full moon and now this whatever they're calling the black one. The black one is in higher demand than the white one that just launched a few weeks ago. The black one? Th that yes. one is go uh uh that one is gonna be really more popular than the the white one. The white one hmm. I think where did you hear that? I think oh, you just said you just said it <laughs> exactly. And yeah, it's released today on the day of the solar eclipse. Oh, see, you know, I actually I got a picture. I took a picture of the solar eclipse today. Not of total, <clears throat> but this was the best picture I could take before the clouds came in and it was all gone. There you go. That's the from Fifth Avenue. Crescent, the crescent sun. Mm -hmm. I think I almost lost my sight. 
Yeah, I, I just looked at it from the office without the glasses. I didn't see any. Yeah. any You're supposed to stare straight into it so you can so your eyes focus better. Yeah, my 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 left eye was like blurry a little bit. Okay, you right. saw the eclipse? Yeah, yeah. It it it, 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 it didn't look dark though. It, it was just really sunny, with like a crescent shape. Wow. Did you so did you have this one of these things? No, I I just looked in the sky. Oh. Yeah, you have to protect your eyes. So this is one of those things you can look through this, and uh, it's not gonna. This is this is how I took a picture. So I took a picture through this thing so it wouldn't fry the lens. Oh, actually, actually, this was somebody on the street gave me because he had extra, and he's just like, "Hey, here you go." We were struggling to see anything, so it was a really nice, nice gift. I I was gonna give it back to him. He said, "Pay it forward." All right, so. We're going to have to pay it forward somehow. Uh, here we go. Dr. Bob's Nightmare, $5 Super Chat. Holy shit, Tim, you got a haircut and trimmed your beard. Looking good, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. It's for Watches and Wonders. Shout out to Maldives. He sponsored the haircut. It was cheaper than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, I thought it was going to be a lot more. Yeah, yeah. Hey, how uh, much was haircut? The whole thing? Yeah. $60. Holy fuck. Yeah, it's expensive. It's in the that's, city. It was professional barber, though. Usually that's a like Russian barber should cut me for 20 bucks. That's like black people here cut prices, bro. Is that the uh, prices like that? Well, because it's more difficult. You guys have you know more complicated hair. Here we go. Let's keep going here. So, what is this? What are we thinking about this thing? Yeah, what do you rate flop? this? One? Is it one through ten? One through ten. It's a ten for some people, and it's a zero for me. Whoa! Well, zero oh, interest see. in this one. <laughs> zero oh, interest in this. No. Oh, well, let's guys, ask let's rate it one through ten. Put, yeah, yeah. Put ones and ten or tens uh, in the in the comment section, guys. Yeah. One through ten, Cam. What about you? What, what do you rate this watch? Uh, a three. A three. Why a three? What do What do you like about it? What don't you like about it? Yo, I, I mean, and this, also, huh? this is obviously one of the first, um, like full rose gold jubilee bracelets. Full rose gold. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's it's big bracelet too. It's big jubilee fat. F U Jubilee. It's gonna sparkle like crazy. Oh see. I just thought like seriously. And the thing is, the yellow gold probably will look better. And in the future, they're gonna put yellow gold sky dweller on the oyster, and then the next year they're gonna repeat it again. Rose gold oy oyster, you know, oh, sorry, oyster Rose Gold Jubilee, Jubilee yeah. Yeah. I think everyone, wow. not everyone, but I'll generalize a little bit. A lot of the people who are excited about this mm -hmm. are excited up until the point where they realize they have to spend $52,000 plus tax to buy it. And then they'll suddenly get unexcited and they'll realize, no, it's not worth it. I buy for 25, 25 grand. Okay. This uh, I know I said I wasn't going to join, but this conversation was way too good for me to not. I'm telling you, this is great stuff. This is why we love speculating yeah. and talking watches. Oh, is this, is this my score? Yeah, no, I don't know what your score is. I oh, know your oh, sorry. Score. You want my score? Fine. Yeah, okay. um, of course. So am I scoring it on appearance or general effort made Just... by Rolex? Uh... <laughs> I feel like all of these new releases, I don't know. I literally am fresh. I don't know what's been good. leaked. That's how we like it. Oh, yeah. Um, good. But I guarantee every single model has been... No, no I've, so that's the wrong thing. So every update they've made could have been just an email sent out by one person. Like they've <laughs> A little laundry list of what should we do 2024. Um, you know, Sky Dweller on Jubilee. They'll leak that up, you know. Um, so looks wise is that what you scored on oc looks zero oc 
gave it a no, zero. I, I, I scored it. I scored it based on my interest, uh, selfishly, uh, okay. on only my interest in this model, and my interest is a zero. And I said other people's interest may be a ten or whatever, but my particular interest is what I think of this model, and do I want this model? And the answer is zero. I don't want. I'm not interested but, yeah. in it whatsoever. <laughs> oh. I'll echo that, um, and I'll give it a, a minus four. Just there's zero. There's zero fucking effort. chance. There's zero chance in hell anybody on this panel is going to cough up fifty-two thousand plus four thousand in tax to buy this thing. Tim, are you going to do it? You get a call from the eighties, fifty-seven thousand. Oh, I don't have that kind of money. Uh, there you go. I'm not, no. My channel's not doing. David, that well. fifty-seven thousand. You ready? Yeah. You know what? I was going to buy two. Great way to get actually. into the hobby. <laughs> come on, come back into the hobby no. <laughs> with one of the heaviest heavy hitters. I don't think this is a heavy hitter. I don't think it is. Oh, it's Dude, on the scale. I called in, this is the top what 50 grand. What if yeah. I called into the AD and, and said, I want two, one for me and one for the wife? What do you think they'll say? <laughs> Fuck off. I think they'll say security. <laughs> <laughs> I I got to be honest with you guys. For me, it's a five. I think it's just it's a no-brainer. It's a no. Whoa! What the heck? Why Negroni got timed out? What the? You can be a bad boy. Sometimes. No, but I don't, guys, I don't no get timing it. out, people, please. Jesus, don't time out, people. Remember, if you time out the somebody, comments. you lose the wrench. Uh, just gotta remove the wrench. Thank you for using. Oh the no! Wrench. Yeah, it's a, a one-time use, right? It's a one-time thing. Uh, Negroni got blown up. Sorry, brother. That's just the way the world works sometimes. Uh, okay, back to the show. The important stuff here. My five. I, it's just a no-brainer. I think this is not for us, right? And it's not for. It's not for enthusiasts. All right. This is for flexors. Okay. It's just for people who want to flex. And man, the, what a flex watch. Because they just think about how flexy they just is with the Jubilee fluted bezel, right? That's a bling bling watch. Very cool. Then you can go two tone. Now you can go as far as two tone here, but this is full gold, full rose gold on the oyster, right? It makes it sporty. It's not as blingy, <clears throat> but this is a, 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 this is a disco ball, R totally insane watch. Uh, not worth, but but it's not worth like getting on the wait list. This is not. Have you ever been interested? Have you ever going have you moon. ever been interested in getting one? I oh, I actually I wanted they just uh, sorry I wanted a sky dweller with the blue dot oh for the longest time. <laughs> I dreamt about it. I thought, hey, maybe you know, if I keep going after the panda, after the pet, maybe they'll. But they but then they broke my heart. They said, you know what, Tim, you're never getting one. One of those those are impossible and. And then when I realized, and then you know what? I, I saw it in real life. It's a great watch. But it's actually, it's too big. Like, it is too big. And yeah. I feel like, oh, I don't really need it. I, I probably, probably not on the panel, So, but in his spirit, I'll uh, do a hot take. And that hot take is something yeah. I've repeated many, many times. If you've heard me over the years, you've, you've heard me say this. This was designed in the era of the Date Just 2. Okay, when the date just two was out and the date eight two were out, they designed this watch and it came out around the same time. It's it was designed when the proportions were odd, designed when the proportions were awkward, and they've kept it because the movement you know they can't downsize the movement, the movement was designed for this watch. So, as a result, they've been stuck with this case and this footprint. They for the last thinner, since though. since whenever they made it, two thousand three or whenever two thousand thirteen, whenever they came out with this watch, I don't know when it when it was, but it was there's it, basically a date just two with a giant ugly circle in the middle, and they, and no one likes the date just two, and no one likes the date eight two, and those big ugly fucking blocky batons and that ridiculous way of that red square moving around the calendar it's just dumb it's, you, know, you know what it's just uh, dumb OCD. it's awful to set the whole ring command thing oh it's a genius how you do this no one knows how to use it it's like every, everything about this watch is just dumb i i have something to tell tim 
and it's going to make him feel a little bit sick i think uh -oh. um i was it was the i think one of the last times i went to my authorized dealer okay. um i was offered a blue dial sky dweller and i turned it down of course you did terrible wow because it was horrible why the proportions the were disgusting the proportions were just disgusting i wasn't sure at that point right whether or not i was going to pursue obtaining more so it wasn't even a thing like i'll buy this and flip it it was like i'm gonna, gonna destroy this relationship so i mean now i probably would do that right but yeah um, you should have done then, it in but you see how much how, how much you valued that relationship mm, you were yeah. willing oh, to yeah, sacrifice yeah. they put 20 grand <laughs> cash on the table in front of you and you were so loyal yep. you said you know what twenty thousand dollars no thank you i love in hindsight watches. that was a bad idea but what can you do yeah. what can you do always be, be focused on the bag bro don't worry about the chicks stay stay focused on the bag that's, hmm. that's advice you know what uh, else i hate about this watch and i use yeah. the word hate intentionally the fact that it doesn't even have a flip lock clasp no, oh, I, I kind of like what a disaster. The, the, the <laughs> it's a dress watch yeah. because it's like a day <laughs> it's job. a dress watch. It's a <laughs> day <laughs> Oh, see, it's a bigger day just. I swear. You know what know. I'm thinking? Rolex needed like oh see, everybody's thinking that Rolex created this movement and then fitted the case around it. I think it's just you guys got it completely backwards. Rolex needed to make a bigger Big, just bigger they just right and they needed to justify you know making it bigger so they first made the bigger case and then they made a movement to kind of fit into and fill it out and and give it like a reason for existing can i ask somebody it's gonna ask somebody in the chat to look up some something when did the date just to come out the day date to come out and when did the sky dweller come out like what years did all three of those watches come out I think it was just please, please let me know. I think I'm pretty sure these were designed at the same time with the same stupid big fat cases, and they thought, "Oh, bigger is better." I think well, they the, the Sky Dweller came out in 2018 or 2017. No, 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 no. Way, way before that. Buckley says this watch is for men that can do at least one pull up. That's not me. Not you, unfortunately. <laughs> not me either. Not me. I'm losing weight though. Holy, right? Like, uh, what do you think, Django? I look better. Yeah, the, the haircut takes, yeah, that's good. It took the edge off of, right? They, yeah, yeah, yeah. I looked crazy. Yeah, but now it's a lot better. Luke Opera Coffee says 2012. That's that this came out in 2012. Okay. 2012. Okay. That, and then when did the day date two and the day just two come out, guys? Please. Sky Dweller. Okay, here we go. Oh, day date two. Is 2009. Dude, that was a fail. See, it was a fail. You realize why they did two failed? Because they they thought they could take a day just and stretch it out and people were just gonna buy it. And then and people didn't. They looked stupid. So this is literally day day two with a bigger movement that just creates more interest in the in the dial. That's all it does. The worst part about the day, it's a much day, better watch. The worst part about the day day two and the day just two is the fucking bezel. Jesus Christ. The Jupiter, the, yeah. uh, yeah, the, the bezel, the bezel is just an awkward proportion. It's, it looks really, really ugly. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, but let's, outrageous. uh, go to the next watch here. No, the what, Tim, uh, you're not, uh, Cam, you're not in charge of determining the, uh, speed at which Tim moves from watch to watch. Hey, listen, there's people, there's a lot of passionate people who have a lot of different opinions about this watch. What's the rush? We're actually doing a marathon stream to oh, yeah. the the launch of these watches. or And then we'll see what is going to be confirmed out of these leaks that we have and what is going to be proven right. And there's no, what's the rush? Why are we rushing? I think we have to savor every single moment. Uh, there's a lot of people who are yeah this if people, is if, 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 if people want if people want quick analysis they can go to instagram and look at the five pictures who gives a fuck yeah. this is this is for in-depth thoughtful analysis plus cam i, I kind of want i kind of want to eat dinner so <laughs> yeah look there's a, there's one idiot on the panel me we get an opinion from an idiot what an idiot thinks we and then we got two smart people there so you know and and, and then, then me. cam I thought I was the not smart one. 
No, Wait. no, you're one of the smart ones. You're I thought uh, okay. <clears throat> giving giving this thing up was the smart idea. <laughs> <laughs> what was what was ridiculous is that at the height, this uh the stainless steel sky dweller with the blue dial the blue dial, the blue dial mm -hmm. it's going for thirty six, thirty seven, thirty nine thousand dollars. I, for I like never really yeah, I for never for a thirteen thousand dollar watch. Yeah, I never got it. I I just wasn't interested in it at all. And now it has come down. What's what's the price now for the blue dial steel? That's that was the hottest. I believe what that up, was what above what Panda up. Daytona. It Every, everything everything other than stainless steel blue and stainless steel green is mm -hmm. at retail. Yeah, and the and the and the uh, oyster fleck oyster fleck ones are below retail. Man, what a disaster. That's why these you shouldn't expensive. be buying these things as an investment. Like if if you collect watches as investments in the kind of a this down market, then you're gonna you that's not gonna work out. You're just supposed to collect hey, watches, come in, huh? It could come back. Yeah, it will. It actually will. Someday it will come back and will shoot up. And then and see the, here's the thing: when we get there. You know what? We're all going to go in. We're going to go all in. We're all going to win together. And and then when it's coming back down, <clears throat> we're going to we're going to uh, you know tell everybody, you know, yeah, get out of get out of the watches now before <laughs> before you lose your shirt. That way, you know, there's a lot of people who came into this watch community and on the swing market up, they like tried almost every single watch imaginable. Because watches were going up, so they were just buying, selling, buy, wear for a month. It went up, sell, sell, buy a new one, and just keep. They were just flipping up, 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 up market. Uh, fella, two dollars super chat. OC Jubilee make it materially more wearable. It's an epic watch. Fella loves this watch. Oh. You know this. This. You know what's ir ironic is that. Some people will say, "Oh my God, this is the Jubilee is a really comfortable bracelet," which it is. It's I I put my Batman Returns on Jubilee. I have my Pepsi on Jubilee. If they made a root beer in, in Jubilee, I would wear it on Jubilee. So it is more comfortable. But a lot of people will also say, "Oh, well, you got the feminine bracelet." Oh yeah. Right. This is supposed to be like a manly, chunky, the biggest watch they have, the most masculine watch. And then those same people go, "Oh great, it's on Jubilee now. It's blingy." Well, I thought it was supposed to be manly and fucking well, it already macho. Is manly on the oyster, <laughs> but if you wanted something a little bit more sexy, you, you ask you ask him about any other watch. You go, oh, I don't want it on the Jubilee. It's too blingy. It looks like a, that's the girl's version. But suddenly well, you put it on the Sky Dweller, and it's like, no, it's well, forget about that. It's more comfortable. Mm. That's what's more important. <laughs> hey, maybe those people are you know got a little bit. They're secretly, you know, you never know. You know? You never, never know. know what's going on. What? Maybe why did I put why did I put all mine on the Jubilee? Uh Jojo three four three two dollars super chat. What's ugly is three hundred pound men wearing the thirty nine mil watches. Yeah, okay. yeah, that's true. He's right. I, I I was at the boutique one day and there was this like Russian mafia looking guy. He was like five five, but he was built like a freaking tank. And he had biceps like like that big, bigger than my thigh. And he had a 36 mil uh, day date on. And he was tro and it, so he, it looked like a like a Cuban chain link bracelet. It, honestly, it looked it looked too small. So he actually upgraded in the store while I was kind of checking the place out. He upgraded to the Yacht Master 2 in full gold. And that looked proper on him. So yeah, and then I this watch is like for some bigger guys, and there's some really big guys out there. I sort of agree. There was a comment from the golf guy, the golf um, guy, Let's saying that the the boom won't come back. I I do kind of agree with that. I think we've seen it once, to my knowledge, and that was during the whole COVID stuff. I don't see that happening again. But there's going to be another natural disaster, and there's going to be some <laughs> kind of a thing happening. It's just these things come in cycles. We're like, very optimistic yeah. on the stream, of course. No, no, it's just facts. I'm just boom. And I, look, this is insider information. I'm I'm disclosing 
deep inside their knowledge. Do you want to know the truth? What's the next disaster? These watches are on a 20 year cycle. There was a there was a boom do, during 2004 to between 2000 to 2005 over there. There was a big boom of watches and then it shut down. And now mm -hmm. it came back and it's going to be in 20 years it's going to swing back around. So if you stick fair around <coughs> 20 years. 20 I didn't years. know the turn, I didn't know there was a boom in 2004 so fair enough. Yeah. Exactly. See? But if you've been following and actually there was a boom during uh like th uh, the 70s, the 70 between 72 and like to towards the 80s. These, these things come in 20 year cycles. Insider information, I shouldn't be disclosing this stuff. They could kill me for this. All right. The I see a red <laughs> dot appear on Tim any second. Yeah. Oh, man. Um, don't worry. They didn't sign. Uh, I didn't have to sign NDA, NDA for any of this stuff. Just kind of overheard while surrounded by insiders. I agree with Django. The emperor has no clothes. What does that mean? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Rolex. Uh... Okay. Um, I'm like ordering. <laughs> Wait a minute, dude. Uh, I'm sorry, Cam, for Should interrupting I... you, but Billy G I... says the boom will come back when the timepiece gentleman gets out of jail after he's proven guilty of course like because he's he could get sentenced for 20 years do you guys understand how this is diabolical the the type and probably you know he's gonna get sentenced for 20 they'll give him like four years off <clears throat> for for good behavior he'll be out in 16 just ready to come back to do it again <laughs> so like should i get the chips and and salsa with it or the chips and queso with my tacos i i'm, I'm about to... i i think he's like cam i, I think he's talking he, about i think his phone is on he's making the order he's making the uber order i feel like uber i just eats. lost brain cells now i think he was asking us if what he should get of his, his tacos what the cam, heck cam with... cam is someone who's always given the benefit of the doubt by tim wright despite his better judgment and always ends up regretting it. <laughs> Cam has a 100% track record of disappointing everybody. I like Cam. He's, I think, you know, it, it's, it, did you see it? Like, he just can't catch a break. Everywhere he goes, it's just, it's just something happens. People just somehow get pissed, get pissed at him for no reason. He was at no the reason. bar. No reason at all. They wouldn't let him finish watching the, the game at the bar. They said, sorry, sir. No, no sitting at the bar. You have to order a drink. He's like, just, just five minutes. Like, no. You know, so I try to give him an opportunity here once every single day. Mm -hmm. And we will see how far can he get Is, next day. I, I feel like that's not the whole story for the bar thing. Oh, there's something else missing there. Oh, there's, uh, there's always there's something else. There's a fundamental detail missing there, I think. Oh, yeah? Should we ask yeah. him? No, it's no, fine. No, Let's move no, on. No. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. <I don't> know. <clears throat> Should we give him one more chance or say? I think he's still ordering. Yeah, he's probably ordering. He's, he he oh. eats a lot of. He orders okay. a lot from the Let's Mexican place. Let's just give place. him one hour timeout. One hour timeout. How's that? How's that? He, that that should give him enough time to eat the food and eat come dinner, back and not come back. About. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. That's it. One hour timeout. Okay, I don't know what that means. All right, let's keep going. So, Skydweller, any more, any final thoughts on the Skydweller on the Jubilee? Oh, it's it's the same shit, isn't it? It's, it's that's the consensus. Same shit, different outfit. Different, yeah. Is this gonna sell? I don't think so. I I, I think these are gonna be in the boutique window, or maybe, or maybe. It would be too cool to see one of these in person, though. I would love to see it on somebody's wrist. Yeah, I I would respect them and be like, "Shit, I didn't thought I didn't think anybody would buy these." The roadmen in London will love this whenever they see one on a wrist. They'll yeah. be they'll be hot on that. <laughs> oh, this is gangsters are going to buy this watch. You you know yeah. gangsters. This is for, this is like incredible gangster watch. 
Mm. The one thing I do like, hey, I do actually do like some things about the watch. Wow. I do, oh, yeah. The one thing that I do like is that because it's not considered mm -hmm. technically part of the professional line, it's considered one of the classic watches, you know, with the non flip lock clasp. Uh, because it is, they put the Rolex crown nice and prominent, the coronet up at the top instead of like a triangle or a baton or something like that, which I think, frankly, some of the sports watches would benefit from having the coronet there too. Because mm -hmm. that's why I'm buying a Rolex because I I love the brand. I want to see that big Rolex and I want to see the big coronet. Nothing disappoints me more when I'm looking at my watch. I see a big triangle at the top and then I see the coronet, a little tiny fucking printed coronet underneath the giant loomed triangle. Just replace the fucking triangle with the coronet. Mm -hmm. I don't need to see that loomed. I want a nice big fucking coronet, guys, <clears throat> on on every watch. I look forward to seeing all the wrist rolls on Instagram for the people that bought it on the gray market on a 0% interest deal. That's the best thing about this watch. They got the coronet right, <laughs> the big Rolex underneath it, and then they put a little triangle. They didn't have to, they didn't bother with the fucking big baton there. And it annoys me about some of the other watches. There are some other watches that would benefit from not having this big fucking, oh, well, it's a dive watch. I need to be able to see the 12. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Tim, you that's why to... that's why we buy that watch for that fucking symbol right there the crown the crown jewel of swiss watch luxury tim you know, you're muted and, yeah you're muted which you sound better this way but please unmute <clears throat> oh yeah sorry 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 how long was i muted was i like muted for 20 uh, minutes seven now? seven minutes i think seven minutes jeez mm. Ooh, Todd Levin, better yet, loom the fucking coronet. Exactly. That Do something innovative insane. for the fuck for fuck's sake, right? AP's making wow. fucking uh, at atomic fucking laser printed out of gold micron by micron fucking yeah. uh, logos. These guys can't come up with a mm. way to fucking do a loomed coronet or a fucking gold oh, coronet that glows in the dark. Something just... that glows in the dark or something. Fuck. They put it, they put it on a new bracer. What fucking more do you want? Come on. <laughs> be unreasonable. Yeah, you guys have too many expectations. Yeah. And you know what? I think the a loomed coronet we'll see some someday in the future, in a long distant future, like 50 years. That's like when when nobody wants to buy watches. That's when they'll make the loom coronet to get everybody back in and re-release everything with the loom coronet. They're holding it. It's like they know. All right, this is our like lifeline to completely rework all the watches. Uh, Speedy Hernandez five dollars super chat OC gives a perfect explanation of why you guys love fashion brands like rolex it's only <laughs> about their logo it's it, the logo the logo stands for a lot of things so what it is it's just like rolex is a brand that has certain accolades they've attributes they've done something a flu yes. a, flu a fluted bezel a certain look of a bracelet a but it also has history it has yeah. history that that's like you know it you can you can go into the brand deeper like if you really like the brand it's like almost a personal relationship it's like a mm -hmm. history right they did something first they're the first one to do a date just they're the first one to do an annual calendar in this weird way right so they're they're trying to um, you know they, they they even like what was funny is like when when hans wilsdorf originally launched the company Rolex wristwatches won some chronometer award for the, for the only reason because nobody else submitted uh, wristwatches, right? And so he got like the first place, right? Because and now that you got the first place, yeah, nobody else was competing, right? But that's hey, that's their problem. Why aren't they competing? Uh, well, but anyways, he they got that accolade, and uh, they you know they proudly display it, saying hey, listen. We have the earliest certified chronometers, wristwatches, uh, in the world, and uh, it's true. It is true. They can say that because that's what happened. So, the the Rolex coronet. It's uh, that's why. And then people who know these history historical facts about uh, about Rolex as a brand, 
it adds value to the watch. It's just great yeah. piece of, it's more than just a watch. It's more, because if you want just a gold watch, you can get an Omega DeVille. Yeah, the, cor the coronet on the dial, the coronet on the crown, the coronet on the clasp, the coronet on the box, the coronet on the hat. It's all about the, the it's about the coronet guys by the way the other thing i like about listen i actually like multiple things about the watch it's not all bad i also like the fact it doesn't have a fucking triple trip lock uh crown like you know you know it it doesn't have uh it has a screw down crown but it doesn't have those three different levels you know like the uh, like the sports models do um so that, that's perfectly fine like it's like the day date and the day just and all the other ones it's a screw down crown but it's not the triple lock. doesn't trip locks a uh, hundred meters so yeah, 100 meters water resistant. That's yeah. more more than ample. And it doesn't have crown guards too, which is, makes it more elegant. I like yeah, the ones that don't. Just, it, it's like Frank, a, frankly, they should have, they should have more sport watches that go back to not having crown guards. If you go back oh. and look at some of the vintage sport watches, like uh, some of the people in the chat would know. I don't know, but I'm sure some of them came without crown guards, and they looked fucking great without them. By Sorry. the way, guys, if you're enjoying this show, please make sure to upvote the live stream. We reached the like a one hour mark. Let's get to at least one hundred. And we've and covered at least we've covered one watch already. Which one is watch. Amazing. It's an incredible watch, and it's an important subject. We, we get to revisit the uh, the whole sky dweller, get all our opinions out about it. I, I, listen, if I could afford one of these, I would. Oh, see, why not? Why? Not. Because it's ugly. But the second thing is, and that's the the elephant, the <laughs> elephant in the room is they they didn't put it on a on a presidential bracelet. Which yeah, I I thought which is, it was it's a, it's a relief. It's, it's a relief. It's actually a relief, right? Because they didn't fuck it up. <laughs> like we're gonna put the president bracelet on the sky dweller. We're like, yeah, maybe. And then you know what? Whew, glad they didn't. <laughs> <Whew. laughs> we 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 dodged a fucking bullet there. Whew, Im man, if they did, that would be. Uh... Like would have been a nightmare. <laughs> what were we rooting no for? Back. Guys, do it, do it. And they're like, oh shit. Don't listen to us. We're stupid. Yeah. <laughs> it was it was it was would have been a disaster. cool to imagine. And you know what? I think that they're running some theories. They're seeing and like Rolex watches these streams. Not like Of course they do. Yeah, yeah. They watch they're not just these streams, but they review YouTube videos that talk that talk about these releases, and they do take feedback. So it's I'm not this is not like a brag or anything. But yeah, I'm just saying they want they watch everyone, and they do react to to feedback. So you, yeah, interesting. <clears throat> and they might adjust how the stuff is actually going to, to be released next year based on like what we we're expecting like people speculating that there's going to be a sky dweller on presidential bracelet right that's something that they might now consider like they they didn't they might not have they might not even have thought about it but when they put those two clips together it kind of it kind of makes sense mm -hmm. anyway just to show just to, i mean to exacerbate the issue just to show how dumb we are and uninformed and not knowledgeable uh does this actual does this what what versions of this watch come with glide lock and which come with easy link? I don't even know. I just do the well, oyster flex ones come with glide lock, do stainless steel come with glide lock and easy link? What what is the what do these because this isn't the uh, sport clasp, the flip lock yeah. clasp. Yeah. So I'd like to easy know link. this is the gun was easy link only, and then you have to do yeah. the fucking move it to, to a certain setting in the clasp with the fucking tools. Uh, is that yeah. uh, correct? Yep, yep, yep. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the the, the little glide thing, lock. the glide lock. Yeah, <clears throat> it's um, but you know what? It's not really necessary. Look, I'm wearing the Daytona. It's fine. It's got the easy link. I never had never. I never had a situation where I needed more or less. It's never been a, a time. It's a, the easy link gives enough room to cover all your base. Yeah, is it nice? It's such a great, it's such line? a great invention. They did such an amazing yeah. job with the glide lock clasp. It's all hidden and oh, it slides easily. It's, just, it's so good. Like for them to not use it, 
in a lot of these watches criminal. is it's downright criminal. It's criminal. It should be on every model, but yeah, yeah, we'll see. But it's probably you know it's more difficult to right. do. It's, We've talked about they're, every they're so many watches. We've talked about every possible aspect of the Skydweller that you could ever conceive of. By the way, shout out to BW. He sent fifty dollars via oh, that's PayPal amazing. Um, towards uh, the Watches and Wonders Geneva. We're gonna be live streaming every single night, every single day. We'll try to live stream as much as possible. Bring you every single watch. We'll we'll see these watches in real life. Hopefully, we'll be able to show you how they look in natural light. Kind of. <clears throat> maybe we can even touch them and feel them this time. Let's hope. Let's hope maybe Rolex <clears throat> took some cues from last year because it was it was a disaster. Yep. Bang Come in and your yeah. watch. Bang your watch, guys. Play the game. Let's play the game. OC, why don't you want to play the game? Bang your watch. Let's bang the watch. The Platinum Day Day. What you got to lose? You got nothing to lose. It's a keeper, right? 50 bucks. 50 bucks? <laughs> That's how much it costs to put the watch on the board. Oh. <laughs> 50 bucks, guys. Come on. Let's put that watch on the board. Bang your watch. MD Chaz, uh, $2 super chat. Tim Wright, the trusted source for all things Rolex. <clears throat> Thank you. I mean, we try We try to be uh, as neutral as possible. Um, and by, yeah, and by the way, Watches and Wonders is not just about Rolex. It's not just about Patek Philippe. We have, there are over 50. You heard, the, you heard me correctly. 55 zero brands participating in watches and wonders and we're going to get to at least 40 of them we're going to get to 40 friggin brands we're going to cover 40 brands it's going to be nuts buckle in buckle in buckle up saddle in saddle up it's gonna be fun it's gonna be really fun i can't wait to meet some people yeah. see some watches oh wait a second Yellow gold, it's Yellow available. Yellow gold, Jubilee with white It's tile. available in new material, new color. This has never existed before. Yellow gold, full, and it's going to be, the yellow gold is also going to be available probably in Oyster as well. So you get three new watches. You get yellow gold, uh, Jubilee Sky Dweller, yellow gold, uh, Oyster Sky Dweller, and you get Rose Gold. <clears throat> uh, Rose Gold, you get just the Jubilee because there's already an Oyster one. Mm. Okay, incredible. Amazing. No, what about what about this? How does that's it look? Strong, that's a strong word, Tim. Incredible. Okay, it's a strong word. <laughs> I'm exaggerating <laughs> a little bit here. It's, it's a very it's diverse a, lineup. Yeah, yellow gold. I mean, with that white dial, mm, I don't mm. know. I don't know. I don't know. It looks like a reworkings yeah. of the old yellow gold white dial yacht master. That's not very they've, popular. Yeah, they've had yellow gold oyster for a while. It's a fucking dog. There was full yellow gold oyster. Already, really? yeah. Yes, yeah, see, Skydweller? Tim. Yes, it already existed. It's already a fucking dog. You know, so it's like, oh my god, Jubilee! I can't believe they have yellow gold now. It's like, they've had it. It's so fucking Too boring. Bad. You didn't even know Too it. Bad. Too bad. You're pissed. I'm not pissed. It's just, it's just that it's this is not. It's just another. It's a Jubilee bracelet. I wonder if there's going to be some colors. Okay, so this is where. You know, <laughs> yes, they're showing us. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, they're gonna have they're gonna have black. They're gonna have white, and they're gonna have blue. It's amazing. In yellow gold, mm. or maybe in yellow gold they'll have green. You, you oh, up, it'll, it'll have the same. Speaking of green, Buckley? it's gonna have the same fucking dial. Champagne. All right, all right. <laughs> Listen to me. I've it worked, Tim. I've, I've, him. I've listened to you. They're shitting on this watch, Buckley. Hold on. I've listened to you, Hodinky, Adrian Barker, fucking soy's talk <laughs> for the last thirty minutes. 
about these watches, okay? Let me explain to you what this watch is. <laughs> one watch, one watch. Yeah. You guys don't understand what this watch is, right? You cuff your fucking jeans and you go make your coffee. You know, you do your little coffee and you put on your Daytona. Very cool. This watch is when you throw on a white t-shirt, you put on some shorts, and you go by the pool and smoke a Cuban cigar with a nice tan, and you're fucking living. You got this big, shiny watch. The complication makes no sense, but all it's supposed to say is fuck you. (laughs) That's the biggest fuck you. And you're missing the point Oh, my name's OC. Oh, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make make sense. sense. Listen to me. The patons are too big. (laughs) Listen to me. This is for you get you get up at night. You get up in the morning, right? You have a couple of espressos. You go to the gym. You get a fucking pump. You come back by the pool, right, with a sick pump, and you put this watch on, and you light up a fucking cigar like a top G, and then. All the Latin bitches come over and look at it, and you and they're all like, Oh, Poppy, amazing watch. While you fucking soys are all reading Hodinky, drinking your bullshit coffee, cuffing your jeans. That you don't get it with our with so, our no with our no socks loafers. Different lifestyle, you don't get it. It. You don't understand. You don't understand. Hi, Django. Wow. Hey, <laughs> Yeah. Okay. You, you had this now, watch. You had you had this watch, Buckley. You're now, not no, one no, to no, talk. No. You... Ask, ask me, ask me if I'm buying it. Ask me if I'm are buying you really it. that fickle? You had this watch. Three ask me months if I'm ago. buying it. Ask me if I'm buying. All right, Buckley. Are you going to buy this watch? <laughs> no, I'm not buying it. Okay. Oh, there, you <laughs> there you go. All right. Why I not? feel better. Because it's too much money. <laughs> That's I told problem. you, everybody that loves this watch, that when it beca- when it comes time to pony up the bucks, suddenly it's like, yeah, it's nice, but it's it's 50k money. with tax, it's 55k. It's you buy a day date. You buy a day date at thirty eight thousand. You don't buy this at fifty. Mm. Unless it falls on the secondary, and you can pick pick these up for the price of a day date. Then no, look, do? this is this is this is not. This is not for most people in the community. This is game day watch, right? This is this is NFL running back suit up on game day and throw your yellow gold sky dweller on before you walk in the arena. That's what this watch is for. Yeah, full full gold uh, sky dweller is great for Vegas. You see th- four dudes, you know, at eleven thirty at night, getting ready to go to a club in Vegas. A couple of them are wearing sky dwellers. Good for oh, you. Oh yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Sky Dweller is such a badass watch. Oh, I saw a guy earlier today when I was watching the eclipse. Uh, he was wearing the Biden, a day just blue dial with the ro- with the smooth bezel with the, no, with the with jubilee the and smooth bezel. Yeah, it's pretty freaking cool. It looks so freaking nice in the light. Oh, see, I, I Buckley is on to something. Okay. Still, like sports watches, they don't really look. It's just for people in the know. Well, nobody Tim, really cares. But the fucking day just. Tim, you need to. So we haven't gone over this yet on this channel. Yeah. But there's there's two types of people in the watch community. Mm. Are you aware of this? Oh, I'm starting to get the hang of it. Okay. And Do they you know don't the get terms? along. These people, they hate each other. They they don't they don't get along. But there's two types of people. Do you know what they are? Uh, no, tell there's me. The, the Horological Society, Red, red no, no, Bar no, no. crowd. No, no, no. no. There's, there's fuckboys and there's douches. Oh. Hey, okay. hey, language. Language. No, no, no. no. This, is, this is terminology, let's say. Mm. This, is, this is factual. Um, and it's fuck with P-H-U-C-K, so it's not a bad word. Okay. Uh, fuckboy and douches. Now, mm-hmm. this is a fuckboy watch. A fuckboy mm-hmm. drives and a, a fuckboy drives an X5 and wears lots of yellow gold. You know, they like they like Ferrari, they like Lambo. They probably follow Andrew Tate on Instagram. <laughs> right? They wear they wear they, they buy blacked out SUVs and it, it, it's all about the power. 
right? 48 laws yeah, of power yeah. is on the coffee table. Douches, douches, you know, they're kind of progressive. They, uh, you know, they follow Hodinkee. They think the Le Mans Daytona is the greatest watch ever created. Um, they feel the need to collect every sub GMT Daytona. They, they can't really think for themselves, mm. right? They, they, they basically, whatever Ben Clymer or Waco say is what they do. Um, you know, they feel everyone needs a speedy in their collection. So, you know, and that's, that's just a general term. There's, there's subsections of fuckboys and douches. Now I can tell you right now on this panel, OC's a fuckboy. Tim, Django, you guys are douches. If you were, if you were wondering, <laughs> if you're wondering what you are, and I can go through every single panel member, if you'd like me to. I think we should um, do a whole show just dedicated to go th going through everybody who's appeared yeah. on a panel. I could tell and... you exactly, you know, Boston Collector and Jeff, fuckboy. Mm -hmm. Fuckboys, both of them. Um, you know, Daniel Katz, uh, Diego, those are douches. Total douches. <laughs> Total douches. Tim, uh, you're I a douche. Don't, I don't even read it, in case. Uh, No, I know, but I, I know, <laughs> but you just said a Sky Dweller's bad watch, so now you're in the douche club. Okay, fair enough. Because right. I'll that. yeah, you're he's a biker jack kind of yeah guy. Yeah. Right. Oh. Yeah. Just yeah. cause I'm British, it's yeah. just like discrimination. It's, <laughs> it's a bark and jack versus Oshin polarity. Okay. Like if you look on one side of the polarity, you got bark and jack. On oh, the I'm other side on the completely opposite side of the polar field, you got Oshin. Yeah. Oh no, Oshin is a it's Oshin's a total douche. Oh really? Oh, it's, it's not even oh, oh. What? I thought no, O'Sheen's a total douche. Listen to me. What about Barker you... Jack? Is he? Oh, douche. Also douche. Total douche. Both do. Both. Douche. Both douches. Both douches. Okay. If so you're gonna one... have to explain it to me. Yeah, yeah. I'd be happy to. So okay. If if you well, give me like like one minute, I need to I need to pee. I'll be right back. Okay. Right. That's something a douche would say. Yeah, I'm a fuck boy. I mean, you guys probably figured that out by now. You are right. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah. I'd say I'm a borderline fuck boy. You're I'm definitely like a, in the uh, fuck boy camp. Yeah. You don't buy vintage. You don't care about vintage. No. Um, not really. You're constantly looking at. You know, you you basically only buy Rolex and you buy shiny Rolex. You don't buy matte Rolex. You're total fuck boy. Yeah. <laughs> He's got me pegged. Boy. Oh, this uh, is easy. We could do everybody. I, you know, the only one that's hard is actually Cars and Chrono, because I had him pegged. So I had him pegged for a fuckboy, but we went to the restaurant and he opened a wine and he tasted it and he looked the waiter dead in the eye and said, "It's a little tight." Now I don't know what. He, I'm pretty <laughs> sure he's a douche. He's a douche disguised as a fuckboy because he likes his Ferraris and his Porsches. But if you open a wine out of a crate and you taste it and you look at the waiter and say, it's a little tight. You're a douche. <laughs> um, well, There's a fair assessment. Yeah. So it, by, you know, like, Oh, see, uh, O'Sheen, I mean, O'Sheen's a music composer. Uh, you know, he's drinking wine. He's, you know, he's all about the, the theatrics and the, you know, the classy shit. Like, he's a douche. Guy's a fucking douche. I mean, like, the, most people in the watch community are douches. Um, but what, see, what douches don't appreciate is the fuckboys are what held the market up because we were flipping. So, like, we're the business people. We keep everything afloat so that you can feel good about your purchases. The, the world goes round, you know? It's like men need women, women need men, fuckboy need douches, douches need fuckboys. I mean, everybody knows this. Interesting. What Pretty was the timepiece gentleman? Who? Hmm? The timepiece gentleman. What was he? Oh, total fuck boy. I thought, he was a, I thought he was a fucking criminal. That's a yeah. Well, well, that, well, that's a different. <laughs> that's a different category. I mean, Paul oh Paul, okay. Yeah, fuck. Uh, you know, there's there's a lot of different. I mean, you know, we could do one by one. This is easy. I mean, we could devote a whole show to it and. um as long as everybody knows where they are in the world, it, it'll be we'll be better off. It's when you try to, like, if I try to buy vintage Tim, yeah, you, you shoot me because it's not right. natural. It, it won't work. It'd be like a carnivore trying to go vegan. We can't have that. <laughs> yeah. 
But are, are fuck boys excited by this? They're like, oh my god, Jubilee bracelet. I mean, I've been oh, waiting for this. Dude. Oh yeah, love it. Okay, love really? it. Yeah, it's all about the shine. Hey, you're gonna tell me in a second how Oshin is a total douche. Uh, after I pick up this super chat, just really quick here, we got Scotty H, ten dollars super chat. Thank you so much. Tell us about the Omega Boutique. I want to hear about the White Speedy. Hey, we were in the store. There it is. We checked out a White Speedy. My camera how much wasn't is, working. How much out. is this Speedmaster? What was it? OC? like it's, same it's price. in the United States. It's I think it's eight thousand two hundred dollars something right around there. Oh, you know. Okay. Both both douche watches. Um, Total douche watch. Sean Posher, douche. <laughs> Sean he, has Posher a, he, has a, he has a Roger Oh, yeah, he's not a fuck. Yeah. yeah. Well, he's yeah. not a, a fuck. Is he a fuck? No, he's a douche. No, he's a douche. Total douche. Yeah. If those are two options. Yeah. I double guess. D, double D, douche. Damn, set to here. Yeah. If you own a Breguet, you're probably a douche. Mm. Total douche watch. Likely. Likely, likely, maybe Prada yeah. 38.5 five dollars super chat. Buckley, you just said trends, F boys follow trends. Ooh, true, it's true. I mean, look, that's the that's what happens, right? <coughs> it, it's it's not better, like log jam, too. It's not better to be either or, you just have to understand where you are, right? Like, it's perfect if you're a Porsche fan. Do you like a modern 911 or do you want an air cooled one? If you want an air cooled one, you're a douche. That's a that's a telltale style sign of a yeah, douche. Telltale. Air cooled. Anyone Care who says telltale. air, I didn't even know what air cooled was. Yeah. Until yeah. It can get confusing. You really got to break down case by case. Like cars and Chrono was a tough one because I, I had him pegged one way, but mm. the wine incident, you know. Uh, yeah, could be. You're you're also you're also able to critique his fashion, uh, Buckley, as well. You're qualified to do that. So, I don't know if I'm qualified to do that, but you know, most most people, uh, most people can figure it out. We could do a whole show on it. Um, we can do a whole exercise. Yeah. Tim, you're a douche. Total total douche. Interesting. Yeah, total douche. So, I mean, you paid Maurice Grossman the dead you giveaway. Just, you just paid sixty dollars for a clipper cut haircut in New York City. I mean, let's be honest. <laughs> I was told to look good at the well, watches. Let's and be the honest. Others. That's another. You know, douches usually get clipper cuts. Fuck boys get buzz cuts. Uh, that was a. It was a. It was a actual scissors and everything. Yeah, they spent a lot. Yeah. Of, they had spent a lot of time on Tim's hair. A lot, probably like an hour. Almost. No, it was a little bit of work like that. A lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> it was tough, guys. They, they, I had, I had so much, uh, like, it, it was just. I thought I think there was a bird nest inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a live bird. We had to. We have to, you know. Marathon. There's one where it looks like you're one looks like the one shot that looks like you're almost crying. Like they're like, ah, uh, the hair all was, in your face. Oh, it, he was just ripping, ripping it up apart. So, it was very tough to handle. OC91, $2 super chat. Tim the douche haircut looks good, man. Finally. Thank you. Thank you. It's a, yeah, it's a great, great thing there. Hey, guys, if you're going to come to Watches and Wonders, make sure to meet the new and improved Tim Wright. Yeah. Bring, bring, bring your best. Bring your best. It's going to be fun. We'll, we'll try to have fun. Um, yeah. Anyways, douches versus. Fuck boys. Sky Dweller is a total fuck boy watch. Fuck boy watch. Yeah. Total fuck boy watch. But Tim, ask me anybody. Ask me anybody. I'll yeah. Just talk. Ask me anybody. Um. Okay. Uh. Let's do. Oh, t oh, Tim G. There's a tough one. Yeah. Mystery, because he's a mystery wrapped in a riddle. Well, he posts photos to be an aspiring douche. Mm. Mm. Look at Django. He's like, what the fuck? What am I doing on this stream right now? No, I'm just trying to figure out how to, you know, um, find out who's what myself. Yeah, it's tough. I feel like it's I'm getting there. Yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, it, it's, there's two audiences, right? There's two audiences for there's these two. watches. There's two. 
it, right? it's much easier it's much easier if you if you can understand the two lots mm. of arguments could be prevented lots of bad purchases can be prevented right it's an easier life easier yeah. life you have to there's no mm -hmm. wrong answer there's just two yeah. lanes and i think uh, i think what happened was in the past why there was so many trouble is because people didn't understand that there's two lanes there's douches and and fuck boys. Once you understand which side you're in, right? Then we can say, okay, this, this is the best watch for the fuck boy, but mm. or mm -hmm. but th like this is garbage for 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 the douche. Terrible. Right? You the yeah. douche. If you put this on yeah. as a douche, you know. Oh, it all makes sense. It's not. Now. It's not good. What can happen? I mean, you could protest or something. Uh -huh. It's not good. It's you know, you gotta be careful. That's right. It's the the douche fuckboy spectrum. Uh, yeah. Douche to uh, uh, FB spectrum. Okay. Now you could you are you you're either one or the other, or there is a little bit of spectrum there. Is there uh, like a there's no something? no no. Ult ultimately, there's always fifty one percent or greater on one side, mm. and that's what you are. Ultimately, yeah. you got to dig deep. Ultimately, yeah. You got to dig but deep, but there are unique cases that that sometimes yeah. fall, you know, not not all the way there, not not completely. Now, now, Django, Django, what watches did you own? I can tell you right now what you are. What 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 watches did you own? Oh, I'm definitely a douche. I'm just uh, so I'm trying to go back. Um, so I owned a Breitling, a Seawolf. I actually remember the other night which one it was. Um, uh, an Omega Speedmaster. All right, douche. Ro Ro yeah, yeah, Rolex Submariner. <laughs> Um, date just, yeah. I'm no, a douche. Had, I, I know I'm a douche. He yeah. had, well, really. Oh, because it's all steel sports, right? Yes. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Total douche watch. So then, <laughs> if I posted a, a watch wrist roll to Facebook, does that they make me a fuck boy? Or am I still a douche? That mm. no, that's just common practice. That doesn't. That's like right, walking, okay, right? Fine. Chewing gum. So that, that's fine. okay. Yeah. So that's a fuck boy and a douche thing. Good. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. Oh, we both do similar things, but it's. It's oh, that's a good question. You no, know, uh, oh my god, Cam. Okay, Cam is unique. Oh, Cam, Cam is Cam is, and this is why Cam has so much trouble uh -huh. because he should be a fuck boy, wow. but he asks questions and wants to be a douche, and it just makes people not like him mm. because he's undecided. Mm. So he's a wannabe douche. I think so, but he's trying to run away from his inner fuckboy. Okay. Mm. Right? He did say so, he was liking this watch. Well, oh, the last wow. one anyway. So that yeah. makes sense. Cam is is in search for identity. We need to help him. We need to help him guide oh, him in gosh. the right direction as a watch community. Let's help okay. him find I like his this inner fuckboy. I like this one. 6'5", 300-pound bodybuilder wearing a Daytona fuckboy or a douche. Is the Daytona white metal or yellow white white you're a douche wow guys uh, if you came over from oshin's live stream earlier upvote don't forget to subscribe there's over 300 people watching and they want to talk watches but it's good to talk about the different characters mm. uh in the watch space too it's fun but yeah it helps people understand this maybe a little bit better like where people come from, what uh, what kind of, and then if they agree with someone, they can follow that person's advice more closely. Because reality, there's no correct answer. There's a correct answer for you. So if you're if you're a douche, but you're buying fuckboy watches, you're not gonna be happy, right? Because uh, mm -hmm. you're dealing with the wrong kind of people. So you have to identify the best watch for yourself. <clears throat> <That's> <laughs> I can't believe. I can't believe that this is running like the way it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's a runaway. We completely ran away with this shtick. It's just, it's gone. <laughs> yeah. It's good. Yeah. It is actually, it is actually applicable. Believe it or not. But oh, it's, you're it's 100%. Making sense. It's, it's 100%. 100%. Yeah. Like this. John Gallup. <laughs> Douche. <laughs> Douche. I think he oh. knew before he asked. I'll be honest. Most people know it. Yeah, most people deep down know. All right, here we go. Here's a tough one. Ugh. 
What do you think? Oh, there we go. There's his uh, Uber Eats. He got the tacos. You see it? Beautiful. Okay. We'll see you later, Cam. Taco Tuesday. There we go. Interesting. Whoop. Oh, I see he's gone. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. It was cool to see the tacos come back, actually. They are real. But this Sky Dweller is real, too. However, it's a real disappointment because it's not a big enough of a it's not an improvement it's not a step up of any kind shape or form oh buckley perfect now that you're on the stream let's start with this watch i think you're gonna like this one in particular let me see before before i pull it up there's 374 people <laughs> watching right now 374 <laughs> people watching this stream right now okay wow. tim uh upload I've, I've named this watch i've named this oh. watch <laughs> nickname. You got the nickname. Yes. Would you like to know what it is? Yes, please. Let's let's everybody the, nickname this. The Invicta. The oh, <laughs> bro. I saw I saw it coming there. Yeah, I can see what you mean. Yeah. The the, Invicta. This, is, this is a fuckboy watch, right? It is. It's a fuckboy nice. watch. It will be unsuccessful because I think it sort of walk. It it treads the line though between fuckboy and douche. Nah. Nah. No. He, no. No, a, a douche would buy a James Cameron. But yeah, this this is um this is an Invicta because everybody who sees it is gonna think it's a fake bluesy because of the size, like an Invicta. Mm -hmm. So this is atrocious, and I'm a fuckboy. So what I'm saying is, you know, this is you could take it hundred to the bank. So, so we know it's going to be unsuccessful. As a so fuck you know, boy. it's not interesting. I'm, right? I'm a total. I'm a. I mean, I'm not level ten fuck boy. That's Jeff. Jeff is level ten. Ooh, Jeff is going to love this, right? I'm like a solid seven point four, but no, no, Jeff doesn't even like it. This no, this is the, really, no, no, no. This is the Invicta, and everyone should stay away from it. I hope it's fake. Wow, the <laughs> Invicta. Yeah, this could be a, yeah. Imagine if this trailer, if this thing is, it's not a real le leak. That would be insane. Rolex would have pulled another trick on us. And I hope, I hope this is fake. All right, because mm -hmm. I was really hoping for Mill Gauss. Okay, I wanted it to be the Mill Gauss. Yeah, as it is. Way off. I mean, that was my dream. It made sense too. I convinced myself. I totally bought my own bullshit. Yep. Um, it looked from the back, it looked the case looked the same, but you know what? All Rolexes case back from the back looked the same. So someone's just pointed out as well, it's got to be like something. What did they say? Half a kilo that's got to weigh it. I mean, that's gonna be wow. I mean, it's a fucking heavy watch anyway, right? The deep yeah. sea. Horrible. If you've ever put a deep sea on the wrist in steel, the thing is so uncomfortable. James Cameron dial is cool. Yeah. Right, it's a cool dial, but the watch is very uncomfortable. Wait, yeah, is I, this... I tried one of these on. They're they're not great. No. Very top heavy. No, it's a deep sea. It's not yeah. sea dweller. It's deep, it's deep sea. sea. Oh my! So this is now officially the biggest gold Rolex watch on the market. Yeah, it's certainly the heaviest holy shit that's big news all right oh, i thought it was sea dweller yeah no shit. it's a it's a it's an actual disaster wow. i can't even believe that they would do this like i'm genuinely shocked oh my god i am i got the goosebumps this is it's, it's it's a good anti theft though, isn't it? Because there's no way you're gonna steal that and be able to run with it. It's gonna weigh you down some. Well, everyone's gonna think you're wearing an Invicta, so they won't even try. There is that as well. Yeah, that's a good point. I'm completely blown away. I don't understand it. Okay, mm. James Cameron was blue to green, right? And why is it? Why is it? Why is it, they're releasing gold? deep sea now what the heck was the occasion you know what no pisses occasion. me off even more about this tim you know what pisses yeah. me off even more yeah. about this the previous bluesy had the gold writing <laughs> and it looked really nice and then they changed it to white and now they have the audacity uh, to do the the proper gold writing on this atrocity oh uh, yes 
and the it's like uh, I don't know. It's, oh, are you telling me it's that shallow that it's just a bigger bluesy gold watch? Because there's a blue submariner yeah, of in gold. So this is just hey, you know, here look, bigger gold submariner. If you wanted a bigger submariner, this is a bigger submariner, bigger gold watch. Mm. It's just it's tacky, isn't it? It's, Horrible, it's tacky. Horrible. But it so, is. I almost said it's a plumber's watch. So Red would love that. It's a plumber's watch. Yeah. I mean, this is a big, big deal, I think. Who would wear something like this? Like Shaquille, I can see Shaquille O'Neal rock this thing like it's... Or The Rock, Dwayne Rock Johnson. And and that is who will be wearing it, let's be entirely honest. You know, you've got big muscles, you jack to the brim. Arnold Why not? Stallone. Why settle? Why settle for a gold submariner? This watch is Juice going it. to be. It's on 40, steroids. Forty-eight thousand, I say for this watch. Forty-eight. I think so. I think it'll be forty-eight thousand. No, but Sky Dweller. Oh, 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 oh! Shit! Did you see Sky Dweller was fifty thousand? Yeah. So Sky Dweller is smaller gold watch, but it has, you know, more intricate movement. This, you're paying for that movement, yeah. So you're paying for the movement, yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's right. I think so. You do. You the do. deep sea is roughly three grand. I think thirty five hundred more expensive than a sub. Uh, and then the, you factor in the extra gold. So throw on an extra ten k. Maybe it will be fifty or fifty one. Uh -huh. But I mean, this is going to be the biggest flop in the last six years. Damn, really? I think so. It's just it, outrageous. It is out. It's redonkulous. It's not what people want, I think, right now. No. <sighs> because we want something a little bit more on affordable kind of spectrum. The milk gas would be cool. We want value for money. This feels like you're, this is like, you're you're pay, you're just paying more to get more actually you get bigger but there's not this doesn't feel like you're getting that much value mm. uh father time five dollars super chat buckley is on fire tim and oc rolling with the punches Django looks shell shocked yeah i am i am very much so this is i, I mean if this was released like this whole line here, like yeah. in 2019, early 2020, oh. when I was into it, the world would have fucking imploded. And everyone <laughs> would have thought, this is amazing. You know, it's, yeah, completely different landscape. So I'm a little bit shell shocked. Typist gentleman, be, type is gentleman yeah. would be flexing the shit. He's out of looking this at these from his cell, like what he's missing out on. Oh, 100%. man. Sucks to be him. This is like his material now, mm -hmm. like in the absence of pornography. This is This is it for him. This specific watch. It's Look, hard to uh, give massagers in this watch, though. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Whew. I, I didn't see this coming. I, I don't like this. I, I, I honestly, I feel like we're skipping some steps. It's, it's really not a very organic way to build a collection. Like, they made a Sea Dweller two-tone black dial. So I was hoping, hey, how about next you do a yellow gold black dial sea dweller? But no, they go to blue, blue dial uh, deep sea. What the hell? It's too much. It's, it's just all like, no, ja juice it to the end. There's no subtlety. I mean, Buckley is pretty much on it. We can agree on that, right? Yeah. How much do you think... Because a review will come, and they will tell us exactly how much it weighs. How much do you think it's going to weigh? That's my question. Oh, oh it's, a, it's, three, it's competing against the three hundred. What's grams? The, yeah, you use grams, don't you? That's Did they say how much? Maybe more. I don't know. Four hundred, three hundred, but between three and four hundred. I, I think we're in the right ballpark. Definitely. That's a heavy fucking watch. Is this I'm, is this designed to compete against the offshore? Think about it. No, no, no. Yeah, against the brick. No, no, no. That's a different thing. Okay, 
Okay. That's a, that's a different. Uh, I don't think anyone's going to buy this watch. See, the deep sea in stainless steel weighs two hundred and twelve grams. You still think just three hundred? I mean, seventy. Yeah, it might be like four. Lot. It Jesus. might be four. Yeah, it's going to be heavier than a uh, platinum Daytona by a mm. lot. And a normal deep sea is fucking heavy and top heavy at that. It's uncomfortable. I mean, I had a Sea Dweller 43 for like a three month stint, and that's not a watch that you want to daily. And I have the wrist that I could daily it. You know, my wrist is seven and three quarters. Mm -hmm. So I could wear a 43, 44, no problem. And I thought it was uncomfortable. I don't, I don't like anything. I mean, as far as full gold goes, the biggest watch I'd want would be that Sky Dweller. Like, I could not do. No, nothing more mm. nothing more would be the no no way it's too uncomfortable it's interesting when i mean we've got a pretty much the same size wrist by the sounds of it when i tried this on it wasn't so much the height or the width it, it was the the depth of the watch that did it for me yeah it, it's a hamburger it's way way too high on the wrist mm. and it's just it's fucking uncomfortable it has zero the zero rolex elegance in the deep sea mm. Bulky, clunky is the word. I think. Yeah, terrible. It's it's a watch you can't wear it for more than I think a single day. Like it is a fun watch to wear to like an event, right? Because it's oversized, it's ridiculous. It, you know, it's a bit of an inside joke, right? Uh, yeah. But it's not definitely not a daily. A daily. But deep sea. Yeah. And yellow gold. Blue. Why not? Would it would have it been better? What have you uh, would rather like instead of this, Buckley? Like, if you had a choice, if they're going to make one watch full gold with the blue dial, um, if they're going to make one watch full gold with the blue, see the dial. would be better. Uh, um, right? Or maybe I just I don't think they should do anything with the. I think the deep sea should disappear like i don't oh the human body cannot go that deep so it's total waste it's uncommon mm. like i i don't understand the point of it mm. um full gold i don't know i don't know i think they're just trying to make a watch in every size category and it's just like hey we need a watch that's gonna be like this size uh, and then just I... <sighs> Maybe make some new and exciting changes first. Would be. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 You guys want actual innovation? It would be nice. All right. So let's go to some new stuff. All right. Let's look at the innovation. Here we go. This is the first <laughs> new watch with some new shit. This is. Whew, this, this is. This is. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. Something. Rolex coming in for the juggler of the independence. All right. So. Oh, shit. Here we go. Lo love the case and the dial. That brown strap is abominable. Should have been navy blue. Should have made it navy or some sort of blue. The brown. I don't think the brown works with the blue. It, it's very. It's like on the Daytona, I don't know. though. You know, on the Daytona, uh, nice blue dial, brown bezel. That's why they put brown strap because that's like Rolex terminology. Yeah, I know, but it just it's not working here. You got to change that strap out. Even, I don't know, maybe black would have been better, but I would have done navy. Navy would have looked mm -hmm. good. Also, keep in mind, Buckley, this is not the final look. The, there's the image, you know, the color. It's a picture taken from a screen through and like through a whatsapp that was sent so the color these colors are not final it might look better once we have once we see how the real thing is when it's revealed okay so this is, this is something that we might still yet but what do you think about the guilloche guilloche total douche total douche watch or is this the fuck boy buckley i know the answer to that it's definitely not a fuck boy watch Definitely not a fuckboy. No, it can't be. This is totally I might be wrong. Is this Rolex be. trying to take the, the the douche audience? Because because the Skydweller, right? That was a fuckboy watch. Then this this has gotta be 
Mm. I do. I just, it's just not what, well, back when I was doing all this stuff, it, it just wasn't what Rolex were known for, and they're still mm. not known for their dress watches. So I think, I feel like no one really owns one. I've never known anyone that did. Yeah, yeah. Thomas Burnett in the chat, one of the OGs. Shout out to Thomas. This is the best release of the lot. Thomas Burnett mm. was watching your streams back in the day, Django. Yeah. OG viewer. Guys, up with the stream. It's great to have Django on here. He was doing streams with Adrian Barker, Bark and Jack. Pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool story. Uh, I get your shape. Uh, Buckley, uh, I don't know. Maybe your microphone blew out. It's not working. We can't hear you. If you wanted to tell us. Uh, maybe Django, what do you think? Guilloche? No, it's not working, Buckley. No, uh, I, no I just don't think it's 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 not for me. I think, yeah. Mm. I've never been a much of a dress watch. This is the sort of watch for the person I wish that I was, but I'm not, you know? So mm. I sort of stayed well away from this stuff. Uh Joe says, anyone who buys this yeah. is going to be upset. They add a moon face to this one. When they add mm. the moon face to this watch. <laughs> a moon face would look good on that. I, I think I'd prefer your Ming in a different color to this. Really? Yeah, I think so. Well, look, I think this is this is cool. This mm. is I'm going to drop the link again. Uh, uh, this is really cool. I think Rolex is taking on uh, the the paddock now the right way. They figured mm -hmm. out a formula, right, where they could still be Rolex, but they but they can actually make they can make dress watch that mm -hmm. that works. It, it really it I, the Cellini man. It took them freaking what a hundred years. They tried everything with the Cellini. It never worked out. Mm. But this is this is cool. I like it. I really do. The the dial, I don't know if it's stamped. So this is gonna be uh, important to find out. Looks like it's stamped actually, to be honest. The the guilloche. Mm. It doesn't look like it's the real guilloche. I think it's just machine pressed. <clears throat> I'd say so probably, yeah. Yeah, and then it's a platinum case. Platinum case. Fucking nice. Ice blue platinum case. Ro uh, the brown leather strap, like the Daytona. Mm. Open case back, too. I don't have the image, but it's got that, open case That would back. be good to see. I want to see you what Rolex see give an open case back, yeah. Shit, okay. Um, man, uh, you, You've got okay. someone spamming the chat to let them in. Uh, oh, no, 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 it's, uh, oh, hey, it's Aaron. Yo, Aaron, welcome to the show. What do you think about these leaks? Do you like these leaks? I'm going to buy the O. She likes the leaks. The leaks are incredible. Guys, up with the live stream. Uh, Aaron approves the leaks. She's excited about these watches. It's a pretty cool, pretty cool watch. Whoa, we got to mute that for a second. Okay. Um, yeah, look at this. The ice blue. It, it's a beautiful watch. Uh, oh, you know what? I think I can't show the case back. Yeah. Uh, oh, you know what? I'll show it. I'll show the, the case back. It's basically the same case back as on the regular uh, 1908. Okay. I'll no, just show you. Yeah, I'll just show you here. 1908. Because it's like. See, so here we go. Rolex 1908. Here we go. It would be, oh, it would be kind of closer to this one. Here we go. Discover in 360. Like that. See that? Um, let's see. Maybe we can get it closer. Cool. <clears throat> let's see. Oh, there you go. It's. It's nice. It's yeah, very simple. I think that's to be expected, though, right? Machine finish. It's not like perfect, obviously. I like this watch though. This is really nice. Yeah. Well, here, here they are. Right. You missed this release, right? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know these existed. These are 
unbelievable. This is complete remaking, reimagining of a Rolex dress watch. Let's see here, just a second. Okay, uh, complete reimagining, right? Uh, with new hands, new dial configuration, and get this: the movement, uh, the the running seconds at six. This is a module. So mm. the movement actually has powered center seconds, but there's a module that redirects us to six, meaning they're probably going to have a lot of interpretation on this dial. There's going to be a moon phase. There's going to be a date version. There's going to be all kinds of modules that they will play around with to make these different dress watches. There might even be like an annual with, uh, you know, with the eyes. Imagine mm. if they just like added annual here. Boom, boom. Two, three windows. Like a proper in-house dress watch, and there you, there you can see the, the finish. It's not. It's, it's yeah, nice. it's very simple, isn't it? But it is nice. Yeah, I think it's a completely machine finished. And they, but you know what? They got their own Geneva stripe design. Actually, it's proprietary. Let me explain. You know, uh, like regular Geneva stripes, they have this pattern. You see this pattern, mm. but you see this fat line. Yeah, cutting yeah. through in between that's the rolex geneva stripes all right it's hard to see in the image let me actually i might even zoom it in even more so i can tell you i can show you exactly what i'm talking about here we go let's zoom it in okay so here you can cut yeah. you can kind of tell see that that's so that it's in between the stripes here's another one right now normally this would have been done in such that there's no transition. It's it's like a perfect, but they yeah. put these highlighted breaks between each stripe and it highlights them. It makes them look almost like three dimensional columns running through. Like you can see, you mm. see how it's a, it looks like it's three dimensional. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. This, this shape, it looks like a circular, like a tube. Mm. No, that, that is really it creates nice. volume. Yeah. Anyways, it is it is interesting and it's fully applied by machine. You can see here. Look at the the brushing from center of the rotor, kind of see going outside, mm. and then it's got the polish around. Obviously, it looks like a machine polished around, but still, look at the bearings. It's a very interesting, complicated movement. Side. Oh, what is this? Silox. Shit, the hairspring is a silicon. It's a Rolex silicon. I, I completely forgot about that. I'd be surprised if it wasn't. I, I thought they were using the blue paracord because yesterday with Tim G, we were just talking about how, oh, Rolex is never going to go away uh, from using the blue parachrome hairsprings. And uh, here we can see it. it's got silo, silox, see something, silox, silicon, basically. Wild stuff. Okay, nice so maybe nice. maybe it's just a matter of time until like in the future they're going to fully switch to. Maybe uh, all these silicon. new releases will have it. Yeah. Not me. They have to have a selling point, right? Father Time, if it is said, Reshep Reshepi on the dial, people would be losing their minds. They would be losing their minds if it said Reshep Reshepi. Yes, they would. It is. I, it has been a long journey to get to mm. this design for Rolex. And now they freaking nailed it. I, man, Patek, Vacheron, um, AP not so much. Uh, they're probably freaking out because this is a lot of kind of. Th this could grab a lot of the douche, douchey, douchiest uh, watch collectors' attention. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> yeah, uh, and those douches would have spent money, you know, getting getting like a proper handmade watch, like uh, like my Maurice Grossman, right? Maurice Grossman. Mm -hmm. Pro proper douche watch um, kind of competes against this one. Why mm. would anybody buy a Moritz Grossman nowadays if you could get the Rolex with the 
kind of a guillotine watch, but it's got water resistance, proper water resistance. It's got kind of a good finish on the back, mm. deploying strap. It's nice. I'd be interested to see what the price is on this. It's going to be in the tens, right? Has to be. Um. No, 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 no. Are you kidding me? The gold. You know how much the gold one costs. Yeah, I mean, I said in the tens, like it could be twenty, it could be thirty, you know. I think if we do it, if we do the math, let's see. So let's go here. Let's configure. Start. Oh man, look at this watch. That is very nice. Beautiful. Twenty-two thousand for the yellow gold. Yeah, that's sort of what I was expecting. And I'm assuming gold. that new one is going to be platinum or white platinum. gold. Yeah, platinum. yep, yep. That's what it it's looking to be. It's looking to be platinum. So what do you think? 22. Let's see, let's do a marker here. I want to say 26, 27. 22, really? For the yellow. Man, you oh. way off for the yellow gold. I don't know, maybe, okay. yeah, 25. Something like that, around that ballpark. Flat. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> you think so? What? Like extra six thousand? No shot. No, no, no. It's uh oh, oh, oh oyster. Thank you so much. Twenty for twenty seven sec. You lost some weight, Tim. Our Rolex prices up again. Uh, no, no, no. Prices are actually coming down because the Swiss franc is so strong. Uh, Rolex watches in United States are about ten percent cheaper, so it's discounted. They're they're not up; they're down. However, think about let's think about it from a gold day date perspective. Okay, gold day date cost what forty thousand. Platinum is like sixty thousand. That's mm -hmm. a fifty percent increase. Okay, so I'm thinking if we're going if we're going from uh, yellow gold to platinum, it would have to be at least thirty three. Now that's if it's just materials alone, mm. but but we have to add the gear shade, the price of this new dial. This is premium dial. They could ask up to ten k for it. So we got a forty three thousand dollar watch. Yeah, about checks out. Hey, and uh, check this out. We've got Father Time in the chat, 45,000. Yeah. Boom, it's like, yeah, you go. There you close. go. Yeah, yeah. Right? This is Rolex math, right? This is how Rolex calculates stuff. So, and 43,000, that's, dude, you know how much Maurice Grossman costs? No. In, okay, Maurice Grossman in rose gold. With the same dial as mine, the the tremblage. Hold on, hold on. Look, let me show you. This is nuts. Rolex is coming after, in a way, kind of my watch. Literally, they're creating competition for my watch. It's gonna make it more difficult for me to get rid of it if I wanted to. Look at that, right? That looks exactly that nice. like the like the nineteen oh eight. Look. So what's Bam! What's one the price for on one. That? Huh? So okay. So this one, this is steel version, but 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 they got platinum, right? So uh, the steel one is thirty six, but they but the Maurice Grossman makes the same watch in rose gold with purple hands instead. That one is forty six. So wow. yeah, so it's literally almost identical price. Which one? If you were gonna buy. You know yourself a fine dress watch. Would you still go with the Maurice Grossman, or would you look and say, you know what, I'll take the platinum Rolex with that stamped guilloche? I'd honestly probably go for the steel case. For the steel, I know, I know. But yeah, just, I, just I, if I'm you're buying a dress yeah. watch, right? Yeah, like, I think I still go steel. Honestly, oh. I'm a I'm a simple man, and there's going to be man. some jokes lined up for that. But um, I've never really put much stock in different materials and, and and the such so yeah stainless steel every day 
So the Grossman. A lot of people yeah. would still go for the Grossman. Look at this. David H. says Grossman is more special. I agree. Grossman yeah. is more special. It's handmade. Uh, there's Well, Rolex, a lot of it is also handmade. A lot of it is machine-made, which is fine. I mean, it's okay to have a little I bit mean, of both. Hand-assembled, I think, yeah. probably. The terminology, yeah. yeah. Hand-screwed, the, the, the case back, and yeah. the case front. Or maybe they have a machine for that to get like a perfect tightness. I think they do. I think they still do it by hand, but there is a machine, yeah. Yeah. But it, either way, I mean, it, this is a spectacular watch. Yeah, I it's beautiful. Would, I would totally go for this. In, in You know what? In, in a way, like Maurice Grossman, it's it's great. It's, it's a great watch if you like mm. the hobby, uh, if you like kind of hand craftsmanship. But if you want to commemorate a moment and you – really don't have time to learn everything about the watch this is a great way to go mm. i could see somebody wearing this to the oscars oh yeah definitely right it's a great i now how rare is this going to be how very rare, what is going to happen to this watch is this going to be a lama equivalent right is this a so this is let's put it on the scale of rareness right is this a la mans Right, or is it uh, like uh, what's the like what was the unwanted watch? Um, an unwanted Rolex, Rolex, like a thirty-one Lady Datejust. Yeah, let's go with that. Thirty-one Lady Datejust. Okay, so Lama, it this is super rare. Lama is ten out of ten. 31 Lady Datejust. It's one of those Cam watches. Cam had one, actually. Cam. Uh, uh, that's a zero, okay? How rare do you think, guys, this watch is going to be? Put it in the chat on the scale from zero to 10. Not rare it's... at all at zero or super rare and possible to get a 10. Oh, to, to get? Yeah. I thought you meant get. like how many from are going to be in the wild. Um,. It's going to be about a six. I don't think it's going to be too difficult. I I can't see this being very popular. Artificial scarcity, maybe. Yeah, well, they could make that. it a artificial, and that's the game, probably. But this is the thing: it will be very low production run every time. It wouldn't surprise me if these were made to order. I don't, yeah. I don't feel like these are going to have much of a demand. Mm -hmm. So it would make sense to make them in very small batches. Yeah, I think this would be something that uh, uh, protect, uh, sorry, the something that Rolex could leverage to mm. sell the the other ones, the rose gold and the white gold ones. They yep. could like technically they could have this somewhere in the back. I'm thinking this is going to be like a nine, ultra rare, not as rare as Le Mans, but as rare as you can get because. Uh, they'll 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 leverage it against the the other one. So people who buy uh, the other uh, the the rose gold or the white gold black dial or the white dial 1908s, those people will be offered this watch as a follow up. Like, mm -hmm. hey, you already had this one. Thank you for buying it. You're you're now offered this one. Would you like it? Okay. Hey, Cam is back from the from the one hour timeout. Cool. Now Cam's back. I'm gonna make a move. I've got work. Oh. And it's oh, like... okay. Hey. Oh, but before you leave, give us your opinion. What do you think? Of this watch. This watch, yeah. It's it's a beautiful watch, but it's not for me. It's yeah. Yeah. It, it's a bit old man for my life. Yeah. I get it. It it is. It is a definitely an old man's watch. And there's a lot, but there's a lot of old mostly old men buy watches. So it's definitely a dude kind of... though. We know that. We're unique in that, right? The three of us. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, definitely a douche watch. That's what Buckley would say. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Good okay, stuff. Django. Okay. Take care. Uh, talk. Let's talk off air I want like about your story more. I want to find out more. I think I know. I'll tell you. I'll give you some ideas who I think it is. Is it Cam again? No, it's not Cam. Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> fine. I saw... I saw one of the older trolls in your chat earlier ah. about um, saying something about, oh, that was it. Um, I turned down a, a blue sky a year right or something. 
but we can oh. get into that another time. Another oh time. yeah, no, you you told us the story that you turned out. Listen, you didn't like yeah. it at that time. That was a honorable mm. thing to do. You, well, you I didn't want to destroy right that relationship. That was it. Yeah, <laughs> I was sort of hoping for a Daytona at the time, and uh -huh. uh, I couldn't Ooh. afford both. So um, yeah. Oh, so right. you turned it out in favor of uh, you thought hey and but so after you turned it out you never got the daytona no but but this is the thing right is that in my mind at the time it was like is this not so much a test because i could have just bought it right mm. but is this a test and i thought if i want the daytona and i was after the panda yeah if i turned down this blue sky dweller I was sitting, I was thinking about buying it. Yeah. But if I turn this down, that shows that I'm fucking serious, right? I'm not right. just going to take this and flip it for yes. a profit. I'm, I, I want the watch. I want the Daytona. Yeah. But maybe that's why I didn't get it, because I didn't buy this guy. I don't know. Shit, man. It's twisted games. You ne you don't know what the heck. Maybe they yeah. thought this motherfucker, he turns down the, uh, a blue sky dweller. That's it. No pen of Daytona for him. Like, Probably. You never know how they're going to interpret yeah. it. Probably. about the Daytona. In all fairness, I would have sold the Daytona as well anyway at this point, so it doesn't really yeah. matter. Yeah, so I think you, you still made out. Uh, yeah. But just by selling at that time, you still made big profit. Yeah, it's very and true. Now the watches are way down. You could buy them exactly. for cheap. Get back in. Perfect time. I'll think about it. Think about it. I'll start with one of these things first. Okay. Cool. Cool. See you later. Take Thanks it easy. Bye. The Django, Bye. <clears throat> the Django so story happens. continues. What happened? He sold all of his watches. Yeah, a troll went after him, like really hard, and he quit the hobby because, like, yeah, they just he couldn't figure Dude. out who it was who was trolling him. Tim, I, I would even somebody like, close to him. He thinks it's it's like somebody's just random person online, but I'm convinced it's someone close to him, someone who has he has crossed. Or on the uh, on his channel, Tim. I wouldn't. I wouldn't even give a twenty grand for for a girl that I love, let alone a fucking sales clerk at a jewelry store. What do you mean? He said he turned down the sky dweller to for yeah. a relationship with sales clerk. I wouldn't. Well, that's even, why he was convinced. I, I would. He was. I would. I would turn down twenty k for a relationship with a hot Asian girl. <laughs> well, listen. He was convinced. Uh, he, in this he believed in the wristwatch fantasy right the all the fantasy that we want all want to believe there was no right? fantasy no there is a wristwatch fantasy right there is the journey that the brands want to take you on right Ugh, i guess and yeah i just, like this you know, watch. It's an experience. I like this a lot i i i personally purchased this watch um this is a great watch i would buy it for 40 grand Take it or leave it. This uh, 1908? Yeah. 1908 is a pretty cool watch. You think this would be wait, a hot seller? What happened to everybody? What do you mean? Like, Buckley's not on. Well, Buckley had there. to jump off. OC went to, for dinner. What? See, Tim? Are you worried that it's you? I'm you think always that they're not just, jumping on because I'm, it's you. I'm always here for you, Tim. I'm just, I know, just, I appreciate yeah. it. I know, when, but when everybody, they, else, to, when everybody you know, else, when everybody else leaves you, you know who's here. Yo, I know, right? Camp, that's what I don't understand. It's like, it's funny, it's funny how that works. They're trying to convince me, like, you're a bad guy. I'm like, what the hell? Not they, like, there's some people, you know, in the chat. Con like Lolex is convinced you're a bad guy, so like you know, I I'm done with it. I'm done with it. I think like Lolex, they go after you, and then when you go after them, they get a they get upset and they like go public about it. But like when they when they <laughs> attack you, you never t you never you never go public with this. So yeah, hey, let yeah, me just get know, a it's hoodie. It's a famous Drake line. <laughs> Yeah, guys, here's this, this famous drink line. It, it goes like, um, it, it was in, uh, what, what song was it? it? It was one with Lil Durk. Um, hey, sorry, sorry. I needed to grab a hoodie. Yeah, I was telling them about this. 
I was telling them about the streak line. Um, it with little Dirk, it, it went like um. I gotta pull it up. Anyway, oh, okay, it went like if it if it was me, they wouldn't regret it. Uh huh. They said basically Drake said that he buried them, but if it was him, they wouldn't regret it at all. But now they're complaining because they he retaliated against them. But if it was the other way around, they wouldn't regret doing it to him. Hmm. That's how it. these um, trolls, these Lolex trolls are. If I do I something to them, if I do something oh, to oh, them, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They start, they start some, they say something. And then you retaliate, and then they get all defensive. They start blaming you, like, oh, what? <laughs> because they know it's true. Like, when I come for somebody, it's not false. That's the, well, that's the difference. You can't be so truthful all the time, Cam. Sometimes it, it cuts too deep. When they come for me and I don't respond, I, I'm just like, I, I just don't like the disrespect. But Because it's you're never 100% true. real, you know? Never true. <laughs> like, they they just want to disrespect and when I come back with real shit, they 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 start puckering up. But let's uh hop off the 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 troll talk and uh get back to yeah. these watches. Yeah. Yeah, so traders. let's drop the link if actually if anybody wants to join us on the stream. Uh we're gonna be continuing Bumpy's talking. Um uh, well he I think he hopped off because he had like dinner. He might come back on. Huh? Uh, yeah, but just that. anyways, uh, let's just keep going here. The the nineteen oh eight. I uh, yeah. Let's see it with with some of the answers. Okay, uh, people been speculating in the chat what's going to be the the rareness, how rare this watch is going to be. We got numbers all the way from low, where it's going to be sitting in the windows. There's a possibility these are going to be so tough to sell, they'll be sitting in the window. Uh, that's why Rob F says three. Johnny O predicted a seven. Blue Copper Coffee says about five. It could be, there could be one in the store, right? Is there going to be a lot of people fighting over it? Not likely. Uh, and then there's uh, some people who believe that this could be one of those. Hey, you have to buy all every single one of the 1908, every single configuration. Like you have to buy four before you get offered this one. That's how you unlock it um uh, thomas burnett says tim do you think lamont's will be discontinued wow what a great question ah uh, i hope so right i hope so it, I, it would be the right thing to do lamont lamont's Uh, discontinue. This can. Well, this can. Jesus, tin. Discontinued. That's a possibility. Cam, what do you think? Would Lamar get discontinued? Oh yeah. Um, I is it even on the Rolex website? <laughs> what? The Lamans. It's still on the website. But today, Rolex is going to refresh the website. It's going to unleash the new models in about, let's see here, it's, uh, about six hours. We've got six hours to go. How are we going to, wow, we're going to have to come up with some material. Uh, but anyways, it's going to be released, the, the new trailer. And uh, we'll see and compare if, uh, because this could be a fake out. I mean, that would be insane if Rolex actually pulled it off like an April Fool's Day kind of situation. <clears throat> but, okay, here we go. Let's see. So, that's the 1908. I don't think there's much to say about this. We'll, we'll, we'll come back to it. Uh, soon let's go to let's take a look at another watch here let's take a look at oh you're gonna you guys gonna like this one <laughs> maybe not whoa what uh, I, I get 
I'd like it on leather strap, not rubber. You like it on the leather strap? Yeah. And this is on rubber, rubber, rubber piece. It's a rubber. Wow, this is, uh, I don't know. I don't even know what to say about it. If if I see this sitting in the case, I'll buy it. Just so I can say I got a Daytona. If, like, Man, this is an interesting that. Daytona. So what we got here is <clears throat> circular diamonds. I would have expected uh, pave, the square ones. But okay, we got circle <clears throat> diamonds. I would have like I would have liked baguettes in the bezel. Baguettes in the bezel? Yeah, me too. me too. And, you know, they do have baguettes in the bezel. But I'm thinking because it's circular diamonds, then this has got to be white gold. It's not platinum. It's just white gold. <clears throat> and then we've got mother of pearl uh, dial with black mother of pearl subdials. What? What? Are you kidding me? Uh, white mother of pearl right there and black uh mother of pearl boom mother of pearl it's a combination it's a yin yang what a what a watch obviously this is extremely niche <clears throat> it's it's kind of a maybe a, a less gaudy version of uh you know that elton john daytona yeah that has the yeah. tiger stripes yellow tiger stripes yeah this is oh yeah, a, yeah 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 i mean it's not for it's not for us again right but it is a women's watch it's a is, is this is this a, for women or our men are going to wear it because like to me mother of pearl is the material that rolex has always uh advertised to women it's always been marketed to towards women mother of pearls women 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 it's all about the chicks so i mean this could be targeted speaking to of the women. chicks a lot, a lot of women like the oh, see what's up wait tim can you check the private chat the private chat yeah Oh, interesting. Okay. All right, I'll check it out. Uh, okay. Hey, hey, OC, welcome back. Yep. What do you think? This is interesting. Eh, I mean, it's on Oyster Fletcher's. It's kind of weird. I mean, it reminds me of those Yacht Masters with the Pave dial on Oyster Flex, which I don't love. This one's different. This one's okay. I'm assuming this is white gold. Tahitian mother of pearl in the sub rings or in the cool. uh, in the sub dials. It's it's cool. It's cool, right? It's off catalog piece, obviously. No, no, it might be. No, I think this is going to be mainstream piece. Just added to the collection below platinum. It's no. for it's for sporty <laughs> strong women. Think about it. It's a perfect is, yoga watch for like CEO of a yoga club. These know. bezels by themselves are like thirty or forty thousand extra. Yeah, it's expensive for strong, independent women like that. You know the girl that we met uh, with. I don't know. We just saw her on the street. Uh, that was wearing Chanel kind of. Uh, she was wearing like strong, Chanel. independent black women. Well, this one was strong, independent Asian woman. She was kind of cool. Uh, yes, on the street. Yeah, today. Yeah, remember that we were just kind of we were talking uh, some watches nonsense, and uh, the roommate was like running behind us like a like a kitten, and there was this lady, whoo, the power that was emanating from her. It was, it was scary. It was scary. I think she was like a top lawyer. She was like she was like Alina Haba, Asian Alina Haba, <laughs> right. Like, what she you know, say? right? Yeah, no. Did you get a little bit of that vibe? Yeah. What did she say? Ooh. I she didn't, she didn't say, say anything. anything but, but she looked very stern. 
Power. I wish this had baguettes, but other than that, it's pretty cool. She get the she had like this I don't know five ten carat uh, Tiffany ring. Uh, she was wearing a Chanel tweed jacket, and she had a Louis Vuitton black bag. Some kind of fancy shoes I I didn't understand, but man. Anyways, uh, <laughs> uh, it's pretty cool. This watch is why I could imagine like someone like that wearing this watch it's a power watch i don't know even i would wear it oh let's be honest i kind of dig it i think it, it's pretty cool anyone anyone agrees let's do a, let's do a rent a ranting uh rating uh from one to ten how hot this watch is uh how hot i give it a 10. Whew! cam gives it a 10. would you wear it oh yeah well, the is haters say a, I can't get a Daytona, so you know that this would probably be it. You think this is going to be easy to get? Oh, okay. So how hot and how hard? How hard? How hard to get? You think this is going to be easy to get, uh, uh, Cam, or is this going to oh, yeah. have to beg for this? Well, I'll, I'll probably ask, not beg. You'll ask. There's still sticks at the end of the day to me. Remember that. So how hard? Is it like a six or a five? I'd Two? say uh, probably, probably like a four. A four. <laughs> okay. Oh, see, what do you think? Oh. <laughs> Bro, how hard do you have to beg? <laughs> how do you have to beg for this? Why? I mean, right? That's... Oh, my God. I mean, it's true, mm. right? Because you have to play One the game. Can, see. How hard do you have to beg for this watch? It's not even begging. This, this is a, this is an off catalog piece. You have to be approved by Rolex to buy it. Whew. It's a very very difficult to buy off catalog pieces. Ten. This is like ten out of ten. It's a ten out of ten. It's like it's not as hard as a Rainbow Daytona. But for example, uh, last year they introduced the black dial with the ruby bezel. How many have you seen in the wild? Zero. Zero. I haven't seen. I mean, one yet. they're very very difficult to get. Holy. Ooh, father time 200 father artifact and... yeah yeah sorry sorry father artifact <laughs> father time respect for father time as well father time sent me some some money toward for the sandwich last night uh i always get them confused father artifact and shout out to dear artifact too great son and the father collector's duo very interesting check out the the dear artifact instagram account they have some incredible watches. I I hope they will get the Daytona. I, I like. There's a possibility if there is one. I think this is worse than the than the Le Mans. Uh, they should get the Le Mans. Go for the Le Mans. You can skip this one, Father Artifact. Or maybe Mother Artifact would like this watch. Holy shit! Did you think of that? Oh, yeah, see, this, this is easily a hundred and fifty thousand. Oh, see, hundred and twenty-five thousand dollar piece. Oh, see, oh, see, oh, see, oh, see. Look, look at this. So this is a Mother Artifact uh, watch and a little bit of bling jewelry there. Wouldn't this Daytona look so much better? I mean, what do you think? Well, this is this is Mother Artifact's watch. So I know I it's a great it watch. All the, all the respect wrong with in it. the world. I mean, I'm not saying this is anything wrong with this uh, with this watch, but I'm just saying. Hey, if there was a, a watch made from other artifact. It's a very, very expensive watch. My God. I think this is this is for this is for wives of cel this is for celebrities and uh, female celebrities. Come on. If if Mark Wahlberg were a female, he'd be getting this watch. Or she would. I'm Blown away. I think this watch is going to kick ass. It's the only thing that really the only thing that's anyway. interesting is the is the choice of Tahitian mother of pearl, right? Which is the more masculine version. Yeah, right? yeah. If, the they put if they put mother of pearl or that kind of uh you know the one that they use in the rainbow Daytona, mm -hmm. then it would have like, yeah, this is a woman's watch. But you know what? The Tahitian mother of pearls, fuck you. I can see guy celebrities wearing this. Well, 
If you thought this was insane, look at this. There is a reverse version as well. Boom! Yeah. His and hers. Two mother of pearl Daytonas. <sighs> this one's the reverse pearl. But the, 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 uh, unfortunately, this one only has the, this one has the round diamonds instead of the baguette cut. No, no, both diamonds. of them have round diamonds. No. No, the, the white one had uh, uh, round as well, unfortunately. Uh, go back to it. Yeah, unfortunately. Let's see, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, okay, okay, here. It just it was just an effect, it looked like. Oh. See? Oh. It's the round. That's just the setting. Oh. Yeah. What a shame, what a shame, what a shame. Well, listen, it's uh it's I think but I think that's what indicates it's white gold. If they were square because there are Daytonas with square pave bezels, <coughs> those are platinum. Maybe that maybe they Or rainbow. Platinum. Or rainbow. Yeah. yeah, uh yeah, my my uh excitement just went from like an 8 to like a 5. Mm, no. Oh, see, don't get de excited. That's not a good thing. Nah, it's I don't like the round the round diamonds in the bezel. Gotcha. Combine that with the round diamonds on the dial, and it's a, it's a no for me, dog. It's a no or a no brainer. It's a no. It's a no way. No way, Jose. Yeah. Father artifact two hundred and eighty Canadian. Have a great time at watches and wonders. Tim and OC, the artifacts will be tuning in. For all your streams, you have to get up early because the the streams will be starting uh, like five a.m. East Coast time every day. Wow, is it really five? Oh, five a.m. <laughs> it's going to be fun. It is really going to be fun, guys. If you are not subscribed, if you're watching and you're you came over from Shreen's channel, uh, make sure you subscribe to the to the live stream. I'll be at the Watches and Wonders with OC. A uh, whole bunch of other uh, characters. Small G is going to be there. Uh, Red Shovel. Shout out to the UK Watch Crew. The UK Watch Crew did a live stream earlier today. Uh, nice. It was very good. Yep. They're back. They're back. But there is they can't they can't settle on, on the name. That the, the name is going to tear the UK Watch community apart. They, they, they want to name it uh, The Pod. The watch pod. Get it? Like a pod. Pod, pod, pod. No, we discussed it the other day, and I don't know how this relates to the UK. It doesn't have any, like, British flavor to but it. Then, but then people can rename it. Like, if they, wanted, they, if they wanted West Coast, they could do a West Coast pod. <laughs> what? That doesn't make it any sound. It doesn't make it sound any better when you say it like that. Look, um... We're gonna give it a try. We're gonna try a pod show. You never, you just never experienced yeah. the pod. I, show. I like it. I like, I like Alan, but show. that's not, that's not a good name. Well, maybe you need to see it in, in, in the working. Okay, May, I get it. Okay, sometimes you have to see it. An example. <coughs> it's the truth. The truth. Sometimes you need to see an example in real life to see if it's going to catch on uh, or not. Pod like a Keurig. Yeah. Like a curry. Pod. Like, no, no, like AirPods. Like a pod that you're listening to. Get it? You're listening to the pod. Anyways, let's get back to the important stuff here. We've got, boom, two new Daytonas. And this one, get this, OC. The other one was Oyster Flex. This one is on the Oyster. Which suggests that maybe, maybe you can get them both on full oyster or on the oyster flex. Like there is a flexibility there. There's oyster flexibility. Maybe I doubt it. I think there'll be one in one on the oyster and one on the oyster flex. Um, just two two models. No, I think this is gonna be hot. I I think they're they always had this stuff stuff like this. I right? don't like, like this one of, either. Which one do you like more? This one, the black one, the Tahitian, or 
did you prefer the white one? Because this here, I know it's bad resolution. This is a really bad picture, I see it. But these are white mother of pearl. I like the other one. You don't like this inverse. I I kind of, yeah, I like the other one more too. But I think it was because it was on the Oyster Flex. If this was on the Oyster Flex, it would look much cooler. What ruins it uh, are the small, brilliant cut diamonds on the back because it just ruins it. Yeah. Yeah, it's just not good, right? Nope. Yeah, listen. I it hate is, those. Uh, it is pretty cool, though. It is pretty cool. This is another one that's out of reach. All of these watches are out of reach. There's that that full gold deep sea, and then there's this, and then the other one, and then the platinum nineteen oh eight. These are all way out of reach for the normal customer. This is not for normal customer. This is for the exclusive VIP customer. Okay. Um, Eventually, we'll get to something that normal people normal. might be able to buy. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff for the you know the yeah it's all actually you know what it's all like super super mega expensive it's all solid gold right oh here's another one the yeah. next thing well I don't even know oh it's mother of pearl. <gasps> We would have to look at the crown to determine if this is white gold or platinum. Mm, Mother of Pearl with baguette. Baguette. This is expensive. Seriously big money, Osea. Mega money. It's very cool. By the way, someone's asking when are we streaming? And that uh, we're streaming Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for sure. And maybe even Monday, right? Stream. Yeah, yeah, definitely Monday. Stream. Uh, Friday. Friday yeah, might be a little bit later. Friday might be around, uh, by later, I mean like 7 a.m. or 8 a.m. instead of 5 a.m. Yeah. But on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday will be 5 a.m. Eastern, roughly. Set your alarms, guys. There we go. Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Probably entire day, probably these three days, the entire day, Friday, it's going to be a, a good stream, probably a, a nice long stream. And then Tuesday, I'm flying back. So there might not, there might not be stream on Tuesday. <clears throat> but these, these days, these Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And thank you so much to everyone who has uh, who's supporting the show, who are members, who are super chatting. Huge shout out to Father Artifact. These mega donations, right? Father Time, he sent me a hundred bucks via PayPal. That was very generous too. There's a lot of people because man, this show. I mean, the tickets there is like a thousand bucks. And then the tickets for the show, like two hundred bucks. Uh, and I'm gonna be streaming the entire experience for you guys. And I do have to eat, and I have to pay rent back home too. So, I this is my this is my job. I take it as a job. It's really early to pay the May rent, Tim. Oh man, I don't think I even sent it yet. <clears throat> hold on, hold on. Let me just check. No, I think I did. I think I'm good. And we also, uh, we ha we have even more leaks actually, some stuff that I haven't even mentioned. It's gonna be pretty cool, uh, but hey, OC, OC, what do you? Is saying? there any is is there any way to zoom in on the crown? On the crown? Yes, we could, but the crown is facing the other way, and so you can't really tell. Oh, yeah, you can. No, you can't. I don't think so. I don't think so. I that... think it's, they perfectly put it in the position where you wouldn't be able to. Mm, I think that's definitely a line, which means is it a line or a dot? Oh, what I is know. that? I don't, I don't think so. No idea. Hmm. Tough. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, it's two dots. Two dots means it's it's uh what that's white gold. White gold. Okay. 
So it's a white gold. Do you guys agree with me in the chat that that's two dots? White gold. This white is a gorgeous gold. watch. I would prefer if they did white, like they did an enamel, like a lacquer dial or a white enamel or porcelain, something like that, something special, like a stone, white stone. But this white mother of pearl looks pretty good too. Is this a 36 or a, a 40, 41? A 40, sir, 40. Is this a 40 or a 36? The proportions, uh, it's hard to tell. It's a 40. Uh, to me, yeah, Cam? It's a 40. It's a 40. Oh. Yeah, because I was going to say the same thing. I think to me it looks 40. <clears throat> also, the way they put baguettes, they put baguettes on the 40, and on the 36, they put the round ones. Right? Or is that that was in the past? Maybe now they, they changed it up. Maybe we could pull it up. Let's see. Uh, let's see. What kind of diamonds can we get? Let's let's go to day date. Let's go 40. White gold. Let's see. Here we go. White gold. <clears throat> Are there any diamonds? Oh, there is a black dial. Ha, huh, there you go. That's what it kind of looks like. So there's a meteorite. That's a great one. Probably even better. But... And you can see it, the way the diamonds are set. Maybe I can make it even bigger. Actually, this is a 36. What? This is the, be the bezel. No way. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Are you sure? What about the bezel? Yeah, what about the bezel? I mean, I, I, I understand that white mother, if it's mother of pearl, white mother of pearl, Chances are it's a 36 because that's what's gonna, it's going to appeal to women. Women aren't going to be buying. Guys aren't going to be buying white mother or pearl. Why so not? to do it in, uh, they don't because it's kind of feminine. I know, but there's some people who want to be controversial, right? There's a lot of there's also a lot of women who want this kind of thing. They want a bigger watch. Look at the roommate; she's wearing a full a Pepsi. It's bigger than her wrist. Like the watch is like looks like a clock on her on her wrist. Well, um, we will find out in six and a half hours if this is a 36 or a 40. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we're gonna end in like uh in like an hour and a half and then we'll pick back up come back. at twelve o'clock. Take a little break. Maybe take a little break. We'll see. Maybe if some people jump on, uh we'll uh we'll go more. We'll see how it is, how it plays out. Uh, BZ, whoa, breakdown? BZ. Shit, look at this. Member for 33 months. Thank you so much, BZ. Do you know who oh. this is? BZ? Uh, of no, course, he's no, a no. member uh, for 33 months. Yeah, I, I think he, he unboxed back in the day, like OG days, like 33 months ago. I think he bought a day date with... Uh, with diamonds and the diamond bezel but now in the picture there's no no diamond bezel bz could you please remind us who you are first if you've been loyal for 33 months but it go we should we should know a little bit more about you you're an amazing okay. supporter uh math says only tim can do math on in two parts <laughs> we'll see it maybe we'll we'll keep going uh, do you want to uh take uh, a music break tim no we're not allowed to play music that's the easiest way. I, I played that song. Lincoln Man. Park song. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah that Lincoln it wasn't Park even Lincoln song. Park. It was a cover. Yeah. You can't even play that. They they blocked me. And I and then because the live stream was too long, I they, they wouldn't allow me to take it take out the 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 video the thing. So I had to re-upload it. Such a mess. Why did but at least I didn't get any kind of a strike. So. Because on Twitch, you can, like, play music all day on there. Yeah, but it's different. It's different. There's certain permissions. Twitch has uh, permissions with uh, licensed brands and stuff. So We'll do it. Uh, I, I have to check with you. YouTube is trying to integrate music. They already have, like, libraries. You can, you can start buying music to be able to play on the, your live streams. So that's pretty cool. 
uh, car can else is 36. The coronet is closer to the date window. <gasps> what? Really? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, let's see it. Let's see it. What a 36 would look like with the diamonds. Because what I'm seeing is this. You see it at the it got bigger diamonds at six and the nine. Do you see that? I was saying. Mm -hmm. Yep. Right. And this is how it is here. As you can see, on these forties, there are smaller diamonds for for the eleven and ten, and the nine is a bigger diamond. Six is a bigger diamond. Everything else is smaller. You see, it? there's two sizes. Okay. Let's go now to the thirty-six. See it. 36. View more. Or we go here. Man, this is some okay. Let's configure this. Whoops. 36. Let's see it. Let's try white gold. Uh no diamonds. Diamond sent presidential bracelet. Jesus. Okay. There is see, there's no diamonds like that. They don't make they they have round diamonds. That's it. That's the only kind. There you go. There you go. So I think so it's 40. Be, it's a 40. <laughs> it's definitely a 40. Good job, Cam. Cam knows watches a little bit. He is so smart. <laughs> yeah, I do my uh, Rolex ABCs, you know. <sighs> you should have had yeah. those slides, though. That was a, what? That was a requirement. Yep. It was a test that you failed. Oh, uh, by the way, uh, let's let's take a little break because I, I want to ask some. I want to show you some stuff here. Let's see, you want to see some our break, cool can, stuff? Can I uh, ask the audience if? Uh, so, like, I'm on I'm on Hinge right now. I'll I'll admit, I'll admit mm -hmm. I've been swiping on potential dates and stuff. My reply to this person, she put a picture of her dog um in here and i was like should i say is she is she bad is she a bad girl like her mommy i said that or what should i say mm, interesting i don't know it's a tough that's a tough one if what, what are you trying to accomplish are you trying to so so, so you know how, how people say their their dogs are like oh he's a good boy or a good or a good girl yeah you're going for the opposite. Like, I'm you're asking, doing, I'm asking, sarcasm. Picture, she put the picture of her dog. I'm like, um, is is she a, a bad girl like her mommy? Like the, her pet owner? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Should I, say mm -hmm. I think you're coming dog? on too strong. It's a little yeah. bit too strong. Yeah. Maybe, yeah, yeah. It could you be misinterpreted be right. the wrong way. And you always yeah. want to you, you always wanna make sure that the way when you start out that you can't be misinterpreted. <laughs> Right, like if somebody like make sure before you send it, uh, make sure that what you say cannot be interpreted in a negative way. Okay. Right. Yeah, that way you got more chances because then you'll get a reply, and then once you get a reply, you can see what she wants to talk about, and then you go from there. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. Yeah, because you only get one shot to to land it, and if it's uh, if you're trying <laughs> if you're trying these lines that are fifty fifty, then you're just shooting yourself in the foot unnecessarily. Right, that makes sense. There you go. I mean, I'm just this makes no sense to, to like you know <clears throat> you. Hey, check this out. Where, where have you guys been? during the solar eclipse if you've been watching the solar eclipse i want to hear a little bit more about your solar eclipse do you have a picture of a solar eclipse send it to me uh hello at timred.com the solar picture of solar eclipse that you took <clears throat> okay send me the pictures that you took this is a crazy watch of seed you know what this is mm, this is i mean i would guess it's some kind of World time with a annual calendar. I don't know. This is gonna blow your socks off. Yeah, yeah, you kind of right. There is a little bit of a world. No, wait, is there a world time? Yes, there is. So this line 
here. And this is Ulysses Nardin, by the way. Ulysses Nardin. UN. Ulysses Nardin. All right, yeah. so it's got a world time, but it's also got a, a, a top astro, down. A, astro, it's got astrological signs too, which is it. <laughs> yes, it does, because it's like an annual calendar, December, January, right? It, it tells you which, like from which to which. Oh, these are Aquarius. That's me. I'm Aquarius. What about you, OC? Aquarius. Too. Yeah, I don't tell anybody. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, Cam, what, what sign are you? Leo? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's yeah, obvious. I think it, yeah, I think I think everyone in the chat would say that uh, Cam is cancer. <laughs> That's bad. That's <clears throat> damn. That's a that's a sign that that means uh, it's a, that's a, that's the sign they would the say. Crab. That's the crab. Uh, let's see. Wh which what's it actually called? Scorpius or is it? <laughs> Sagittarius, the can cancer. Which one is it actually? Cam, you there? What? Oh, I. Yeah, are, what? You are you multitasking? Are you not paying He's attention? He's eating a taco. No, I, I finished my tacos. Oh, how was it? Um, very mid, very mid, very mid. Okay, was it delivery? in twenty dollars for it was the delivery or you just went out yourself i just walked to the taco place and uh picked it up so check this out basically this is when this watch pays for itself okay let me let me explain it <clears throat> it's a uh, this this middle section it's a globe top down see this is over here over here this is africa right there Right, that's United States. Oh, so this is, a, this is a South America. United States is like this way. You understand? That's Florida right there. Okay. So, and then this line right here, this shows uh, which side of the planet. Uh, wait, where's the sun coming from? I think. Oh, okay. So the sun is coming from this side. Okay. So this is the night. So you have you look at the you look at the top down map and you could tell which side of the map has the light coming because there's the sun you can see right here there's the sun drawn right and the opposite side yeah so you go that's the sun that's where the sun is coming from and it's illuminating and on this day you could see the solar eclipse and the solar eclipse happens when these two overlap the sun when it overlaps right here and that's that's when it overlaps so when it's when it's here <coughs> i think wait yeah so basically you're able to see it when uh when they cross and uh russell was actually waiting for oh oh yeah so this this is like these two i think he was waiting for when like the two overlap and this one, you know, you got a solar eclipse. So yep. this watch actually, or maybe I I, I didn't interpret it correctly. Uh, let's see. So what let's you're see. saying is this this watch is basically useful once every 14 years. Well, no, no, it's it's kind of cool. Every day you could see because this map in the center it rotates, and so it this this line here divides the day from the night side. So you're kind of seeing a 3D three dimensional view of the planet and which side has day or night it's pretty badass and on top of it it's got the moon yeah so this shows you the the position of the moon in relationship to to earth's position see this this is moon and it actually rotates on its axis here see it's got the dark side and the light side crazy right? yeah, yeah, yeah it's insane and as it goes around, it rotates. So it shows you moon phase in relationship to Earth. It's it's totally bananas. Yeah. So, but uh, yeah, it's not, that's why this Ulysses Nardin kicks so much freaking ass. And that's why it's a great day to talk about this watch on the solar eclipse day. Because, yeah, that's what it's, yeah, you buy it for the solar eclipse. Look. You could literally tell this watch can literally tell a solar eclipse 
freaking badass piece of technology and with just springs and cogs there's no computer oh <laughs> uh, yeah what do you think what do you think cam i think it's impressive what uh, it is impressive yeah. uh uh, it's this is actually Russell's watch, believe it or not. Russell nine nine six. Uh, he's got other watches. Russell's got a crazy collection, of course. He's actually actually I had a I had an image here that I was saving up to show you guys. Let me see where the heck is it. I put it somewhere, and it's gone. Okay. Well, oh, 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 actually, I think I, I have it on the on the phone. By the way, check out this. Uh, I'm dropping this link in the private chat. Tell me what you think of this. You might have to open it up in a browser, maybe download oh. it. Okay. Let's see it. Let's see. Let's see. Wait, it could be malware. Be careful, Tim. Malware. What, I don't think it is. This? You, you could be trying to ransom me right now. Who sent you this? It's public. It's in the public domain. It's not. Uh, we won't be sued or anything if we show it. Okay. <clears throat> it's a video. It's a video. Okay. Let's... Oh yeah. Okay. That's wild video. Okay. Hold on. Let me download this. Okay. How do I download it? Up at the top right, there's an up down arrow. Oh yeah, okay, I see it. Okay, here we go. It's downloading. I think actually. Yeah, I'm not responsible if there's malware on there. No, no, I don't think there's malware. Oh, okay. But before I play it, I'm gonna use the restroom. I'll be right back. Okay. What do you Ooh, think uh, this is? Green Submariner. <laughs> Submariner. On Jubilee. No, this is this is this is a uh, GMT Master Two on Jubilee with the black and gray bezel. Are you sure? I see green no. on the bezel. And I see a Jubilee bracelet, so I'm kind of thinking that it's a uh, green Submariner on a Jubilee. Oh, I think we lost him. Jesus Christ, it's just me. <laughs> All right, guys. So, yeah, what we have here is Rolex rolling out this new Submariner. And, um, yeah, it's interesting because I they, this is the first time they're, they're putting a Jubilee bracelet on it. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, this is epic news. Hey, I just realized so, something. Cam, Cam, yeah. I think I know what's going on. I, I think I what? figured it out. What? I think you know what's going on? Cam, I what? think what? I think this is your problem. You say stuff that other people find really offensive. Okay. Uh and and then they uh then they don't like you. Right, and this is the problem. This is why everywhere you go, wow, that's a very deep analysis. Kind of issues. Well, no, it's a really basic ana analysis, right? Uh, but the but the thing is, what Cam doesn't understand, he he says these things. Maybe he thinks people, other people, are not getting offended by it because he's just saying the truth how he sees it uh, to them. Uh, but they getting offended by it. So, Cam, it, it's just like you're making it more difficult on yourself for like you know just trying to offend me. <laughs> hey shout out to humble pine i totally get it listen uh cam he, he was on the one hour timeout uh well i gave him a second chance just to it's all see right where we goes. i think I, humble, humble pine I mean, doesn't I need I'm to see the releases out. yeah yeah no cam try yeah, but I, think, I think me and uh oc figured out what this watch was he came to the conclusion that it was a new sermon on jubilee New sermit on the Jubilee. Yep. He's actually no. breaking. You've never seen a submarine on Jubilee before. 
What do you think this is, uh, OC? Has a 24 hour hand cam. It's a GMT Master 2. Is this a code? I don't see. A... I don't know. It's making it up. Uh, I don't know. I mean, look at the bezel. The bezel has 20, 22. To, yeah. I mean, it's like it's like any idiot can tell what this is. Oh, okay, okay. Cam, <laughs> take a take a <laughs> night off. <laughs> um, yeah, you just gotta you gotta be on top of your game for for the night. Just okay, okay. Or, if that look, serves I, as a, is that if that serves as an invitation to actual watch knowledge, pe- you know, people who have watch knowledge to join the panel, mm-hmm. then uh, please, I'll drop the link. And you can actually now that the stream is cam free, it increases no, but the I think likelihood. Re- really nailed it down here, right? Cam says offensive. Like he doesn't think it's offensive stuff. He does because he doesn't know. He's still a kid. Uh, but then people get offended for one, you know, for one reason or another because because they find that kind of stuff offensive. Yeah. It's so, not even. Off- uh, it's like some of it's not even offensive. Like, like we figured this out. This is a Submariner, Tim. Like, it, uh, why is that funny? Is it just? Or it's is an it just attempt dumb? at comedy. It's an attempt. It's it's a really bad attempt. Really bad attempt. I agree. I agree. Hey, where's Daniel Katz? Speaking of comedy, drop the link for Daniel Katz. I have the ticket. I bought another ticket. We'll see. We're playing lotto with the cats. Okay, well, what is this? I think this is just a left-hand drive made right-hand. That's it. <clears throat> that's it. That's it. Looks green to me at the top. Left-hand drive made right-hand. Wait a minute. It's supposed to uh, a, <laughs> uh, a, t- a, a t- okay. A yeah. sprite is a sprite is black and green. You just said it was green at the top. Which yeah, is, uh, looks green at the top and kind of. Yeah, that's black that's not a that's not a bottom. sprite. That's not a sprite. So it's a it's a sprite it's a green it's a gray on the bottom green on the top sprite like a like a you know you know how root beer <laughs> that's what it looks like I mean, open look, call that's... for panelists any panelists with watch knowledge please jump on the show Oshin thought this was a coke I think Oshin said it this could be a co- actually coke. could now that's actually it could be a coke because this is if this is in black and white or they whatever it could be a faded coke but it, to me it looks green top gray like like the guinness gray bottom okay that's what it looks like to me now i could be wrong <laughs> chances are i'm wrong uh, i was wrong about the milgaus thing it turned out to be a seed weller what a disaster well i think you were the only person Deep who thought seed. it was a milgaus yeah. it would be better milgaus would have been such a much better watch than the audience okay. got it right though. There was a poll where you said, "Is it the Milgauss, a Sea Dweller, yeah. or something else?" And uh, yeah. the audience was right. They were right. I did it. I never said I was Tim Wright. Sometimes I'm Tim Wrong. <clears throat> I, 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 I wanted these releases to be more exciting than they're I, not. That they are. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they're really they're very bad. basic, very boring, but. It's fun to speculate what could be. Probably yeah, for the so best. This, if it's probably be, probably good that we had a boring year this year. Yeah, it's totally boring year. The industry is year. real. The industry is prepping for a really bad year this year. Yeah. By the way, you know who Jean Frederic Dufour is? You ever Frederic heard of that guy? Dufour? Yeah, Jean Frederic uh, Dufour. Frederic Dufour. No, of course you don't. You have no idea who he is. No, I know Philip Dufour, <laughs> but Frederick Dufour? Jean, Jean Frederick Dufour. What did he do? Um, nothing special except that he is. Let me just find it real quick. Oh, is he a Rolex CEO? Um, yeah. Did you find? Did you read that from the chat? Yeah. OC91 said. Yeah, of course. Oh, oh, here, here we go. Vimal. What's up, Vimal? Great show so far. Oh, you liking it? Yeah. Thank Except you. Except for the ones where Cam is yeah. on. But <laughs> Look, Cam, is, it's hard. It's really hard. But I, hard. Think, I think we figured yeah. it out. Like, he, yeah. just, he just says offensive stuff. Or, yeah. or he says stuff that other people find offensive. It's not like... He, I don't think he's deliberately stuff. trying to be offensive, but I think he just... 
doesn't yeah. understand that the stuff he says, yeah, other people find offensive. Yeah. OC and Tim, do you find the releases so far to be underwhelming? Underwhelming, for sure. Well, uh, Jean, uh, Tim called it. Jean Frederic Dufour is the CEO of Rolex, and he wow. is someone who rarely gives interviews almost never gives interviews, but sometimes before Watches and Wonders, he does an interview and he did one uh, today. Wow. And he was asked, Mr. Dufour, uh, you've been working in the watch industry for 30 years. How is the industry doing right now? Answer from Dufour, 2024 will be a challenge, a phase in which all manufacturers were doing well is coming to an end. In good times, too much is often produced. When the markets weaken, as is the case now, watch dealers come under pressure and respond with discounts. This is extremely problematic because discounts damage emotional products like ours. Whoa. Response? Yeah, I mean, I'm surprised that he was so candid candid exactly about rolex i mean yeah. if you said like the other brands would suffer it probably agree. well he's not really in, in a way he's not talking about rolex he's talking about he's talking about let's well, actually go to the next the question where he says does this apply to all brands equally defour says there are brands that are very well known and successful their na names stand out from the crowd and are always in the minds of consumers these brands are still doing well this can also be seen in the fact that the resale value of these brands does not dis decrease. So he's separating the brands that, right, where their secondary values don't go down from the 377 other brands <laughs> that <laughs> are basically in trouble. Yeah. And OC, uh, I think today was the Snoopy release, the black one. Absolutely yes. no buzz, no buzz, nothing. No uh, well, buzz. We, we, I went by the, the Swatch store in Times Square that said the line was completely down the block and that the line was bigger than the line for the white and that okay. the demand for the black was bigger than the demand for the white. No, but no, I didn't see much on social media. Usually you see like, yeah, or maybe the Rolex leaks kind of hijacked. Overshadowed it. Yeah, probably that's what it is. Yeah, so this is, uh, the other thing that was interesting is that, uh, in this interview, he begged, he went to Nick Hayek, who is the CEO of the Swatch Group, and begged Nick to participate in Watches and Wonders. He said, listen, we want your brands and Watches and Wonders because this is about presenting a unified message about the importance of Swiss watches to the entire world. And we'd like for you to, we want you to be there. And uh, Nick Hayek said, eh, we're just, we're just still not interested. Richemont participates. Wow. And, but there are some brands that don't, like AP, Richard Mill, and a few others. As a matter of fact, uh, uh, Jean Frederic Defour went on to went on to say in the interview that brands that set up events outside of Watches and Wonders in Geneva while Watches and Wonders are going on are pirates. <laughs> oh yeah, I like that. They're like rebel. They're like rebel streamers, <laughs> right? There's a big event. It's like, and, like 45, 45 thousand people come to Geneva yeah. for Watches and Wonders, and then they invite like some top VIPs, like Richard Mille invites some top VIPs off to the side like, while they're in, while they're in Switzerland. Fuck you. Yeah, they're We're using to... this event. So what what yeah. happens? These guys, these brands, spend millions to millions. put on a show. Tens of millions together collectively. Where they come together and they compete against each other. They actually come into the space and yeah. they're willing to to say, you know what? I'll put my stuff against your stuff. I'm willing to put myself against you. Right. Those brands that are not participating in Watches and Wonders, they're afraid to compete because they know they're going to lose. They're afraid of coming in to battle uh, on the battlefield of ideas. You understand? I'm not sure. No, yeah, I'm not sure I don't if, know. if it's yeah. that. I think. Yeah, I because think... Omega was there 
a couple of years ago at the Basel Basel World, and Rolex humiliated Omega with the Pepsi. People were so freaking stunned, went so crazy for Pepsi. They completely ignored Omega. Omega got salty. They got sand in their JJ and left. <laughs> so, hey, no, look but... at this. We got Phil. Phil. Hello, Phil. Who is ah. Phil joining us on the live stream? A new character. Tim, welcome. Thanks, hey. brother. I'm, I'm rocking the Starbucks. Very nice. Is that the yeah. Mark 1 or Mark 2? This is the Mark 1. Okay, but it's like mine. Very cool. Yeah. Unsellable, though. Sorry to break break it to for sure what 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 for what reason have you decided to click on the link and actually join the panel for the first time um well i uh obviously got to see the big leak on the website mm. and um you know i i'm on the list for the black daytona the pepsi Bla whoa, whoa, whoa you're on a wait list okay here we go here we go your wait list mm -hmm. uh pepsi shit that it might get discontinued if coke is released pepsi might be gone you might not get it oh if you have youtube playing in the background turn off the youtube that's probably what's happening yeah He's hearing and he also twice. said black daytona okay yeah thanks so um I, basically my number even though i have this watch i yeah. really want the 124060 I, I want the no date because this just wears so well yeah um i i, I was lucky to get panda at retail the 116 500ln the, the same and, one as mine? This one, um, one of these? Yeah. So Okay, like, very nice. You got it in retail? I can't read the time at night. Impossible. So like it I, I like wearing my watches like 24-7. So um I I I I'm always gonna keep it in my collection because it was my grail. But my first watch actually was the two tone sea dweller. I got it in November 2020. Oh, two tone sea dweller. Okay. Yeah, the four that's the 43. So uh, um what, what I still, color I, dial? Uh, the black dial it and, and like i actually i loved it so much i ended up getting the um the sd43 in full steel but i didn't really like the the wear of that because i've heard like the gold it kind of helped balance the bracelet and the sd43 even though i have a seven and a half inch wrist it was just too chunky and so i ended up selling that um and i like i prefer the the gold well well yeah the gold is fucking awesome like i, I love it and then like the the matte what made dial? you go for that for that full on gold gold bracelet? You do by the way, you do look like a fuck boy if you've been following <laughs> everything. Douche is probably yeah. fuck boys. Total yep. fuck boy look. Yep. Uh shout out. Yeah. Hey. Keep going, keep going. Yeah. Oh, right, so um, yeah, I mean basically my watch journey was I got that, and then I got the red coral dial 41, and then I got the Oh Pepsi. my god. Yeah, and actually I fucked up. Like I, I got it for six, I sold it for 10 the next day. Oh. And then I was I was watching like on Instagram. I'm like, it's worth 18 now. What the oh. fuck? Like, but actually, like compared to the SD43, that red the the, o, the OP41, it felt like a freaking child's toy. It was so small. Yeah. And the dome, the dome bezel sucked so bad. So uh, like I I kind of I obviously regret it now selling it um because it's worth like 15 or something but it, the reality is it would sit in my collection and look really cool in the watch box yeah. but the reality is is like I wouldn't really wear that much but luckily I, I scored the uh the 31 and the Tiffany for my wife so she's that's her she's mm. been rocking that so without doxing yourself what part of the country are you in <clears throat> uh well I was living in San Diego but I just moved to the East Coast okay yeah. Nice. East Coast yeah. is very yeah. cool. Speedy Hernandez, $5 super chat. <clears throat> Speedy says, I want to live in Tim's alternate reality. Welcome to the rabbit hole where you can just make a fact to explain your nonsensical unfolding theories. Theories are pretty true. I, I think what's happening is that the world has been so upside down for, for a long time where people were like begging ADs to sell them twenty to $40,000 watches. What planet that does that make sense on? Anyways, and I think it was just we believed the fantasy, and now the reality is sinking in, and we're we're coming to understand. And I know there's people, they're they're screaming and uh, and yelling. Uh, they don't want to go back. They don't want to come come to reality. They don't want to face the real world. They're having like almost a. a immune reaction to the real world also shout out to tim g who is now a member <laughs> now a member thank i mean he was a member but he just resubscribed 
Uh, anyways, let's continue with Phil. Phil, uh, you moved moved to East Coast. Yeah, uh, so just moved to the East Coast, and then um, I was going to an AD actually out in Vegas, but then it sucked. Like I built up this huge spend, and then my yeah. my sales lady left. So anyway, I, I visited the place the other day. I felt I met this like really uh, awesome sales rep. So so I think I, I think I have a chance like at basically uh, the couple watches that are on my list, but um. I guess for the date just, I've never been in a date just. I don't really want one, but if I was to get one, it would be the fluted motif mint green. What do you guys Ooh. think in terms of? I, I people say they're going to discontinue the fluted motifs, but I feel like those just came out a couple of years ago. Like no one's going to be able to get any. They're the only ones that tra trade above retail, but I don't think they're going to go. You think they're going to go OC? That's what I've heard. They're gone. Yeah, <sighs> already gone. They, with Hello? this release tonight, they might be gone. Phil, I think your entire list is probably going to be gone by tonight. <laughs> yeah. And, and did you want a palm fronds too? Because... Oh yeah, I wanted palm fronds in forty one. Oh, but there you go. Oh, well, yeah, another one. Goodbye. Um, <laughs> palm fronds gone. <laughs> that palm fronds uh, one that um, the Timeless Watch Channel put out. I think that kind of popularized that dial when he came out with the the palm fronds video. I, I yeah. tend to watch like every single YouTube video every single day that comes oh, out so about you're, Rolex. you're sick you're oh. Done. oh yeah for sure okay <laughs> I just what like do you to... watch what do you watch what are your uh what's well your i watch mean list? It, oh yeah oh yeah i wanted to do a tier list of all the watch channels so yeah like watch eric is, is number one for sure wow okay. um like olsen like i had a lot of respect for him i still really like him a lot but like he i think what when he fell Oshin. off yeah it was seen when, when he fell off the reason he fell off was because he got in that big debate with the timepiece gentleman and everyone had to choose sides. And it, it just, it, it was like, it was kind of craziness, you know, when, when the timepiece gentleman kind of disappeared and I kind of actually liked the timepiece gentleleman a little bit. Cause I did a couple of deals with them. Um, oh, I, 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 I thought the dude was like straight up until I kind of found out at the end that he, he was kind of screwing everybody. But um, anyway, no, it seems really cool. I like his, his photography in, in his videos are like top notch, but um, I guess, uh, you know, it's funny. Um, Jenny Ellie is like also in the top tier. Um, I didn't really w like watch Gringer when she came out, but she's definitely mm -hmm. been growing on me and I watch all her videos now too. Okay. And so, yeah. So, I mean, watch Eric's at the top. Osteen's in the middle. Jenny Ellie's at the top. Gringa's in the middle. And then what about Bark and Jack? Um, Bark and Jack. I, I, I I've, I've, I'm sure those guys those guys are really top notch i feel like those they're they have a lot of knowledge um oh, are they, they becoming unreliable are they um, I, I, I'm, I'm kind of like, like teddy a, and uh, because mark and jack he's getting to that teddy baldasar level right yeah th those guys are cool then um uh the uh now now i'm like having a brain fart but um there was other those two guys that were together but now they they're just the one guy um they're pretty good the woven Jonathan. guys and the alpha crown no i think it's um is I, it have, uh, theo and theo and harris yeah theo and harris yeah, yeah. Th those guys were kind of fun to watch because like yeah, theo, theo left and it's just uh, you know now. there's not a lot of watch content out there you know on, on certain days so it's like you just kind of watch everything you can possibly watch and then it gets super repetitive over what, time. what's your opinion of the state of the wristwatch youtube world is it yeah, repetitive right everybody is is kind of singing the same song everybody's saying the same thing like so, some of the Jenny, like Je, you watch Jenny L video, you watch watch Gringa video, it, it's very similar opinion. There's, you know, I don't. There like is, it. but it's like since I want to consume every single video, it's like yes. I almost want to come out with my own YouTube video. Then what would I do? Yeah. Sit here and just talk about how, like, personally, I did a huge breakdown of the Starbucks versus B Batgirl, right? And I actually okay. had the Batgirl. I recently sold it for like. 14.5 it was brand new pretty much and they're going for like 17 i should have kept it too but um i can't stand the thick lugs on the batgirl batman all the gmts because that thicker lug looks just like the old style submariner and i'm so in love with the 41 sub that when i see like I, i'm kind of tempted to call my lady tomorrow and be like hey get me on the list for the you know the black black and gray bezel steel just because i know like i could either keep it or sell it and i'd be good and I, I need to recomplete my land air sea collection since I don't have any GMTs in my collection. I had the 16710, the 116710, and and the Batgirl. And they they're all out of my collection now. But anyway, um what happened? I'm, um basically like I I I got hit, hit with a 
here's what I, here's what happened. You know, made a bunch of money like in in 2020, right? And then like went out and like I, I bought all these watches at the peak of the market. Like I I bought a like a, a two tone Daytona. Um, I bought the 16 710, and then shit then, from the then, from from the social media dealers. Yeah, and what happened was like I took money out of my retirement accounts to buy the watches at the peak of oh, the market. Oh shit! Yeah, and then I got hit, hit with this huge tax bill, a oh. huge tax bill. So I had to sell the back girl to pay the taxes on the watches that I already bought and sold for a loss. Because what happened when I found out I was getting the Daytona at retail, I sold my SD43 and my 16710. It then like used that 20 some grand. It took a huge loss to like get my my grail watch and I'm happy I got it. Yeah. But then, but now actually I want the black dial because I figured oh. if I had the black and white both, that'll be really cool side by side. And then I'm kind of like, I kind of do like the new style, but everyone says the one, you know, the panda's better in the old style, which I'm like, yeah, I'm all for that. And then the black dial is better in the new configuration. Which... This, 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 <clears throat> these stories are exactly why we do what we do, Tim, but to, to yeah. caution people about the mm -hmm. risks that these, these, these YouTube dealers put out there, the fake charts and the hype and watches always go up and Rolex is a safe investment. Yeah. And here's a guy, an innocent guy who got sucked in by, Deep. oh, well, well, why would they, why would they, why would they say it if it wasn't it's true? You know, yeah. And now, and, and now the, the backside of it, the, of this whole being How sucked did you into come the watch up? market How is that he, he's now, yeah. he's, he's now, he's now, in still in, he's still addicted to watching in, in, in total like to i i'm down maybe like five grand or ten grand but okay. like but but that's counting like my you know watch charts value of 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 the panda which in in my eyes like it says 30 oh. but i but i know now from when you sell it you can only get 25 but i'm never selling that one for sure like i told myself and, and this is minus <clears throat> all the loss that you got from taking money out of the retirement um, and there's also the potential, the cost of taking money out of the retirement that that money is I think when you, when, yeah, when, you, when you factor that in. Yeah. Opportunity cost. Oh, no. But, yeah. but I'm, honestly, like, I, you know, I, I day trade all the stocks. All the stocks were, okay. like, dropping like crazy. So who knows? Maybe I would have Don't worry. I don't have more. a retirement. So it's like, <laughs> so. if you have a retirement that you're already ahead. Phil, I had a question. Yeah, so, yeah. Did he sell your red OP to Marco? Um. Yep. I sold my red OP to Marco. Okay. Someone Whoa. in the chat had, in the, oh, chat had the video. Um, yeah, I sold my red Pino Marco, and like actually, um, yeah, Marco Marco's pretty cool. I like those guys. At the at the luxury at, bazaar? Yeah, uh, no, at the Dallas Watch. Oh, you're talking about oh, Marco Dallas. from uh, from uh, the timepiece gentleman, Marco. Yeah, the old yeah Marco. The, and... the, they break up. Yeah, it's Marco, called, um... I mean, hey, they're still doing it. Grand Caliber, they yeah, brought there's... in. The market is tough. They brought in jewelry. I mean, they look like they're trying to run the business legitimately. Yeah, I like those guys. They're, they're yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. Very cool, guys. The time for gentleman, on the on the other hand. What a douche. <laughs> yeah, he, oh, dollars. God. That's like the most dick thing that you somebody could do. <laughs> you know, like, it's a real dick move. Phil, uh, I know you've lost some money on your watches, but do you hold any resentment against these gray market dealers? Um, no. I mean, I mean, I love Rolex. I'm addicted. Like, I I tried buying an Oris, and I just realized that like I don't like any brand except Rolex. I I like I hate the Aquanaut. Like I like the the tech is like out of my league anyway. But um, Vacheron I've never really liked. Um, and so. I'm I'm all in for Rolex and like I just basically want to get another Daytona. I want to get another Submariner and I want to get a GMT to replace the GMT that I don't have in my collection. And then from there, like I do want to get the Sky Dweller. I'm thinking like Blue Dial. Um, oh shit! Okay, <laughs> let me show you something because this this is what we're just talking about. This is the new Rolex release right here. Tell us. So you're you're like straight on. You're like like Rolex is like heroin for you. Mm -hmm. you, you seem to freaking love Rolex. Like you yep. said, hey, Pat Paddock, eh, we'll yeah. give it a try later maybe. But everything else doesn't sing as much as Rolex does. What do you think about the Sky Dweller full rose gold on uh, a Jubilee now, a super Jubilee bracelet? Well, I mean, if if I had like, uh, you know, yeah. The forty. I was if I was working in the forty and fifty thousand dollar category. Yeah, these watches would be kind of calling my name a little bit. But like one of my thinkings is like 
why buy a forty or fifty thousand dollar watch when it goes down ten thousand dollars? When right. you could buy a ten thousand dollar stainless steel watch and it goes up two thousand. Right. So I'm, I'm I'm thinking like a lot about the investment aspect. So, um, yeah, you just yeah. listen. It's a it's a hobby that mm -hmm. you know you want to play it safe. You're not you're not here to uh, to lose a lot of money. The same same way as with with me, right? I got yeah. mostly stainless steel watches. I feel like I'm still doing okay. Uh, but this is the kind of watch that you buy when you made like really shit ton of money and you really don't care. Right. That's how. Yeah. It, it and like, like the, you know, the timepiece gentleman guy, he said, this is sex. Like, and it, it I mean, it freaking yeah. would look amazing on your wrist. Like I, the new day date yeah, you bet. is cool because I don't like the olive green day date. And, but I love, I do kind of like some, I do want to get a rose gold watch in my collection. So ultimately something like this does appeal to me now. I, I was 51% Jubilee and 49% Oyster when I had my name <laughs> on the list for the blue dial. Yeah. And, but the reality was, is I probably just wanted the Jubilee more so I could flip it for an extra couple thousand. Right. And like, you know, when I had the bat girl, I wanted the Batman Cause I was like, I want the Oyster bracelet because mm. I, that's kind of more my, my lifestyle. But I used to go to the beach every day and like hang out the beach, like every single day. So I'd wear my sub to the beach and not care but ultimately you're not going to wear a jubilee bracelet to the beach so um but i do need one in my collection ultimately so eventually what's in your collection right now let's, so let's i have th i have three watches i have three my watches first, my see. first watch so i have sd43 two-tone and then i have the panda daytona that's a 2022 november 2022 panda daytona and i got my november nice. uh, and then and then i have my my my, my starbucks my my first and, and the only starbucks. sub yeah, my first and only sub, which I got in around February of 2022. Actually, in February 2022, I got Batgirl, uh, Starbucks, and Panda Daytona, all from retail. And and Tiffany OP31 for my wife. So, like, 2022 was awesome. And then pretty much I haven't bought a watch since since I got my Panda Daytona. How, how did you get so lucky with your authorized dealer? Like, how did you find um, out about the Rolex and you got in? It seems like you got into yeah, the right I, time. Yeah, I, I got the in at right... the right time. And then, like, I just, like, yeah. I had a really good relationship with my authorized dealer. But I was having to drive from, like, San Diego all the way out to Vegas. But like, um, uh, I mean, a three I was, hour drive. We just had Sean uh, drive it on the last year. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, like we would cut to the desert and like it, it would take like six or seven hours. But anyway, um, nice. I like going out there, but I would I would like not gamble when I got there. I would just go get my watch and um, maybe go to a show and then en mm. enjoy, enjoy the watch. <laughs> Make it into a day uh, outing. Yeah. Yeah. So but um, yeah, I mean, I think that like I want to build a 20 piece collection, actually. And so wow. I'm trying to think long term right now. Like I want to get my sub. My plan is I'm I'm like I want to get my my day date when I turn 50. So I still have another like eight years to like think about which day date I want. And since I wear my watches to bed, I need loom and the the the, the raised Roman numeral dials aren't doing it for me. So I need some stick indices and maybe something like I like the new I like the green dial. They'll probably discontinue that probably tomorrow. So Phil, I have a question. So yeah. you said your 20 watch collection, right? That's what I want to build. So I have three, yeah, so I need Rolex 17. Yeah. And yeah, how much of that, how many of those are going to be watches you want to wear versus watch you think you'll hold as investment? Well, unfortunately, when I put a watch in the safety deposit box, which I keep most of my watches in the safety deposit box, um, the majority of the time. But anyway, so my point was, um, if you buy a watch and you put it in your safety deposit box, you don't wear it, you, you don't build that connection with it, and you end up selling it. So, like, the, to answer your question, I think I'm going to have to wear and, and develop a relationship with each one of my watches and create memories each year with each watch I get. So that way it doesn't leave the collection. Because if I don't have a, a connection with the watch, then I it's going to be the first one on the chopping block. Yeah. So the entire 20 is going to be watches you want to keep. Yeah. Okay. Wow. It really sounds like you enjoy wearing watches. What is it about Rolex that you pr enjoy wearing them particularly more than any other watch you know I mean? um like i mean it probably goes back to like you know i think when i was a kid my dad had like a fake rolex from new york or something and it's in the in the junk drawer you know oh. and just kind of looking at it and like thinking ahead and like your life you're like all right where do i want to go 
And then, you know, when 2020 hit and all the stocks went up, everyone was like, mm. everyone got rich at the same time. Everyone's first thinking like, oh, all right, let's go buy a Rolex, right? Yeah. And then like, I mean, I just, I love the, 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 the I love my two-tone sea dweller so much and the gold is just so shiny on your wrist. You know, you're drinking a beer, you're just like sitting there, you're like, it's just, you know, sparkling. So, um, so yeah, I mean, like, you know, ha having the full gold watch is going to be cool, but um the, you know, the, like, what are my options really? Like, so I, I could go with the full gold bluesy, which I'm not a big sunburst dial kind hey, of oh, guy. Oh, you're gonna like this one. Hold on, let me show oh, you. Something. Yeah, the <laughs> Rolex actually got the watch released specifically for you. Oh, okay. the, the, the deep sea, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wish it fit on my wrist. I'm second guessing myself now. I'm like, maybe uh, it will fit on my wrist. Maybe I should buy that. <laughs> maybe I could uh, somehow pull that off, but no. I think you need like an eight inch wrist for that. Uh, let's see, where is it? You, you think, oh, oh yeah. Have you tried on the, uh, those, the deep sea? The yeah. Deep sea? Yeah, yeah. I, I tried it on thinking like, okay, like I love sea dwellers so much. I'm definitely need deep sea, but then it's like, you try it on and, and it's just like so freaking thick. You're like, no freaking way. Hmm. It's too much, right? This yeah. is, uh, it, it, this is way too much. See, even like you got, I thought this was a test. It has yeah, a matte yeah. dial. That's what I love about it because it doesn't have that sunburst dial. Well, that's actually yet to be determined. Well, that's because true. Because the, 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 this photography, you know, it's you can't judge. You can't judge it by this shoddy image. It might actually be a sunburst dial. Yeah. Phil, Just, people are kind of uh, curious about your 20 watch collection that you want to build. Oh, up. yeah, yeah. What is, kind it, of... is, is it going to be all Rolex or you've thought of? Yeah. So, like, all right. So, let's say I get the no date sub this year. Mm -hmm. And let's no say. Date sub. Yeah, let the, then then I'll add the the black dial um, Daytona, okay. right? And so then I'll have the two new subs. Ones. Yeah, the new one. So I'll have two two subs and two Daytonas, and then my um my my uh, my SD forty three. Okay, so from there I'm thinking I need to get the Sky Dweller in my collection, and then the, the gold ones are out of my price range, and like the blue one has like that insane additional premium. So if I could manage to get that either bracelet right so yeah now once i then then i'm gonna need to get my day date when i turn 50 but before i turn 50 How old are you right now i'm 42 right now okay. all right so let's say i get like let's say i get like two watches per year for the next like eight years nice this is a long term 16 plan. yeah and then when i turn 15 or when i turn 50 then i'll get my day date and then that'll kind of be it so so yeah i'm thinking like i'm gonna try to build out my steel collection now and then once I kind of move up um, in terms of saving more money, then I can like focus on getting the precious metal watches later on. But I, I mean, I, right? Actually, I, yeah, it's it's probably for the <clears throat> best because you don't want to spend uh, a lot of money up front because that money could be invested and could be accruing yeah. interest, which then you could use to buy these more expensive watches later. Yeah. So like. The Explorer 40 is kind of cool. I, I, I do like the Explorer 40 a little bit. W wouldn't you want to go with the 36? What do you think? There's this entire th debate between the 36 and the 40. Yeah. He's uh, got we a had Red Shovel thing. yesterday, yeah. uh, oh, two days ago. Yeah, I know, Vimal, you're against it. But there's that those cl classic, you know, the douchey collectors who like the 36 for who the 36 is reserved yeah. for. Obviously, the 40 is the for the fuck boys. Yeah. Would you consider, you know? A 36 Explorer. No, I, I I wouldn't consider any 36 anything because it just. No. I mean, I we we are we're 43 SD 43. You can't go down like past 40 really. But like, I mean, I I get the argument there. Like a lot of the purists feel like the 36 is the Explorer. But I had kind of wanted the 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 39 millimeter mm. when it was this, and I wanted the Mark II dial because I wanted the loom on the 369. And actually, like a. SD watches. I, I follow that website a little bit and I called the guy and I offered him. I was like, Hey, like I'll give you 11, 11,000 for it. Right. And he's like, I don't take offers. Cause like this, the Rolex is going crazy. Right. But like now that yeah. watch, you could probably get it for like eight grand or less. Yeah. Um, but so, yeah, so I was happy kind of when they came out with a 40, I tried it on. It didn't really like, you know, excite me. I want to be excited if I'm going to spend right. a bunch of money. So so yeah, yeah it's like yeah. I'm I think next year they're gonna discontinue all the GMTs and then they're gonna re-release them with the smaller lugs in in like a 41, similar to what they did with a sub. And mm -hmm. then they'll all if they're still in the 116 reference number, they need or the 126 reference number, they need to move up to the 136 reference number in the GMTs 
So that way, like, then I can get my, I hope they redesigned the Pepsi with the 16, 7, 10 Pepsi colors. And then with the new, with the smaller lugs, that would be like the dream GMT yeah. in my opinion. Uh, Phil, uh, I just had a question. So you said your previous AD, they kind of, I mean, she was really nice to you. She gave you a lot of the hot pieces that people are looking for. Yeah. Did you have like a relationship prior to 2020 with this particular AD? Or it's nope. You nope. I just like, I literally, I was surprised because like I, I bought um, a date just for my wife um, and the Yachtmaster 31 millimeters. So like that, so I bought like two gray market pieces from her. And then she came through with a Pepsi on Oyster as soon as it dropped to, I think that was two or three years ago. Mm -hmm. um and then yeah then like i i kept the panda at the pop, top of my list and i kept updating my list and never really thinking i was going to get the panda and then she called and offered me the black dial and she said hey uh i have a black dial for you but just to let you know if you take the black dial I, i'm not going to be able to get the white dial for you and i said i if i got the black dial would always just want the white dial so i'm going to hold off and then like two weeks later she she texted me that she had the white dial for me so wow. I would like, it, but and it's so funny. Now I want the black dial just because the new reference, you know, came yeah. out with the steel rim or whatever. Yeah. Um, I mean, so that's, I mean, that honestly, that's pretty impressive. That that run, yeah, that run was great. Relationship that you did. Yeah. Yeah, that it was really, really huge because like it helped me out. Things were going great. It, you, it doesn't look like you were buying any garbage either, right? Exactly, that kind like of stuff that was going below. Yeah, the like I mean, ultimately, I guess, like I think I spent like seven grand and seven grand on my wife's two watches that, like, you know, were probably mm -hmm. only worth like three or four grand or which, something. Which but, watches did you get for your um, yacht master thirty-one millimeters? Oh, uh, yacht master thirty-one. Yeah, what, yeah how is that it, possible? What? Um, it, it got discontinued like years ago. It had a small production run, but oh. it, it has that same uh, rodium dial. Oh, um, kind of like yeah. mine, the thirty-seven. My, yeah, oh, yeah, and like I actually almost got the matching watch for to match hers, but right. um, the four the forty rodium. That's a yeah, great watch. So yeah, I mean, so she has the OP thirty-one and Tiffany. Then she's got the Yachtmaster in thirty-one. Yeah, that's that's what is that the blue dial? That's the gray dial. Oh, that's a gray. Okay, the, the rodium dial, the steel. Yeah, and hers, your rhodium dial is looking a little dark right now in that it's image. It's actually slate, uh, right, Tim? Should a what? That's slate color. Slate, oh. sorry, it's slate, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. It looks like steel. It looks like the polished center links right. color. Yeah, I've always thought, like, that watch would look cool with the Tiffany strap on it, even though I, I'm kind of against straps. I've learned my lesson there. Oh, yeah, to match the seconds hand. Yeah, that would Phil, be cool. how, how does your wife react to this hobby of yours? You have... You have, you've got like a lot of pieces that you want to buy, a lot of money you want to mm -hmm. put into this. Um, she she's I, I basically by getting her the watches, <laughs> I kind I brought her on board a little bit. So mm, like yeah. she's okay and like she recognizes like, you know, if we get one of these like GMT Master Twos, like it's not a bad investment. So she she's oh she's cool with it. Um so. you, you're you invested like view it as an investment? Despite um, um I, I I have always kind of a unit investment and like actually like a lot of people would be pissed, but like I've kept watch stickers on a lot of my watches. So let me show you my clasp here. Let's um see. Uh, let's one see. Second, one second, one second. I it's can't get gonna try to make it full screen. Uh, okay. So um I've uh -huh. kept um anyway, I've wow I've I've kept uh like on this side, I I hate staring at the stickers, so I took the stickers oh. off on this side. But this side, look how yellowed the stickers are. You can't really oh, yeah. tell that much. But um, <laughs> so anyway, I, I tried to keep them in good shape, and then I recognized, like you know, the, the obviously they, they've all crashed. Like it was so funny because when I got this, I was like, "Holy shit! I got a twenty-four thousand dollar watch for ten grand." Um, yeah. But like now knowing that when watch chart says twenty-four. You only can probably get about eighteen if I would have sold it like the moment I bought it. It's like that yeah. wall, Wolves <laughs> of Wall Street uh, scene where uh, where Matthew McConaughey is talking to um, Leonardo DiCaprio, and Matthew McConaughey says, "Listen, this uh, these stocks, they're they're just paper. They're not actual. Exactly. Life, right? You actually have to sell it. So the tw that's twenty four thousand. Mm -hmm. That's only if you sell it. But it takes so much." courage to actually do it to materialize it is yeah. that and that's how the like that's how these guys are able to make money is that most people they won't sell their stock or their watches because yeah. they want to see it grow 
but but the flippers like Tampa Jam and the rest of these guys, they'll able to they're able to make constant money by flipping from one part by by basically swapping watches from one collector to another and charging thousands of dollars to do it. Right. Phil, uh, at any point, do you want to like check out like Patek or AP? I mean, 20 pieces of just Rolex, there aren't enough like variations yeah, within wild. the Rolex catalog. Uh, well, having, I, I, so I bought the Rolex Oris. is a lifestyle. In I bought the Oris and yeah. like it, it's, it was it, um, the recycled dial. It's like a ocean plastic dial. Yeah. And, um, ocean microplastic yeah that, i think that was like last january so like about a little over a year ago yeah and then i just i don't know it was like it was like 2500 and like i bought it thinking like it was going to scratch an itch i had mm -hmm. then i just like i just that just reconfirmed in my mind that like i only like rolex and then like i mentioned like hate the aquanaut i like the i guess the nautilus mm -hmm. and like that's like unobtainable or discontinued now right have you tried in approaching a needy or a boutique um, I haven't and like I mean you know obviously like the Royal Oak is cool looking because I had a couple like I had a couple Cassie Oaks right and I because I like the octagonal style so like I think um, even the offshore it would probably fit my wrist really well and it, it, they you know they've come down in price yeah but like my thinking is like I I wouldn't want to spend like 20 or thirty thousand I would rather just get like three Rolexes like even if I didn't really want an Explorer one and a Milgauss and an Air King that much just to add to my Rolex collection, I'd, pr I'd probably rather get those three models that I don't even really want over an AP just because number one, I don't want to create a new obsession and a new passion where now I have to spend 30 grand on a watch. I'd rather just go out and spend 10 grand on a watch. Yeah. Um, and then none of them really kind of call my name that much. So, yeah. and then it's like, I feel have, like Royal Oaks, all AP has, and they just keep coming out with like, you know, open work, this diamond, this, and it's like the same thing over and over. So like they're sat, they've saturated that market. Right. So, um, now, you know, th that Vacheron bezel like looks really cool, but like, it's probably going to scratch up like crazy. And then those prices fell off a cliff too. So even though like they're in the Holy Trinity, um, it, they just, they, they, there's not, there's, there's nothing really desirable there for me so and like i i'm a sports watch kind of guy and so the dress watches are not really for me yeah. so yeah i mean i i don't really even like i don't there's not a watch that i i've looked at them all and like wanted yeah. to want one but I, I can't find one i want so is it fair to say that what attracts you to rolex is they keep the the price I mean, the attractive price point, right? You can buy a Rolex for 10, 15,000. So yeah, and then like immediately it's worth more. So it's exactly. just like, and then it holds its value. So yeah. Then. So like, why wouldn't you want to get that? Um, now I, I know that obviously like if you got a Patek, then they're, it's the same kind of deal. You just, that's like working the next echelon. Once I, you know, make a few million and then I have some extra cash to blow. Right. Um, I guess I could consider that, but I'll probably just keep moving up in the Rolex ranks and yeah. you move to full precious metals. But, but Rolex but, is so clever. It's like they sell you the first watch in a way. If you never had a Rolex watch before, they could almost give you like four. It feels like they're giving you money to have one of their watches. Because if you if you find out that, oh, Rolex is sell about retail, and then you go to a Rolex uh, authorized deal, let's say you have no history, and they sell you just a Submariner to get you started. And that's a watch that retails like 10, but it sells on the gray for like two extra thousand. It's almost like a free watch and Rolex gets you started with that. And then they give you a couple more freebies and then maybe you move up to the two tones, maybe a gold. Mm -hmm. It's a whole ladder and there's yeah. so much uh, variety in Rolex. You could just stick right. in one brand and uh, like you can move up and down as, as, as your life changes. Whereas with AP, you have to move up. There's only yeah. way is up. There's no down. There's no, there's nothing there in the, in the five, 10, 15, $20,000 range. Yeah. Yeah. So it's Finn, like, yeah. just one thing. Uh, I'm, uh, I know you've come on the panel for the first time. Just 
don't read the chats, right? A lot of people. Oh, don't. God. Oh, I, 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 I don't. Luckily, I don't even have the chats open. Oh, okay, fine. So, like, I, I've been wanting to of, talk about watches yeah, so got, much, so bad. Got that, yeah. I, I don't even fucking care. The, the chat is saying. fine. Yeah, but, like, that's the chat is fine. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I can go watch, just... back and watch the replay. Yeah. Dude, I yeah. mean, look, yeah. you're, you're yeah. getting. No, the, like yeah, no, I mean, honestly, I got all. You're very I, divisive I, character. You're very I, brave I got, for coming to the I got my grail. Like, I got the Panda Daytona at retail, and now no. I'm working my way down. Now I'm trying to get the No yeah. Date Submariner when Fuck I already have yeah, the Starbucks. Man. Look, I'm wearing a Panda <laughs> Daytona <laughs> yeah. too. Uh, what can they say in the chat that uh, yeah. that's gonna no, change no, no. the fact that I got Panda Daytona at retail? I actually had a couple more questions. Now that you okay. Vimal, I mean, there's so many fucking snowflakes that, right, that Tim, come Tim, onto these live it, streams. Drop that... it, Tim. Tim we, I mean, don't have to carry you. Let's. Okay, you know, okay. I'm just saying. Now, listen, so, yeah. he's not a snowflake. Don't, don't, don't insult. Uh, no, no, that Bill. was funny. I was watching that guy who was t- talking about the uh, the sub on a, on a jubilee, and I was like, I got to fucking come on the show. I was yeah. like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Buck- oh it was Buckley. Did Buckley inspire you to jump on the street? Yeah, I was like, all right, they need some better content. Hey, <laughs> yo, <laughs> Buckley, Buckley jumped on. They said, fuck boys. Look, there's a spectrum. Let's just drop the bullshit. Let me explain how this is. No, no, no. He's talking about Cam, right? Who said the GMT was yeah. the sub. Oh. The, star, the Starbucks. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, it was Cam. All right. Yeah, cool. Who, who oh, just, no, he, like you said, yeah, he was just joking. He was like... Yeah. Yeah, I think he was just joking. Uh, It's just. I had a question. Now that you moved from, say, West Coast, where you had like a very good relationship with your AD, and now you're trying to rebuild it again, uh, what has the experience been now? Like, how are you trying to go about it? Well, I guess like on the West Coast, my my sales lady left to go work at Tiffany, and then I decided, um, like, I so I went back and like. I tried calling them on the phone a couple of times. I was like, all right, I got to go out to Vegas. I got to go meet with them person. And I was like, all right, here are the new watches I want. I got this new sales rep. And then she texted me a couple of times. And then like I texted her a couple of times back. Right. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Wait. So you, you don't live in Vegas. You were in San Diego. Yeah, I was in San Diego. Was in Vegas. Yeah. And then like I would go to the like to the two malls in San Diego to like try on watches. Like when I got the chance to kind of narrow down like. I'm always thinking like, what's my top 10 and what's, what's my top 10 list to share with AD. Right. And in my mind, I'm just always recategorizing every single watch in my my, my head to see which one I want next. So it was funny, like how I came up with the, the 124060 was just like, I kept looking at it and thinking, oh, that's such a beautiful watch, but I don't want that because it's not part of, part of my collection. It's not going to you know do good for my collection. And then finally I was just like, fuck it. That's the watch I want. It's right. so classic. It looks great. So anyway, so, um, my my ad she left so then i was trying to rebuild the relationship and i already had this huge spend thinking like mm-hmm. i could just kind of have that another kept maintain my relationship with that yeah. store but that wasn't the case if if you're if you're authorized dealer like the sales lady or man mm-hmm. if they leave you're fucked you're screwed like well, you gotta you, work you, with the you, it doesn't matter you if you have a million dollar spend you ain't yeah. getting fucking any more watches. So you got to right? work. So, <laughs> yeah. That's I was why already this starting newbie, over. Rookie mistake uh, going into <clears throat> AD and working with uh, like rookie as- sales associates. You should always be just trying to if you're if you're looking to build a long time relationship and get some watches, you kind of you got to g- get close to the, to the top. store manager. Yeah. And I think that's what helped me, you know, secure the panda was like my lady was towards the top, but then she she left. So um, anyway, so so basically, I'm in a new city. I, I, I met with the AD, and there's like I had this like immediate connection. So I'm thinking like, oh wow, like I have a chance to like you know kind of Source I'm kind of watch. starting over. I'm kind of starting over again. Yeah. I'm trying to get my Submariner and my GMT and my Daytona. Nice. And then yeah, I think the Sub no date is like a good way to. Really yeah. Tell me, tell me a little bit more about like your uh, your deals with uh, with timepiece gentlemen. You you know before before he went bad. You know you could have been one of the people that have you, yeah. have you ever sent him watches uh, on consignment. Oh or? yeah. Well, actually no. Um. <clears throat> so I I sold him. I I did sell I did sell them like two watches I believe. Uh huh. And uh, th- like the payment on the second one was a little late, and I had to keep calling and like asking about it. Oh shit! So like during that time, like just during those one or two days when I was like waiting on the, you know, on the on the wire transfer, uh-huh. it, like it was it was it was kind it of wasn't a, long. It wasn't like a week. Yeah, but it was kind of annoying because I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm sweating it out. I'm like, gotta pay my credit card, right? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, but anyway, so 
so they went pretty good, but like that was like super early on, you know, when he was still with the guys in Dallas or whatever. And then, you know, when he moved out to LA, um, I was like, shit, maybe I should fucking drive up and like try to get some watches. And then, you know, he had the big studio thing. Everyone could kind of see it falling apart from like, yeah. it was just like, okay, this is not going to work out. You know, you could make a thousand bucks on a per watch, but um so anyway i kind of feel bad for the dude i I wonder is he he's not in jail right now is he he is he He actually in jail awaiting trial i think i think his trial date is scheduled for like august i i will say i there's one dude i i I don't know who he is and you know i shouldn't call him out but like there's one dude who's like his whole youtube channel was just like making fun of that dude and honestly, I, I I don't even know who I'm talking about. I don't know who you're talking, like, don't, don't, you don't yeah, I don't even him. know. But it's like that just seems like so freaking dumb. Like like, why would you yeah, fucking care so much? Like, who you're have, just like, trying to get great... some clicks and views or something. Like, yeah, well, but, maybe but, that. But, but, there's but a little do, bit of. Do you, do you feel like what uh, timepiece gentleman did was wrong? Oh, Maybe. big time. I mean, shit, dude. Like, can you imagine? Like, you you know, send some watches for consignment, and then they're they're gone. So, I mean, that's. That's like, you know, the equivalent of like losing 20 or 30,000 in the stock market, which is always, you know, it's a bad day or whatever. Um, you know, I, it's, I, I also, but you got to just you know move what? on. I, I, w- I want to side here with, uh, with Phil a little bit because I do, I look, listen, uh, it's okay to call out somebody for their business practices, like for ba- bad business practices, but they were digging into like his past. There's a little bit of stuff that's been going on, Some you know, stalking. like they, they've been going too deep into. <laughs> then, then, wait, wait, like, wait, wait, wait. So are you. Yeah, I mean, look, I, I don't know. I mean, I mean, yeah. I mean why, why were people? But, but it was it was my fault because I was there like point. typing time these gentlemen every fucking video I can find, right? So like, I mean, I'm the one watching the videos, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you were okay. watching okay. the stuff. Okay. You were watching all yeah, the I was stuff. Watch, on the yeah, like, just man, fucking, everything I can find, dude. Every what did you think video? when they found out that uh, he was uh, doing these massages before the 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 watches stuff? Were you shocked? Were you surprised? Were, were I, I don't know about the massages or whatever, but I, re, I re, everyone remembers when he, when the channel went dark, right? Oh Again. yeah, yeah. I, I did a everyone big live was... stream about that. Oh, actually, it was, I remember when it was blackout. Like, watch, watch Gringo's video. She was like, like, she was like, she goes to a park. She's like, timepiece gentleman's missing. Can you believe it? And they're like, <laughs> who is the timepiece gentleman? Sorry. Yeah, like, it was like <laughs> nobody <"Well>, cares. <laughs> no, but oh. but there's a reason why people are looking digging back into tpg's history now is because there's been a consistent pattern of bad behavior and i don't know if i would consider being a masseuse online a a bad behavior it's just Uh, it is uh sometimes people have to do things to survive no no no. No, no, he did go to prison right he did yeah he did yeah so so that so that's what people dug up later on is this guy has a history of committing crime going to prison coming out of prison do you trust no, that stuff is okay? I agree with you. Watches. That stuff is okay. Some look, it was, I think, I think it was, it, it, it was turned a little bit into sport. Like it just, it went overboard. I, I think no, there is no, limits no. to certain well, stuff. Well, it, it, no. for the people who got ripped off, I, they, they have the right to go out and pull, do it overboard. I would have been fucking freaking out or maybe start my own channel. But I don't th- even think too. the people who went overboard were the people who were ripped off. In fact, the uh, look, um, they weren't. So <laughs> wait, so Tim, I just want to. Matter. Ultimately, so, I have no power over it. I mean, I just say, listen, I just think part is my personal opinion. I think it yeah. went a little bit too far. Mm. Yeah, I mean, look, what it was necessary. Far? I was calling him out. Like, yeah, I, you know, you I were. was yeah. right there with with everything. Every time he did a new thing, I, I called it out. But you know what? Listen, ultimately, it looks like my calling him out wasn't enough to break through to people how criminal this guy is and maybe going overboard was necessary to expose the guy ultimately right Mm -hmm. so i think what was done was necessary to be done i'm just saying i personally i i thought it was a little bit too far it was it gotten a little bit too dark i mean it it was fun because it provided that drama that the watch world didn't have and then you like i said everyone kind of chose sides yeah. right off the bat right and so it was really interesting to watch and everyone was pulling for Anthony, you know, right um and because they they wanted that story where okay this guy you know was in jail he didn't have his life together now he's got his life together and he's he's doing good business but um i i kind of question myself i'm thinking like why did i think the guy was a good guy 
why did why was I pulling for him and thinking like he was yeah, a cool yeah. why dude? were you pulling for was it because he yeah. had like big muscles and I thought he was fucking cool because he was all jacked up or was he, was he really speaking to you that. to your generation yeah I, I don't know like so bit. like so then I have to question myself like I don't want to get you know swindled in the future so it's yes. like you know you you got to kind of like look a little bit deeper you know if you're gonna do business with someone especially with your watches or whatever like so it just it's just it was just kind of a good lesson, I guess, for even yeah. people who didn't get ripped off. Yeah, like so Phil, so <clears> next <throat> time so now that have you bought any watches from the gray market or is, you, um I I got that? I I bought two from the gray market and I returned them to the gray market, which is the the one one six five two three two tone Daytona with a champagne dial. It was a two thousand three. And then my other one was uh the 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 Pepsi sixteen seven ten. It was a it was a holes case. Yeah. Um it had a really cool pink and uh blue bezel yeah. um but that sucked because actually i bought that at the peak of the market for 17 grand and i sold i sold it for 11 so i took a six thousand dollar hit on my 16 10. Oh, wow. <laughs> but then at the same time my other pepsi i made like 10 grand off of so <laughs> so like two you know pepsis. yeah two pepsis one i lost eight grand on and one i made 10 grand on so like i'm up wow. two grand on pepsis right and now i'm gonna try to get another one <laughs> wow uh so Phil, the, my, no, my question was now that you buy from a gray market dealer, is there any due diligence that you do when you go to purchase? How, how are you so sure that the watch is authentic? I mean, to be honest, are you, are like, like a watch expert or do I, you take I, I don't, I'm not going to buy any more gray watches for, for, for a few reasons. One is it, I want to develop the relationship with my watch and it has to be my watch and every scratch I want it to be my watch. So my you're scratch. no longer flipping. You're you, these are the, from going forward, you're <clears throat> buying from pretty people. much like I've learned my lesson. Like I don't like, yeah. I don't necessarily want to flip. Now, if, if I'm, you know, I might get a couple watch. I'm I, probably what will happen is I'll, I'm going to build up like 10 more watches and then I'll probably sell off like five, three or, or four, yeah, six, three or four, depending yeah. on which ones okay. I want to keep. Right. And so I, you know, I think, I don't want to get any like gray watches. Now I, I follow the gray watches. I Nashville watches. I go to like Nashville watch. Got, got calm almost every single day to check out. Cause I honestly, I feel like they have the lowest prices. I talked to that guy on the phone and um, seems pretty legit. So like I was thinking before I got the new AD, I was like, Oh shoot. This, you know, the 124060 is down to uh, 11,500. Right. And it was at 12,500 yeah. last year. And I'm like, oh, I should just, you know, have a good day in the stock market and just freaking buy it. Like, right. But then, then, then I'm like, oh, this one has scratches on the back where they, you know, took the bracelet off. Why, why do I don't want to take the bracelet off my watches? Why would I want to have one with the scratches back? That would just piss me off. Right. right. So, so it's kind of like, yeah, why would you, why would you buy it for 12 in it for a 2023 model when you can get like a 2024 model for 9,100 plus tax? So, yeah, so I basically like I just want to avoid the gray market, but at the same time, like I'm always keeping my eyes on it. And um, if I did get the full gold bluesy, let's say um, that would be a watch, you know, where you could maybe get it for 35 instead of, you know, 42 ish. So like, I guess once I move up to the precious metals, then I'll maybe take another look into the gray market. But ultimately, like if you have that much money you might as well just spend the extra few thousand to get it new right. that's the way i look at it <clears throat> what if what if watches dr keep dropping in prices and rolexes start giving discount like if it let's say it gets hypothetically speaking let's get it's bad it gets bad to the point where you can get yeah. like uh well let's just say you know the really hard stuff you still can't get but let's say submariners gmts let's say everything except the tonas and Sky Dweller is impossible. Actually, let's just say just the Daytona is impossible to get. Yeah. What if no, you can no, get I mean, a GMT? I mean, it doesn't or... doesn't have to be a discount, Tim. Like it's if the price like is just stay flat, yeah, in the just, windows, yeah, just, yeah. And it's like, oh, let's say a full gold root beer. Let's let's say that's forty grand, right? I mean, yeah. shoot the tax on that. Like, what are you paying? Like forty three or forty four thousand. Um, so, I mean, even if they do offer like a, a 10% discount, like I don't, I wasn't into Rolex back in the day when they were providing that, but I heard it was around like, you know, you could, you could get like a 10% discount right on your full gold model, but really that's like going to basically take care of the taxes. And then, so I, it'll probably get back to that point. I mean, shit, the watch is just crash, crashing, 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 crashing. Yeah. Right. So, um, but in like, However, what's, it is going to swing <clears throat> back around. It well, I agree. I agree so because, like, 
I mean, yeah. if you've been paying attention to the stock market, everyone's fucking up 100% and yeah, Bitcoin's up 100%. Crazy. So like a lot of people have like some extra spending money right now. And I, I wish I didn't that... buy FUBU stock. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't even want to start talking about stocks, but. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, but, but then, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. But the difference is uh, Rolex is increasing production almost every i mean you you want to play in the rolex market right you're obviously not yeah so the supply is going up and the demand is staying the same so the prices are coming down prices will keep coming down so well actually not necessarily didn't uh uh, rolex ceo said something regarding this we were reading just over here weren't they weren't they saying that that there might be adjusting uh uh production rolex is pretty and you know reactive to uh, yeah to the supply they, they're building that demand. new factory right yeah they're, they're building they're a new factory so by i think 20 27 2028 20, they reach to 1.7 million units a year mm-hmm. and i think 2029 20, would be 1.8 or 1. 1.9 million so currently they're at 1.1 1. 1, 1. 1.2 so so you're going to see more rolex is being produced so i don't know we'll get to a gray market situation where prices are going to be like what it was in 2021 it might be retail or you might get them at retail in the gray market which is what was happening in the past so if you go back to that kind of scenario mm-hmm. but with the retail have, prices would you still want to have those would you still want to have that 20 piece collection would it make sense for you if you're looking at it as an investment um th- there was this weird thing that happened to me when i i i i, I realized that i don't really care how much money i have I care more about what's on my wrist. And I know that sounds fucking so stupid. But, and, but like the reason I try to like go out and make a lot of money and work and play the stock market and stuff is just to buy more watches. Yeah. So like, I, 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 I just did this to flip thing in my head where I was just like, I don't care like how many millions I end up making. It's more about like what watches I'm wearing and enjoying. You like watches, <laughs> you enjoy watches. Where do you wear watches? Um, I mean, I guess, you know, you wear a watch to the baseball game, right? My my, nice. my buddy's at the San Diego game tonight. It's, it's starting uh, about you an hour or so. Casino. That's where they look the best. Oh, he doesn't actually stay at the casino. He he, he would go to Vegas to pick up watches and wouldn't mm. even gamble. Yeah. Does, now, because it's a, it's, you, it's a loss. You, I'd play you know a poker tournament. Yeah, yeah. yeah, in San Diego, I'd play a poker tournament, right? Oh, Because I'd have more time. Because okay. I'd have more time. So, gotcha. you know, um, I did... I, place in the top five and we split the money with my Daytona with my Panda on. So I was happy about that. But I think, I think where you wear watches is like you, you, you wear what you wear a watch pretty much every, every second of every day, except when you go to the skate park, like that you just, you always have a watch on, um, which actually it's cool. I like, I left uh, my Panda and my uh, two tone sea dweller back at the safety deposit box in San Diego. And now like I'm, I'm down, basically I'm rocking the one watch collection so I'm able to appreciate my Starbucks like with a lot more and I, I'm growing like a closer connection with it. But like, I'm really excited to fly back to San Diego to go get my watches and then flying back to the safety deposit box over here, um, you know, in a few months or so. But until that time, it's like, I'm just really appreciating my time with my one, two, six, six, 10 LV. Right. Yeah. So, so, I mean, I think it's just like, I think where you would like to wear watches like first off, no one fucking wants to hear about you talking about watches except the watch <laughs> it's for <nerds>. yourself. <laughs> right. Yeah. So like you try to talk to your family about watches, they don't oh. fucking they don't want to they they do not want to talk about watches. They, <laughs> you want to talk to your friends who are poor and like living paycheck to paycheck about watches, they don't want to talk about watches either. <laughs> so like you don't really I don't get the chance to talk about watches. That's why I was thinking like that you that's why I'm so glad. Yeah, I Dude, appreciate you the, having where me on. The fuck were you this whole <laughs> yeah. time you you uh, got so much to say oh, about yeah. watching. So, anyway, I, I don't want to keep a, blabbing so much. No, 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 no. Listen, we're loving this. We're loving this. You're okay, making yeah. this easy. You're making yeah. this exciting. I mean, the enthusiasm. Look, there's people in the chat literally losing their fucking okay, minds good, good. listening to you because they can't fucking believe what you're saying. Yeah. Because they don't understand that this is you literally you're representing what uh, most Rolex collectors are like. And we were living in this hodinky bubble on the stream for a very long time that we need to burst. And I feel like Buckley should be should be saying like, yeah, this is right here. This is the, the this is how it is actually. And it's uh it's it's interesting to 
you know, don't don't worry about the you know what what anyone's saying. You, you you're. Yeah, I mean, like you're sharing I, your I, world. I, yeah, I had is. my my I've had my own you know walk with Rolex experience, since November your experience, Yeah, yeah. Uh, so and like it's so funny. The same shit that happened to me happened to everybody else. They we all made a bunch of money in 2020. First off, COVID hit. We all fucking lost all our money in the stock market. Then what happened? We started investing again, and then all of a sudden, everyone made a fucking shit ton of money. Yeah, right. And then we went out and bought a bunch of Rolexes, and then we all fucking lost all our money. I missed that boat. Right. And a then, lot of money. I was, and then we I lost was... all our money. Right. And then we had to like sell our watches oh, back. Did lost his fucking money. He lost the Fubu stock. <laughs> I, exactly. I missed the whole making money part. Oh. I, I totally missed. Dude, Eddie the boat. still lost money on watches too. Eddie. Which Eddie? Oh, I said you lost money on watches. Oh, I lost. I don't think I lost yeah. money. Maybe, possibly. Look, we're I, like I, even. We're like even. Let's just call it even. I kind of, I think I evened out. But yeah. you know, if I sell my collection, look, I turned it into a, a bit of a career here, into a YouTube job, right? So my collection is beyond. It's not normal. It's not like others. My collection has, in a way, uh, brought me <clears throat> income. Right. That's I'm one of the few people who's able to make money from having a collection. Right. It's a it's a miracle. It doesn't happen to a lot of people. And I'm really grateful for all Look, my I, viewers, I my audience who supports I, this nonsense. I haven't lost money on watches either. Well, I mean, you don't make I mean, you don't have any watches. So how you don't have you any lose, money uh, and you don't have watches either. So how do you lose money if you don't have watches? How do you make money? How how do you intend to uh, to make to how build this 20, th 20 I... steel Rolex collection? Wait, from all, oh. did you say I don't have watches? Yeah, I've not seen you. Yeah. He has one watch. One watch, right. Oh, no, I have more than one watch. Oh, he just never shared with us. Okay. Send us some pictures. No, I've you guys seen it before. Yeah, I think you had a 31 Oyster Perpetual that you flipped. Whoa! I flipped that shit. What? That's not my watch. But see, those are those are not even you. You if imagine Cam, if you got lucky like Phil got, right? Phil has really hit the jackpot there, correct? But, but I mean, yeah, with the OP forty one. Oh, you're like, muted, oh, oh, Phil. 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 You're muted for some reason. Your microphone. No, no, no. I can hear Phil. Oh, you can. I can't hear him. Yeah, I mean, in in no, hindsight. I, I, I should have flipped every watch I had, like at the peak of the market. I should have just kept flipping, 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 flipping. But you would have made a bank, right? If you did. Well, yeah. I, I, but if I, you I got caught, would have. how was how how would? I, how... I, there's no such thing as like people don't like get caught. Like you would. I mean, maybe like I don't know how once in a while be, there's yeah. one person who gets caught, right? Yeah. And then makes it into news. Uh, but how are you <clears> planning <throat> to to build this this twenty rows collection? What do you like? Uh, you want to tell us like a little bit what you do? What kind? What your passion is? Um, I I mean the way I'm going to do it is just like just you know saving ten thousand dollars by working every year and then by blowing every single dollar I have on Ron Rolex watches. Thank you. Like, watch every year. That's yeah. Nice. That's how I'm planning on now. Um, I guess if I could strike it rich, um, in the stock market. Then right. you know, if, you, if one of your day -day. picks hits, so, hits high, so are you yeah. like a day trader? Uh, pretty much. Like I, I've been trading Square, um, Block Stock, SQ, like, and I've been just trading the ranges for for quite some time. And um, it, that's what you do full time. Um, no, I did just like like my hobby, basically. Oh wow, yeah. that's really nice. Yeah. So um, but anyway, so so yeah, I mean, I think that I gotta just. I got to take a step. I, it's It's been nice that I haven't like bought a watch basically in like a, a year or more. So I, it's nice to kind of take the step back from like buying like four or five Rolexes per year to like buying zero in one year. Yeah. So now, now I'm just kind of thinking like long-term and thinking like, okay, let me get my no date sub. And then eventually I'll get the full gold sub and then I'll have my three subs. Right. And then I'll have, and then, then I'll have my Pepsi. And then they're going to, they're going to come out with a new Pepsi next year. And then, and then I'll have to get the new Batgirl, right? The the one three six seven ten B L R O or then it's what? a it's like an endless journey, right? Yeah, you can, so. you can you can keep chasing it. And so uh, where <laughs> you buy these watches and you but you actually wear them to to the games? Yeah, the games. To... Like you wear them to church, like on Sundays, right? Right to you, church. You, yeah, you uh, wear them to um, family get-togethers. Family get-together. Family don't want to hear it. 
Just, yeah, but you, you don't you don't you don't bring him what, up. You don't what, start but, talking about him. But <laughs> any of your family have a wa- have watches or um no no, no. because Zero like I, I think like let's say you have a big family right you, yeah and then you know someone's like oh tell me about that watch and then mm-hmm. I start fucking rambling on about it's this much you know money too much. It's, it's worth this much and then it's just it's it's not really where you want to go so you got it like I have a tendency of like just talking way too much about watches so I just have to kind of keep my mouth shut. I've actually ran into a family of like that just wore Rolexes, like the whole family, the brother, the mother, the dad. They all had Rolexes. It's pretty cool. It's a good way to go, right? Yeah. yeah. Like I tried to get my dad into it, but he just doesn't really like the feeling of the watch on his wrist. What does he do? Um, He was in pharmaceutical sales and he's retired now. Um, oh. And so Maybe a day just would be co- cool for him. What do you think about that? Um, maybe I mean, because you were, maybe great. you were trying to convince him to get like a steel sport. Or maybe get a like, two-tone. Eh. Two-tone day dress. Yeah, I guess like for him, he his wrist swelled a lot and he has like Parkinson's. Oh, and so like I, he, he is just like his, he just doesn't really like the, the yeah. feel. I think he has like a yeah. tag warrior that I haven't seen yet, but it's like a green dial that I, I want to check out. Yeah. Um, But... Yeah, I mean, I get, it's cool that I kind of got my wife into it, and I'm thinking, like, thinking for her, they, women don't really have a lot of options when it comes to watches. Like, Yo, hey, speaking of I women, mean, hey, is, roommate, roommate, show, not as investment. Show him, show him what you're wearing. His, we got the roommate here. I show, watch, 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 wrist check. Wrist check right here. Check this out. The Pepsi. the roommate has been wearing Pepsi. Damn. See that? Hey. To work. It's pretty, pretty badass. Mark three dial. Wait, let's see um, the scratches on it. I want to see the scratches on it, Tim. Trust yeah, me, you don't want to see it. another really bad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, really bad. She's been beating oh, it. Uh, she wants to play a game, basically. If uh, a heavy hitting watch collector in the watch community wants to trade Pepsi for their <laughs> much more valuable watch for a month, to she'll wear your watch to her job and she'll beat, beat the hell out of it. It'll leave yeah. a lot of marks on it. And what do you think about that? That sounds like a fun game, Phil. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what she's thinking. I, I trade her. Hey, how about a date just? How about a date just 36? For, For her? her? Yeah. She doesn't want it. She's a, she's a, a douche collector. She See, there's fuckboys. Uh, if she was a fuckboy, she would love uh, a, like a lady size full gold, right? Think about how cool that would yeah. be. Yeah. The, the, ladies, the ladies date just. She's yeah. 28 millimeter with the star indices. Yeah, star imagine indices. that. That would be so cute. But uh, she's a flexor. She uh, pretty, uh, coming back. Or maybe she's you a said, flexor. You said yeah. your essay moved to Paddock. Actually, never mind. She is a flexor. I'm sorry, yeah. Your essay moved to Tiffany, right? Um, yeah, my sales rep moved to Tiffany. Yeah. Have you tried reaching out to her if she can get you an intro to the Tiffany Paddock? Um, yeah. that that wouldn't be a bad idea. Um. I remember I bought it like a Tiffany necklace for my wife. And then I think the, the guy was like, yeah, if you have like a million dollar spend, you can get a Nautilus. And I was like, I just fucking. Wow. Like- At t- <laughs> Tiffany stamp. Yeah. Tiffany. <laughs> yeah. Um, Damn, if, if roommate sold the Pepsi for a bag, how would you feel? Pepsi for a bag? I wouldn't like yeah. it. Check this out. This I was actually, we were at Tiffany earlier today. We we're trying to get in uh, to... Uh, uh, the, the Tiffany's, uh, but we didn't have a reservation, unfortunately. And they told us half hour wait, and then we had to go outside to watch the, the solar eclipse. But while we were inside, this is inside Tiffany's, so they had these cups. You guys want to take a guess how much these Tiffany cups cost? There's four of them. It's a set of four. Is it silver or steel? Silver, and they're one of like, one. So it was a set of four, but it's one of one. $40 each, like no, 160 no, no. Each Each cup is probably like I say dollars for the whole set. Uh, my guess is fifteen twenty grand. Good guess, Phil. A- anybody in the chat? Let's try to get some some guesses in the chat. Roommate fell in love with these cups. She said of that she did. the watch community should buy for... these uh, and then split into four. Oh, of course, then it must be twenty thousand plus. So, uh, what is the cup made out of? Silver. But they're oh, limited edition, just like other stuff. Right you see, there's a punch bowl. Look at this punch bowl that was 
there. How look at look how insane the craftsmanship on this thing is. Yeah, now this is but it's like, just it's a punch ball. Who needs a punch ball? I don't get it. It's probably twelve hundred dollars. Right. So okay, then what so is the price? Fifty thousand dollars for those four cups. Shut the fuck. What the fuck? Yeah, so twelve thousand. It's it's the price of the sermon. Let's see the sermon fill. Boom! Would you trade that sermon right there, sir, for a cup? No. I was way off, Tim. I thought they were like four bucks. Yeah. You're way off. Yeah, I told you. I told you. It's way off. But anyways, look, we were in Tiffany. It it was pretty cool to see some of the Tiffany stuff. Um, they have a museum exhibition at the at the at the top thing. Nice. Uh, it's really impressive. Oh my god! Uh, by the way, shout out to PG. Let me show you something. So first, uh, let me show you this. Uh, Phil, did you go outside today? Did you did you get a chance to see the solar eclipse? Yeah, oh, no, I, got, a- I took a look um, here in Virginia, um, and we, I it was it was cloudy, so you could see right through the clouds and stare right at it and see the sliver. It was pretty cool. Wow, nice. Uh, so this is uh, I got I took a picture of this one. We unfortunately we couldn't wait. I, it's roommate's birthday is coming up next Monday. I was trying to get her, you know, into the Tiffany. I thought, hey, it would be pretty cool, but unfortunately couldn't get us a reservation in time. So wait, we had to, to get run out Tiffany? and catch the, the the eclipse. And this is from PG, a much better picture. Holy Damn. crap! Right? There's that 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 flare off yes. to the bottom. That's insane. That's pretty cool. Uh, he said that this is from uh, from my town, so he's from his town. I think. I wonder if I think Ohio Cleveland had like a hundred percent. Oh yeah, yeah. We had clouds, you know, right when the total eclipse happened. For us, the clouds came over, and uh, we couldn't see. So I mean, the roommate we had to run back home uh, to to get it done. But Phil, so you, did you get a chance or? Uh, yeah, I mean, I stepped it outside. It was it was cloudy, but like luckily the clouds broke just in that one little area, and then we took a look. But um, nice. Okay, That's let me. Cool. Uh, how about um, what do you guys think is going to get discontinued tomorrow? Mm-hmm. I have some ideas. Okay, I'll hopefully it's a three dollars they just in thirty six. They just in thirty six. Yeah, that's no, you think a blue dial one. No, 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 blue dial, they just uh well yeah. so here's some ideas. Fluted dials. Fluted dials. Wait, all it, fluted dials? Yeah, all fluted dials. You know all fluted motif dials. Fluted oh, motif dials, yep. Yeah. Palm fronds. Palm fronds yeah. motif. Yeah. In all palm fronds, like the yeah. green one. The, the and 36, the you know, there's a palm fronds in the 36. Mm-hmm. Gone. <laughs> fluted dials gone what uh, are they going to replace them with there's going to have to be some new date just dials showing up tomorrow on the website yes i think we, we might might get something some kind of a new variation Different color, yeah yeah well, actually i have the preview uh let me see let me, maybe let's, they let's bring back the, the jubilee dial let's tr- let's try to go through this preview and see what what what, what is this what do you think this is the, that's the gmt to black and gray black and gray black and gray yeah. Oh no way! So it's just like a black, black, gray. It's yeah, kind of like yeah, what every yeah. what, what was predicted. It, it, it's like the Guinness, but on was full steel. Shit, steel Guinness. Steel. So uh, it might be that there's color loss. To me, I I see a little hints of green, but you're right. It might be black. No, no, no. I, I, I think, actually I like the, the green hand. hand. Is green. The I, it is hand green. Is green. I like. I love it actually, because I I have all my clothes are green to match my yeah. Starbucks. I got this one. I could just watch the rock, rock that yeah, green yeah. hand. Then there's a higher quality image. I nice. think once you get. But everyone's color. saying online oh, that they wish they had the silver. Oh yeah. black and gray. shit! There it is. So it is black. green, right? It is green with gray. No, 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 no. black no? and gray with black. green GMT hand. Oh, black, yeah. gray, and green hand. Oh my god, black. Gray, green hand. Would you go with Joyce Jubilee or Oyster? Have you got this model? 
Holy shit. I like the Jubilee, actually. The Jubilee, I think. Yeah, because, you know, if you got the oyster, it looks just like the predecessor. So, like, the Jubilee, everyone's going to know it's the new one, I guess. Yeah. Kind of like... Black That's going to be a hit. That's going to be a hit. Now, it, but it's, it's very, not going to fucking a, come out till back. like a year from now, I feel like, unless they drop a couple in the beginning. We'll see. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, with this being released, uh, we might have the discontinuation. There's a possible discontinuation of like a left hand drive, right? Uh, people were predicting that that yeah. was going to be a, uh, I, I, uh, discontinued last and previous year. And it wasn't, and now people stop talking about left hand drive being discontinued. So now is a perfect time for Rolex to just yeah. cut it. I think that Look. goes, but but the Pepsi stays. They won't officially. They won't touch the Pepsi. Pepsi, yeah. So it's going to be Pepsi, Batman, and this thing, and the left hand drive. Tim, I would, drive. The first, yeah. I would be the first person in the community to have this watch. Trust me. Really? How are you going to get it? Give it to me. Just, just hands uh, up. Buy it. Phil, is this something you're interested in? Or it, is honestly, something... dude, if I got this watch, like, yeah, I, I would probably flip it because, like, you, you, you know, sure. the chart's gonna start off at thirty grand, and then it's gonna be back to retail, just like the Guinness was last year. So it's like, if you got it next week, um, you might as well like sell it might for as well twenty five thousand dollars later. Down Phil, do you have a paid subscription to watch chats? Um, no, I don't pay for that. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, I just yeah. occasionally had the six month I, I used to watch check watch charts and add up all the values of all my watches and like yeah. but then I, but then I realized it was all fucking bullshit, right? When you go to sell, it's like oh, yeah, that's not the <laughs> yeah, so. bit of nuts, right? Um but yeah, I mean that's a beautiful watch. I mean not I a just, keeper, I, it's not a keeper. It's well, not I don't something... like the big lug. So and then so uh -huh. I'm waiting till next year when they redo it, but at the same time, like but why why do you insist they'll redo it next year, right? There's no evidence of that. because they it's it's, it's the one two six seven ten and then all the other models have moved into the one three six. Like you know, so it's like they, they updated the the Sky Dweller, right? They updated the Daytona, they updated Submariner. Well, they gotta just discontinue all the things and my my thinking is yeah, the Pepsi's not going away. I, I hope they come out with a Mark IV dial because they still don't have the colors right. Um, but if you think about it, it is it is a throwback back to the ba Bakelite bezel. So it, the colors do match the Bakelite bezel, but everyone prefers the colors on the 16710 Pepsi. And I would love to have a Mark IV dial. So I guess that could be my prediction, Mark IV dial for Pepsi to more uh, resemble the correct or not the correct because the correct is the is is the current version. But um, the point I'm getting at is. Um, the GMT's lugs look exactly like the old Submariner lugs, and they're way too fucking thick. And it's, it's, it, but well, the good thing, the good news is the Pepsi is trading at 22 right now. And tomorrow, the Pepsi is going to be trading at 19.5 because it's not going to discontinue. So everyone who was going to, you know, try to make that extra five grand, everything's going to get flooded on the market tomorrow. And the Pepsi is going to take a huge crash tomorrow. And the reality is, is like the Pepsi doesn't match really any outfit. The only great thing about the Pepsi, it's the most iconic GMT there is. That's why everyone kind of wants it. Um, mm. They can't discontinue the Batgirl because everyone's saving up for the Batgirl. Everyone's trying to build their spend history to get the Batgirl, right? But so they can't they can't take out the Batgirl. The left hand drive makes sense to discontinue that, but everyone else is still waiting on their Batgirl, still waiting on their Pepsi. Now everyone's going to be waiting on this, but. Right, I, but, but my my no date sub's gonna look better than that because when I look down at night, I'm gonna see all black, and it's <laughs> gonna look way fucking better than like seeing that gray. <laughs> I, I feel like this is well, one of those watches that. Oh, well, when I look down at night, I see all black too. <laughs> uh, Tim Kenny, uh, you know the thing is with this watch is that it might drag the market down. This is not a. I don't feel like this is a watch that a lot of people must have it just it doesn't feel like a must have if this was a coke coke is a mm. must have they could still drop the coke they yeah. that could they be could, a surprise right, that would be right. that would be cool i mean they, I, I think if they do that it'll be on white gold it won't be on steam that would be smart yeah because yeah with their own foundry they they need to push out all the precious metal pieces they can and that's yeah. where they're making tons of profit i don't know fucking why they they it's like a 4x when it's like should it be 2x so
exactly Boom, the green reference. print look at that gmt master 2 in green with the green hand so it's also got green print mm -hmm. nice that's that's really cool you guys see this yeah Tim, the i don't know why you think this back. won't be popular i think this would be pretty popular I, I i'm not talking about the flipping potential but i think a lot of the collectors who probably yeah you're right this is for girl. classy people yeah. see you know what this is for the douches the yellow gold big uh the big uh deep sea was for yeah. the fuck boys this yeah. is for the douches this is uh like a step back in time i kind of dig this kind of yeah, dig this, it it's a good watch i think yeah i think the hold release sucked so bad that this is fucking cool because this is the only one that's somewhat decent so of course everyone's going to want to go for this right yeah but and also phil i think we haven't seen the entire release yet they may yeah still have a few surprises so i mean i guess what else i'd want to see would be like some really cool date just 41 dials that make me want to get a date just 41 like who How knows 1908 well, the new 1908 actually kind of helped revitalize that line because last year no one really liked the black and white dials, you know. And then since they're precious metal only, they're so pricey. Um, I think that I think it's just a revamped Cellini, and it ultimately like that's why no one really talks about the 1908. But if you had a bunch of money and you were into dress watches, it'd be awesome. Now, I think that new one actually looks really fucking really cool. Um, with with the green interior leather band, oh, the, the platinum. Yeah, so like that looks pretty cool. But I mean, man, I imagine how much that one costs. Platinum, I'd probably be like sixty grand or more. This would be a pretty cool watch if this is like one of the last uh, GMTs GMT. to be released before it gets discontinued and the whole model lineup gets revamped. Yeah, yeah Tim, I I don't think they're discontinued because. Uh, I think after the sub and the date just the GMT is like a volume mover for Rolex. So, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't yeah. think there's that much volume in the GMTs. I think it's at least hundred thousand a year. You think? I mean, I feel like GMTs like up to the Pepsi level now. Everyone's like wanting the GMT. Yeah, but so, okay. Here's yeah, the problem with the GMT: yeah. the fucking EasyLink fucking sucks. And it fucking it it goes up on this so side of your wrist. Too, GMT. Um, no, no, the GMT Master Two. They because there's no glide lock clasp, so you can't get a perfect wear on the GMT. It doesn't it doesn't sit on the in the middle of your wrist. It goes north. The sixteen seven ten went north of my wrist. The back girl went north of my wrist. Right. right? It's just it's and then you can't find you. Li you like that glide lock? The glide lock. Yeah, is, the glide lock yeah. is crucial. So. That's what that's what kind of that's why I want to know because that's that's what <clears throat> makes people want to buy the submariners for that glide lock. It's, yeah, it's like a it's like a GMT. Imagine if they, if they put GM. It's like that would be putting GMT movement into a submariner watch. And this is something that other brands do, right? Like Omega does this stuff where they they take the chronograph movement and they put it into Seamaster. And Rolex doesn't do, they don't mix and match. They got GMT line. They're kind of similar to Submariner. They, there's resemblance. They used to have the same case, right? right? It's only now that they separated the two, right? Mm -hmm. The GMT Master is now 40. Submariners went 41. There's a chance that next year they're, that they're going to join the same case again. They're go, the GMT is going to migrate into the 41 mil case. I mean, right. I completely agree. Yeah, next year, they're going to completely revamp all the GMTs, and yeah. then if they, they, they shorten the lugs, they you know bring it up to forty point six and call it a forty one. Um, yeah. Now, um, here was my idea for the Sea Dweller forty three. The Sea Dweller okay. forty three wears way too big on most people's wrists. It you know I can barely pull it off with a seven point five inch wrist. So my hope for tomorrow, or I guess my hopes are kind of blown now with this. I I hadn't with the deep sea. That's I skipped the step. I'm thinking a 42 millimeter. So, uh, see, you know, Seed discontinue weller. the yeah, discontinue the 43 and come out with a 42 and just pare it down a little bit, and then I think you'd have a wider audience because a lot of people who got the the one two six six hundred, which is the the red the red writing Sea Dweller 50th anniversary, yeah, they, they're finding out the same thing. They they bought it. They thought the red writing was so cool. 
then they're like, oh, this matte dial is not as good as the gloss dial. Oh, it's just, it's a little bit too heavy. It's a little too chunky. Right. Yeah. Like I agree. The brushed oyster bracelet is the best jewelry a man can have. Um, but it's just, it's just too fucking big. And so like the deep sea is way too fucking big. And like, it's so funny. Everyone was like, no one asked for the full gold deep sea sea dweller, but I swear to God, I was on a message board once. And someone was like, Oh, I wish so, so much. They came out with full gold deep sea. And I was like, man, that would be really fucking chunky. Um, it would be too big and it yeah. is too big. Yeah. But luckily there's that titanium case back, which really <laughs> lightens it up from 300 grams to 299. <laughs> Yeah. The titanium case back is ridiculous. That's just. I mean, but oh man, that, that would be because my, when I put on my Sea Dweller 43, I mean, it just freaking so big and it shines like crazy. Imagine having that, uh, the deep sea in full gold. Fuck. Oh, and like that is that, that's not the sunburst dial. That is the matte dial. I'm pretty sure about it. And so that's why I actually. Oh, you I'm going to try, I'm like going to try smart. this watch on. And I, if I, if I fucking have a really great day in the market, I might just have to, <laughs> no, I, I can't pull it off. I've already, I've already tried this watch on it sucks. Yeah. You tried the steel one and you don't like how it sits. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it was just, it's like a hockey puck on your wrist. It's outlandish. Um, it's outlandish. But I did see a guy at the bar and he was like one of those super freaking big dudes. And he yeah, had like there's huge the arms guys, and it yeah. looked really great on him. And I was like, wow. He can pull it off. Um, I mean, the but people like Shaq. Right? Even There's Arnold Schwarzenegger guy. would have problems with this watch. Yeah. This is for the like the top 0.001%. You know, we're talking about Dan Balzerian type of guys, right? Yeah. Monsters. Now, big, and then like let's – no one can pull off the uh, the titanium sea dweller. I, I, I never ever see pictures of that. No I one have don't... it. I have a picture. You want to see it? Yeah. Okay, I'll pull it up. I I, actually, I think that retails at twenty six grand. I wonder what the I wonder no, what the value titanium. Of that. Oh, 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 titanium seed well. Oh yeah, yeah. Jesus, <laughs> the, the, deep, the thing is the super deep deep. I have it on the wrist. It's ridiculous. I, I, I don't even know. I don't know if anyone who could pull that off. That that one was just. Out it, there. I think it's a it's a joke. It, it's one of those watches that you know you know you just have in your watch box. To show off yeah, the events, which is like just... what most other watches are. So unfortunately, that's exactly what this watch is. And that titanium watch was just so fucking um I think that what that one British dude wants it now or something. Um <clears throat> but anyway, um yeah, I mean this is just it's it's a novelty. Let's there we go. Uh, it's great to to put on How about, do you think that's gonna be next? What what if they made the deeps this challenge this is what we're talking about <laughs> look at that uh imagine if they did this in full yellow gold <laughs> <laughs> they made it in titanium why oh, not man. limited to like five pieces that could be pretty insane uh here here you want to see how it looks on the wrist it's totally okay i, I got another angle actually here's the other side it's uh it's just a cool thing to hold in your hand yeah like what the heck is this it's a monster look at that glass it's just everything is warped around i had a i tried it on on the wrist here it is i, I love in the comment section everyone writes like does it have a gas escape valve all in caps or does it is it is original like, <laughs> <escape> <laughs> ah. oh man man uh, America 5726, it's meant to be placed as an ornament on your desk. Exactly. Exactly right. That's exactly what that this thing is. All right, is so called. what are your thoughts on the Titanium Yachtmaster 42 millimeters? Titanium. Oh, I love it. Yeah, love it looks it. great. It looks yeah. really great. That one, also, I, I tried it on. It's a killer. A, a, a friend of the community. Has it? Shout out to Jeff. Here, I'll show you. Uh, How big is your wrist? Uh, my wrist, six seven five. Okay, one second. His girlfriend actually dropped it live on the live stream. The Not... forty two millimeters might be a good sweet spot. Oh, oh! By the way, you're you're like a fan of the timepiece, gently, right? 
Hey, here, here, check this out. You're gonna like this image. I don't know. Uh, how long have you been watching my show? You, is this like your first? Um, I, I've, I've, I've been watching for a while. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. What, what's that? What's that British guy's name? That's he. He's Paul the one. Thorpe? Who, yeah, Paul, Paul Thorpe. Thorpe. He's the one who wants the, uh, the deep, deep, deep sea. He's trying to get it. I think Paul really? Thorpe. Because he's that? got that. He, he's, he made the pro plot famous. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, he got that idea from me. Okay. Yeah. Because. Uh, when we met Timepiece Gentleman, I was tell I, I was spruiking the pull prof the whole time, but I told him about it, and he actually he had he the money it. to pull the trigger. So. Nice. Hey, it's listen. He's the one who paid for it. That's pretty cool. Uh, I don't think he 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 bought a few pull profs, and because of that, he was sold a Snoopy. But I don't know. I don't know if he and he flipped the Snoopy, so go figure, right? What is that? What what is that? The Snoopy like you buy it for for fifteen and you sell it for for twenty five. Um, you buy, um, uh, it dropped in price. They used to go for thirty five thousand. Was insane, but now it's like, oh, I can't find the picture. Unfortunately, I don't know why. Huh? I want to show you the titanium, uh, yacht master. Next time. Next time. Yeah, I mean, when that Titanium Yacht Master came out this time last year, we were all kind of making our list. And I remember like mentioning like, oh, I think I would like that watch. It looks, you know, somewhat decent. And then I didn't realize that like that they just didn't produce that many of that watch and it's just like impossible to get. And then I guess that was pretty much the biggest hype watch of this year, that Titanium Yacht Master. Yes. And then it made it cool because like no one really was in, no one really was too big into Yacht Masters, right? And then that kind of like helped propel the yacht master line and i think that's what the new 1908 is going to do for the 1908 line it's going to kind of help move oh. up the the whole line a little bit yeah okay let's get your opinion on on this the the new 1908 with this guilloche you know about the guilloche um it's my first time really seeing it so it was on some other watch models like some other brands yeah you know what a guilloche is you know what a lathe machine machine is or nope. stamping no no new to this okay so yeah anyways there's these machines that you can cut you know chisel pieces of metal out of you know out of the surface they go kind of round and you can create patterns and those pattern you know there's very valuable like independent watchmakers like let's see let me show you who's known for a beautiful guilloche here Let's just uh, Kari Vudalainen here. Let's pull up a Kari Vudalainen watch just for a second, and you'll see it. You see there? Mm. You see that pattern cut out? Now a, a watch like this. Look at the look at the similarity. Okay. Do you see odd resemblance? <laughs> that nine? They just fucking rip that right <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Not just look, look. Oh, uh, the look, twelve, look, three, look. nine. Yeah. Yeah. Look, uh, nine, three, twelve. Man, right? even those, the even that open hand. The font is a little different. Observatory hand, right? The running seconds at six. Right. Look, I don't want to be conspiracy theorist here. Yeah, but, but... Then all these dress watches are kind of like they're all either inspired by Breguet or yeah. Yeah, look, but the, there's a difference. There's a difference is that, hey, see, this is handmade. The, this is a car wood line and handmade. You want to take a guess how much something like this costs? A handmade 75000 Actually, yeah, that's it. It's a, if you can get on the wait list. However, it is all sold out. There's no wait. The wait list is full. So unfortunately, I think he, he's like sold for the next 10 years. That's why he he invested into some new new brands. I think he purchased uh, uh, Urban Jorgensen. Well, yeah, I mean, maybe one of those brands is like you know the next Rolex, or or maybe it's gonna fall off like most of the other brands, or you know maybe mm -hmm. it will be the next big thing. Here you can see another of his dials, right? This is a blue. Look at that pattern, right? Blue blue patterns, kind of with lacquer here. So it is interesting to see Rolex kind of delve into. This is what they're trying to kind of go after, in my opinion. Uh, that's why 
And you know what? They've that's why they finally have a winner because it is a comparable. It it does, still does have the Rolex's heritage. Is is this? Would you? Obviously, we we calculated this is going to cost probably like around forty five thousand um, dollars. You you mentioned that you would want to you know build a strong steel foundation, but in your twenty piece collection, would you have uh, something like this? Um, I'm on the Rolex website right now, looking at the 1908s. Yeah. Um, you know, there's you got the white gold and the yellow gold, and then mm -hmm. I guess there's the black dial and white dial, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Um, this, this new watch, if it's platinum, it's yes. probably going to be priced higher than 45 because already the 1908, I don't, I don't follow it that well, but it's already priced really high. Well, the, we, we, did, exactly we did a calculation right? like this because a gold day date goes for 40 platinum day date goes for 60. So it's a 50% markup to yeah. go from yellow gold or rose gold to platinum. So we just went here, 22,000 yellow gold, add 50% markup. That takes you to thirty three thousand. Add ten thousand for the gear shape, around forty five thousand. Okay, that 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 makes sense. Yeah, because I'm looking at the twenty two thousand yeah. one yellow yeah. gold here with a brown. So, uh, uh, Rolex is not a dress watch company. No, and like I think that they 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 tried their hardest, but I I don't know. No, maybe no, if I if I tried one on in the flesh, I would like it, but I. So far, it's just it's not doing anything for me. Yeah, but but if you talk to any of the ADs, they tell you the 1908s are selling out. Like it's not like they're sitting with them. The minute well, that's they get true. In. I mean, but it, every watch is selling out, right? No, there are some that still like Sit I there, like my my AD had a two tone sky dweller black dial. No one yeah, really which, wanted to buy it. That's a beautiful watch. Everyone rags on that watch because it trades below retail, but it's actually like for a first watch. That would be the equivalent of me getting the Sea Dweller two tone for my first watch. It's like a black dial. It's Rolex. It looks gorgeous, and it looks amazing. And non watch people would say that's a beautiful watch. And then it's funny. All the watch people look at the the two tone Sky Dweller with black dial, and they're like, oh, "That sucks because it you know it trades like three right. three or four thousand dollars below retail." But um, I mean, obviously, this Gila Shade one is this is like it it, it elevated the entire line, yeah. and that. That ice blue dial, I mean, you know, yeah. it's my, my only issue with this watch is the strap. It shouldn't be on a brown strap, it should be on a dark blue alligator mm, strap. No, 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 nice. the brown matches the because on the they think about it this guy, I guess the Daytona ice blue dial is with brown bezel. That's why it's got brown strap because ice blue goes with brown, yeah. Like, roll no, but but at this price point, him a crocodile strap would make more sense crocodile yeah what is this alligator no, no i mean like a dark blue oh, dark something blue, dark ma blue. matching with the dial color yeah but they're matching it in the way that they're that they're doing the daytona and the way they're doing i i think everything think about it uh what, what platinum watches are there there's the the daytona is that the only one platinum. day date uh, day date right platinum. day date but the day dates don't have ceramic bezels Okay. Yeah. I mean, this doesn't. I mean, the the three colors there look really exactly great. Exactly. Put screen. it on anything you want once you buy it. Right. Yeah, like a full a full bracelet, an OEM yeah. bracelet. <laughs> yeah. Imagine doing a custom strap. <laughs> They'll this. come out with a Jubilee next year. Now, actually, what's oh. the lug width on this? What's the lug width? Oh, I think I know what strap you guys are talking about. Hold on, I'll pull it up. I have a I have an image somewhere. I would. I sweat a lot. Don't you think that those you can't wear that watch all the time because you're, you're just going to sweat out the, the watch band. Yeah, no, no. This is just for special occasions. Yeah. Tux. The day you have to wear your tux, you yeah. wear this watch. Yeah, you don't want to wear this like a daily beater. And let's be honest, like, you, we don't put our suits on that often anymore, right? You know, they like put it on for interview, you know, maybe put it on for a wedding like once a year. Exactly. So, I mean, I guess the good news is you keep it in really great condition. Right. But like, what if you didn't get invited for a wedding for like five fucking years? <laughs> no, but, but Phil, the ones who actually wear this watch are the ones who are attending concerts. Oh, well, that's true. They're like the ones who wear this watch are like the millionaires, billionaires, right. like they're, they're jet setting. They, they yeah. do have like all kinds of formal events and they yeah, dress up all the time. Plays, attending operas. So. Yeah. 
you this is the kind of watch you wear. But like in my opinion, I would have more respect for a guy with like the Submariner on with suit on than the guy with the 1908 on. I don't know. Like for one, the 1908's new. Everyone ragged on the Cellini, right? And this is just falling in that same category. Now, this is this is this is cool. I, this is fucking cool. I like it. But the other t- the other four, the other four. No, I actually like the white gold black dial. That's a beautiful watch. Yeah, it, it's it's pretty cool. I'm looking at it like right now. It's the white like dial is bit. a little yeah on on yellow gold looks a bit off, but on white gold, white or black, absolutely great combo. What, so uh, so speaking about white gold, um, obviously the meteorite Pepsi is is kind of probably the. The, the best white gold in, in the catalog. What other white gold, uh, if you if you were going to spend 40 or 50 grand on a white gold piece in the Rolex mm-hmm. collection, what would you get? A white gold? But you can't get the Pepsi because it's really hard to get. Right, yeah. The Cookie Monster is pretty classy, but mm, doesn't feel like it's worth the money. Right? Um, let's see. Is, is that a Daytona or no? Daytona or white gold. Uh, the blue dial, you know, the blue dial, white gold Daytona. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I like I like that watch. That's a nice Apparently, watch. they call that the John Mayer watch, but that's not the John Mayer watch. Uh, <laughs> the yellow gold green dial, that's the John Mayer. Yeah. But white gold, blue dial. But, but I mean, that's discontinued, though. The Le Mans, there's a white gold. Oh, yeah. The black dial, the, the black dial, yo, the new black dial, uh, white gold Daytona is busting. Okay, it's out of control. Let me show you. It's. I uh, like I like the mini Le Mans. I like the mini, mini Le, Mans. Le Mans. Yeah, that, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, that that was like the Daytona of my dreams, but Grossman is unsellable, so we'll never be able to get it. You know which one is really cool? The yellow gold with black dial. But a lot of people have been looking at oh, that one. The, I actually like the two tone with the black dial. Oh man, look at this one. Yeah. That is this gorgeous. Is... That's gorgeous, but honestly, t- t- take that same dial, yeah, put the ceramic bezel on there with oyster flex. Um, because the reality is with 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 this full precious metal ceramic uh, tachyometer scale, that's gonna scratch like crazy, right? But that dial, it it looks like a reverse panda. That's what's so great about this one. It mm-hmm. is a reverse panda, but it's just it's the Le Mans, basically. So, so do you prefer oyster flex or? Bracelet? Well, what I prefer is a ceramic bezel with full bracelet, okay. which is only available in the Le Mans and the right. Panda Daytona. And I just wish that they, you know, like for example, I, I, I was so close to getting the meteorite with the, with the white gold with the, with the oyster flex. I was yeah. like, she texts me about it, and she's like, "Yo, if you buy like." You buy like this thirty thousand dollars worth of jewelry. I can hook this up, and I was like, "All right, I'll do it." I fuck, I'll got it. Let me I'll get together seventy grand real quick, and then she's like, "Oh, sorry, we sold it to someone else." But anyway, so um, I liked the my old one favorite was the the black dial with champagne sub dials. Um, but anyway, so it just sucks that you can't get a full gold bracelet with a ceramic bezel. That's what everyone. And that, that's just the way the game they play it. So I've never had an Oyster Flex. I've tried some on. Um, I, yeah. I, oh, by the I way, don't, did, did I don't your SC try to sell you jewelry as well for the other watches? or it was just um, For my Panda Daytona, I bought a pair of $3,000 earrings for okay. my wife. Oh, oh yeah. hold on a second. How much money did you spend on jewelry? Um, I mean, really, I just got those one earrings, and then, uh-huh. and then that was it. So no, but you also got two watches. Yeah, then I got the two, the two watches too. And what was the two watches again? Um, Yacht Master thirty one and uh-huh. uh, date. It's a, it's a date just thirty one nineteen ninety four. It has the Jubilee dial, which where it says uh-huh. Rolex, 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 Rolex. Oh, those are very good. yeah. And then it had diamond um, hour markers. Wait, was that a CPU? Um, no, they didn't. They hadn't come out with a CPU at that point, but it was. It is a pre-owned watch, right? Yeah. Interesting. That's a that's a tapestry dial. That Rolex, Rolex, Rolex pattern is actually, if you look at it under the loop, it's quite exquisite. It's not just bullshit. Pull up this same one, but with the Oyster Flex. 
Okay. Oh, but then you on the oyster flex you <coughs> get ceramic basil. Let's see here. Let's pull it up. I think white gold. White gold. Black ceramic go. has the oyster. Boom. Flex. Oh, oh, that's look at this. That's Le Mans. That's Le Mans. That is Jesus. amazing. Oyster flex. Le Mans. Would you? get a Le Mans. I mean, if like fit, if you, if you, if you got offered one, you got to sell everything to come up with 50 grand and buy it. Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm going to sell his kidney for sure. I think, yeah, no, then, then, or better yet, you just put it on your credit card and then you sell it for 250,000 and then you, <laughs> then you buy a house. Oh. Oh. So, yeah. It's a, Le Mans. It's a no brainer to buy, but is it a keeper? Would you keep it? Oh, well, I mean, let, let, let's be honest. Or would like, you right. sell it for 250? Well, see, you're not going to get 250. Let's say you can get 160 for it, right? Let's say 160, so, yeah. Would you yeah. sell it for 160? Yeah, of course. You take $130,000 oh, in cash. Yeah. Then that, that would set me up for the next, you know, 10 years of buying one watch a year. And then I could invest the rest of the money. Um, but the, the white gold is growing on me at first i was like it looks too much like steel but now like i don't want to be super super flashy with all my gold right so right okay so these have white you, gold have you had any like comments do people comment on your watches uh when you go to like a a, a game or or somewhere um rarely ever really mm -hmm. yeah I, i'm actually what i do is i go comment on other people's watches and i'll go start a conversation with someone who's wearing like a root beer or something Oh, okay. Um, Very interesting. Uh, so what do you think about this? Uh, oh, this is actually gold. the ghost. This is the ghost. the ghost. The ghost and the Pikachu, they don't really do it for me. I'm kind of more into the mini Le Mans because it's a brand new diet, brand new configuration. Everyone's everyone's like, everyone was loving on the ghost and I, I, I give it some respect, but mm -hmm. it's, it's not exciting like the Panda Daytona because it doesn't raid like yeah. mm -hmm. but i mean it probably trades it, like it, it 10 fell, it fell down in the mm -hmm. kind of a gray yeah. market value kind of flip for, for. then plus the fact that you can't even fucking read the time even if you have great vision like myself it's right. like <laughs> like it's not written it's not legible <laughs> yeah no i mean even on panda they told her you can't read the time yeah you can't read the time it's like I'm, do you think that the, the the new black dial is more legible than the panda um uh, Mm, slightly no, maybe no. with some contrast i'm no, no. i was hoping no. I mean, i'm not really looking for no. legibility the thing is though you can see it, it from afar it's like oh that's a detailer it's got that iconic look yeah cool and then watch. the platinum the platinum and the bezel really shines in the sun and then the rehaut just really t it's nice and thin it's, it looks it looks really great like i went i wore to the padres game and i'm like I'm walking around and like everyone, everyone has like a, a panda chronograph on, and then like you have the panda chronograph on, you know, so you just like, you feel like you're really elevated when you have it on your wrist. <laughs> <laughs> uh, interesting. Uh, what do you think about the, 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 how would you compare this new Daytona re-edition, right? This is a new, you know, this the ceramic bezel insert compared to the old generation. How do you compare? Is this a good enough improvement for, you know, enthusiast collector like you, or or do you wish it was somehow different? Or this is a perfect reimagining of Daytona. Um, because you know, well, like, everyone came out and said, "Hey, I like the one one six five hundred better than the one two six five hundred." Well, guess why everyone was saying that? Because they had the one one six five hundred, right? Right, and they didn't want to accept the fact, but now but everyone's better. Yeah, everyone's coming around now, and everyone was saying this is a really cool reimagination. Now, mm -hmm. one thing I love about this that doesn't get pointed out that often is the loom tips have a little point on the end, and the other ones they didn't have a point on the end. So in the dark, it's gonna you're gonna you, it's gonna be some arrows mm -hmm. for it's for the indices. Yeah. yeah, so like that's kind of like I like that aspect a lot. Now, what will be interesting to see if it holds up is the outer you know edge 
Oh. Is that going to get a bunch of dings in it? I so actually, I'm, I've I've had images sent to me. No, they're getting scratched up really bad. The, oh. That edge is very sensitive. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that's that's got to fucking suck, dude. If I get the yeah. new black one, what am I going to be like? Do you think I'm going to be wearing it around and banging? You got to put a protector oh. on it. You got to put clear plastic protector over that bezel. Over oh, that so edge. I guess there's a little tiny little edge piece that goes around that gets going to get all kinds of gunk in it and you got to buy yeah. a new watch protectors stickers every couple weeks see yeah. that's 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 too bad because actually i really like that rim around it but mm -hmm. that's the problem yeah then you're gonna get a bunch of scratches there yeah phil i had a question but you definitely know your watches especially rolex have you ever thought of i mean like doing full-time trading on rolex like a flipper Oh, becoming well, a flipper. I, well, I mean, I, the, flipper the, the time you know to do one. that was like, you know, two or three years ago. Now, like the margins are so slim that, um, you, you know, lose money on it. yeah, like you had, you do one bad deal and you're out 10 grand and then you got to make me 20 deals yeah. to get back to even. I, Fuck I, that. yeah, That's so hard, um, man. And did, did you, you try see two it? years ago? No, I mean, I, I think that like, I, I, you know, I sold a couple watches and I made like a couple thousand bucks, but like right, ultimately, right. um, I guess at that time I was thinking, hell yeah, I could do this full time. Right. But then like now, now I'm glad that I, like, I would, I would love to like work, like, let's say at a Rolex boutique and like talk about watches all day. Um, but ultimately, um, yes, actually doing the flipping, like. Well, actually, a couple. There's a couple of cool YouTube channels of some guys who do it, and it's kind of like a day in the life. And then you know they're always like buying a couple, selling a couple. But you got to really have a lot of contacts for that. You got to have, you got to know a lot of people who are into watches. Mm. Right. <clears throat> mm. So are you yeah. going to go to AD tomorrow after Rolex? Well, I, I told her I would send the new the new list over, but nothing. And, and I was thinking about adding that GMT and saying, hey. Cause I already told her about the rumor of the Guinness coming out on this full steel, but like, am I going to put that ahead of the other watches I really want? <sighs> I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to go talk to her and try to like, you know, yeah. you know, but as your first watch, I'd, I'd highly doubt it. They'd give it to you. Probably not. But like the weird thing was, is um, my mom what, has the a big... no date. No, no, My, no. This particular no that, since I got the oh. brand new AD, I guess one good, a couple of good things I have going for me is she's because I was like, yeah, I built up this big spend in my last place, and she's like, oh, we don't even care about that. We we don't even care about. Spends. You know what? We, Maybe the demand I was is like, really? be so fucking down that they'd be lucky. Like they'd be selling these. Like, and, and you know what? I think they can sell a hundred thousand of these in a month. Right? Think about it. Like if they just dump a whole bunch of these, would they? They're ever they're gonna sell. Well, they, they yeah. probably did that with the GRNR. They they probably dumped a bunch of those, and that's yeah. why they're trading under retail. Yeah, but this um, is, it, but this is a steel watch. This is full steel. Yeah. This is gonna this is gonna trade at fifteen like all year. It's gonna right. probably trade at twenty five to twenty five, and then drop to eighteen, and then the Pepsi is gonna drop. This is going to push down the black, black, black down more. Well, actually, I disagree. The the, no? the 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 older reference you're talking about, like yeah, the the full black. That's actually going to go up because now that's super iconic. Mm, um, there's so many of them. Well, like I, I've heard C. that being called the cock block watch because once yeah. you get that watch, you can't get a Batman, you can't get a Submariner because yeah. they all look the same. But I, but actually, by the with this release, now that one is actually looking better because it has the green dial just like this one. Yeah, green printing, green printing. Yeah, and then it it's still modern, but it's fully black, and this one. Yeah, and it's like fully gray. black. So I think this one actually helps the other model. I think the other model is going to go up because of this one, because people are going to say, oh, like it's going to be if they had just come out with a new black one, like those prices would have crashed. Right. But now that it's different and you need every single one in your collection, obviously, you need the Batgirl next to the Pepsi, next to the root beer, next to this, next yeah. to the you might as well get the lefty because, you know, you know, you need that one in your collection, too. Lefty right? is a great watch. Um, Have you uh, what, what do you think of lefty? Do you like um, lefty I, 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 I think the color is cool because the green. Yeah. What about but, the left hand? Side but my thing is, like I said, the Cookie Monster is 40 grand, right? And the Batgirl's 10 and you get half blue on the, for 10 and the full full thing so my thing is like that's why the, the starbucks like the um 
the green sub is so awesome because it's green all the way around and you don't you can only but pay the 10. left hand is exclusive to just that one single watch there's no other left it hand looks fucking ridiculous dude it looks yeah, so <laughs> fucking bad <laughs> with, with with that cyclops on the other side every single time you look at it mm -hmm. your eyes think it's upside down yeah. i mean if you're left-handed it's really yeah. cool but if it's you're a right-handed guy and you have that watch i'm sorry go out and sell it and buy it yeah. Well, well, I have a, have a couple of questions, and I'm just trying to okay, throw sorry, some sorry. of yeah. the sentiments yeah. in the chat. Is when people hear that, oh, I want GMT in every color, I want the sub in every variant, I want mm -hmm. the Daytona. Then you, you, the sense that you're trying to hold these watches, you want it like kind of. Yeah, I mean, yeah. hey, that's a building. Yeah, collection. you're yeah, what you're hoarding, right? Yeah, you're hoarding like when you want to catch all the Pokemon. Why you want to catch them all? I, what the heck? Tim, it's in the title. The question. Tim, I didn't ask you oh, the okay. question, right? Okay, let's so, answer. He, he's capable of answering the question. I, I, I started collecting vintage toys around 2015. I got into He Man, mm -hmm. and I had I collected He Man was a kid, right? And so I. I bought every single He-Man. I was thinking about He-Man every single day. I had to get every weapon and every character and every card back and every mint on card you could get. And then all the prices went freaking insane, right? And I was like, hell yeah, I'm glad like I invested my eight grand in He-Man and now it's worth 16 grand. So then I got into Legos, right? And I started collecting all my 87 to 93 Legos. And I got into Castle and the Castle is the most expensive Lego. And I bought every single lion knights and black knights and every single it's cool because it has reference numbers just like rolex and since i had experience from collecting from he-man i remember like what i did wrong and what i did right and then so i i applied that knowledge to legos and i invested about 20 grand into legos and i built out this massive collection and i i would look on ebay and i knew the price of every set and i would lowball people all day long and i would i would buy lots and i would like I would find the rare parts and I would, and I build out like every set I wanted. If, and so I'm somewhat of a completist because if I'm going to get like one random, you know, uh, monorail set in, in one lot, well, now I got to get the other two monorail sets and now I got to build the monorail set that never even came out. Right. And so I had some experience and in, in mistakes I had made from my collecting. Right. And so I'm a little bit more inclined to like be a little bit smarter about it and like obviously made a lot of mistakes with with the rolex so far and that's where like i pared down my collection of three watches now but now that i'm building it back up um i well, wanted I don't to still think you take made it mistakes, slow phil you, you didn't make <clears throat> mistakes you you know you you came out even so keep, keep going because um <clears throat> so yeah so i mean i think that i I want to I want to buy every piece that I can buy for 10 grand that's worth 15 or you know let's say let's say it's only worth 12 like the sub I'm trying to buy exactly um, so so that I think that's what people are trying to ask is are yeah. you buying these watches because you love them or are you buying because when you buy them for 10 they immediately worth 12 15 if 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 that particular mm -hmm. watch is worth 10 when you walked out of the store yeah right, well you didn't make any money would you still buy these multiple I mean, if, 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 yeah, I think I think if anyone offers anyone a Sprite, they're going to buy it because they can just sell it for for five grand more. So no, 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 no. no my point so, is, if if that wasn't the case, would you still have your collection the way you want it to be? If if the prices were flat, right? You mm -hmm. bought it for ten, you walked out, you could only get say nine point eight for it. Yeah, you so still collect them in different combinations. Probably, probably not. Pro okay. I'd probably say, you know. I'd probably cap it. I'd probably just say, "Hey, let me be happy with the ones that I have right now." But I'd still probably, you know, you know, definitely buy a few more. I wouldn't be going for the twenty-piece collection like I'm going for. But um, with right. Rolex, obviously, it holds its value really, really well. Uh, the long-term chart will probably keep going up, but you never know what's going to happen. You know, maybe they make a big blunder and no one wants to wear their Rolexes anymore. Mm, and doubt it. Yeah, um, I mean, there'd always be people who. Yeah, but then, it. like with, with you know pe with with watch crime, you know people don't want to wear the full gold pieces anymore. You know, so people are moving more towards stainless steel. So, I, I think I think I have a passion for watches, and if if I was just to lose one thousand, I'd probably still build a huge collection. But if it's something like an Oris watch, like I bought for twenty five hundred, which I, I haven't checked to see how much I could sell that watch for, I I, I still wear it like. Um, but like my guess is I could probably only sell it for let's say like twelve hundred bucks, right? So it's like I took a fifty percent loss, and yeah. so like I don't like I think Oris is a cool brand. Uh, I wouldn't mind 
like getting another Aquas, but I'm not going to. And it's so only because it loses because. value. Uh, uh, yeah. Is for that the only for... reason you would want you wouldn't want to buy another Oris? Yeah, exactly. Now, if if like I had like loved my Oris so much, you know, maybe I I would then want to go buy another Oris. But I've just I think it that just, just does nothing. Yes, yeah, so. Oris. Even saying it sounds deflating. Well, it's Oris. It, it has a cool bracelet. Um. Not that the, I, the rotatable cool bezel doesn't oyster click well. Flex yeah, or or you know, or oyster bracelet with a glide lock. It's not as cool as yeah. That. So it's like, how yeah, about for you guys? Like, like, do other brands like Patek and Vacheron like really excite you guys? Like, would some you... yeah, Patek excites uh, AP. Uh, I get really excited. I get really excited on uh, yeah. a lot of the independents. Very cool. Omega is sometimes exciting. Sometimes it's a total blunder. Um, yeah, there's some exciting stuff yeah. out there, but nobody does it as Rolex does. They're the what? They're the kings of building hype, um, and they're they're very good. That they're they're promising the world, and then they pull it back and give you bare minimum, and that's why they're pretty cool. Because it's like if nobody's satisfied, then everybody's kind of sort of satisfied. And that's why they came out with a bunch of shitty watches this year, so we'd we'd like them more. Yeah, in a way, it's like you know what? Uh, it, it's like at, at least there's nothing that somebody really really likes. Like if that, if that Milgaus came out, that would be too good to be true. And if, or if the Coke, every, we knew the Coke wasn't coming out because they've been predicting that every fucking year for the last like three or four years. Yeah. So because we, you want it, they're not gonna give it to you. They'll they'll start a re revamp with it I, I think when they redesign it that's going to be one of the first staples to come back but yeah here here it is here's just the black black let's see what's next is another one uh, oh yeah okay uh, so what what is this that? isn't this already in the collection the, is it just a, a day date white dial roman numerals mm, let me look it up Let's see. It. Let's look it up on the Rolex website. It is an odd kind of a thing to show. The here. crystal looks like a little bit more raised, but I don't have a day date, so. No, it looks fine. Let's see. Forty, yellow. Gold. Oh, I know what it was. This is this is a mother of pearl dial, I believe. You think? No, no, that was a white gold. Oh yeah, you're right. You're oh, right. is it that a meat white gold? Now? Could it be a meteor? Mm, okay, I'm looking on the website right now. It looks like there's a this one exists already. It's so could quite... it be a meteorite dial? It's just not we we would see it. like some meteorite lines on there. Yeah. The Let's see some. Oh 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 oh! Here it goes into this X. Let's see. It closes in. Uh, there's the mother of pearl though. Yeah. But this white one. Oh, it's nothing. Nothing. I don't hmm. see anything about it. Maybe maybe they got a new movement. Who knows? Or maybe no, no, it's got a new movement already. I don't even see any difference with the with the hands or yeah, it's just hey. I think this is just a preview for this one. Because it cuts to this one, the mother of pearl for like split second. And, and I was hoping that was a forty, but people were saying that's thirty six. Oh GMT Master two. Forty? Yeah, this is forty. Yeah, but how about that white gold with the mother of pearl dial? Is that Th that's uh that's also forty. Okay, well that actually I I was looking at the whole new lineup and that was the one that I I thought would like, look kind of cool if I could take anyone for free. Mm -hmm. Hey, how about oh, oh this this is new a uh, rose gold. Rose oh, is an interesting one. Rose gold blue dial. Is that blue though? It looks yeah, it's blue. It, but didn't the they come out with a rose here. gold blue? Oh, that was the Sky Dweller. Yeah, so this is exactly. So this is the same blue that's in the Sky Dweller now on a day date with Pave. Right. So just more day dates. This is, uh, they're releasing a lot of full gold watches. Oh they really want people to go and want, they want to push them into these higher margins. Fewer pieces, higher, more expensive watches. Right. The baguettes, like on that, when you compared it to the new Daytona with the baguettes, that new yeah. Daytona bezel looks so thick, and this almost looks really, really thin. But obviously, like 
everyone on the message boards right like um, I hates think this, diamonds <laughs> i think this yeah. could be a 36 because if you recall the teaser the last image was of a woman pointing the hand to the sky and i think this is the watch she was wearing that. that that would make sense and then are those baguette markers so this could be a 36. those are probably baguette um indices instead of instead of a stick dial but it's hard to tell there uh, and then bam, there's the revelation. We'll what do you guys cinema. think about this? I love it. I love the for what it represents. It's it's nice, yeah. Silver screen limited edition. That's what I call it. The silver screen. Day date silver screen. That's my nickname for it. Take it or leave it, guys. I, I think it's brilliant. Isn't the day date Scorsese? No. Scorsese? Yeah, that's what I heard the it called Scorsese. earlier. Scorsese. <laughs> yeah. Because he's the one who wore it first. Damn, the what Scorsese. it looks way better than the olive. I hate the olive green dial. Oh, but don't I, say that. Negroni's watching the stream. I hate that. So it looks like a pot, a potted plant. No, it's good. you can't unsee it. It's nice, no, but it's a nice green. It, it, yeah, it's, nice. it, it's actually of, the 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 dial to celebrate fiftieth anniversary of the day date. That olive one green. of the one of the guys in the Migos was wearing it in one of his videos, like right before he passed. And I was like, it's definitely was the hype watch, right? Because it was going like way over retail. But um, it, you know, just the rose gold bracelet looks so amazing. So I'm thinking that actually this is gonna this is gonna definitely be way better than than the olive the olive dial. This is, this is the one to get now. I actually think I don't know for some reason uh, the day dates with the Arabic numbers. Uh, not the Arabic numbers, you, not the numerals, the the Arabic numbers, the way they sell it in the Middle East, right? Those particular different markings on the wheel, on mm -hmm. the dial. Do you know what I'm talking about, Tim? They have it with Arabic, right? The day dates. The Arabic day dates. I've seen the platinum one, I believe. Yeah, I I think for in some Arabic, reason the day dates almost. look good on those. Arabic, Arabic day dates. Uh, let me... Um... Not sure what you're talking about. Um, the 36? Uh, no, you won't find it on the Rolex website. Uh, this, I think I've just shared a link. Tim. Okay. It up. okay, let's see. Let's pull up this link. I wish they had sold this watch with a black oh. dial. Oh, sorry. You, you wish they sold that watch uh, with the yeah. black one? dial? With the, black. With the black dial, yeah. Yeah. Because I think they, it's available in a white. Yeah, yeah I, that I, watch. I don't know, for is some sick. reason, this looks good on a day date. That, yeah, that looks uh, great. Roman numerals. That blue, that dark blue. Yeah. Blued, blued hour markers in hand. But you know, when they came, it's so. Remember when they came out with the with a fluted bezel on the platinum, and everyone said, "Why?" But you know how Rolex like always likes to, you know, once they adapt and are able to use the technology then they were able yeah. to put it on there but then you know people get pissed but like yeah. so like to be honest like all right when you look at a, a date just right and then you do smooth bezel or fluted yes you always go for fluted right you never go smooth there's certain people i mean there's two types of people right there's two types of people in this world i'm telling you i, I, was I actually have today. a smooth one i have a smooth date See, oh yeah you well go. you save two grand right you save two yeah, grand I'm it and also it's, less it's a flashy. bit more sporty in nature. So is it is, is it with the oyster or jubilee? It's on an oyster, yeah. Well, see, th th I guess that one does go does go well with the oyster, so not a yeah, bad. I kind of wear it like a sport watch than a dress watch. Yeah, it's way more sporty. Yeah. Hold on, guys. I have to pick up a phone call. How are the how is the scratches holding up on the? Because it on the bezel, it's, it's not bad. Uh, I mean, and, and I baby quite a bit, so. <laughs> Yeah, and it's not a domed bezel. What what kind of bezel is that? They call that. It's smooth bezel. As well. Okay. Yeah this this day date here. I've seen this one before. I think um. Yeah. No, I I know I like these these kind of markings versus the Roman numerals. It, the Roman feels a bit too loud. I definitely agree. Yeah, I mean, phase, yeah, the, the raised three D numerals. They yeah. they. I wish I wish it had some loom in here. Right. Well, I, I, I've seen those tapestry dials, and they they have some stick indices. Right. Uh, Phil, have you? You said you looked at Vacheron in the past, but you didn't really like the overseas. 
I mean, yeah, I've never got the chance to try one on, so oh, it's just dude. kind of like watching videos and so forth. Um, I think my 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 AD she she wanted to kind of get me into Vacheron, and so I, I wanted to try to like it. Um, mm -hmm. but I guess I would have gone for like what what is that like the twenty thousand dollar overseas steel model that would probably right. be really really hard to get to. Right. So. But yeah, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for a day date that I'm in love with, and then I'll pull the trigger one day. But I, because I, I did try on like a champagne dial, with 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 the fluted bezel and you know full yellow gold, and that fluted bezel just sparkled so much, and like just flipping that bracelet around looked so good. Oh yeah, you know what? Like a lot of people who who haven't tried the fluted bezel, they don't know the effect of the fluted bezel. Vamal, have you ever had a, a fluted bezel? No, no I, I didn't have that. I, I did try it at the AD. I liked yeah. it, uh, but uh, since it, that is going to be my first Rolex, I wanted something which was Low more key. versatile. Right? I it didn't necessarily have to be just a dress watch. So yeah. That's why I thought I'd go with it because my choices were either the OP or the date just. And a smooth date just is kind of like an OP with with a date window. Mm -hmm. So yeah, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, okay, let's keep going here. Hey, you can see there's the the clasp, how it works. Yeah, oh, the, it's a butterfly Rolex clasp. Very cool, very innovative. Mm -hmm. Here, here you can see it being worn by some kind of a <laughs> orchestra guy. Hardcore, 1908. Then, uh, bam! There is the sea dweller. You know what, Tim? If you have the wrist, deep sea. Yeah, you get the deep sea. If you have the wrist size, Fuck, you need to, you need to get a, this gold deep sea. This is get the fuck out of my way, you peasant. No, no. Th this is this is what you wear if you have a portfolio of multifamily housing, and every month you go to pick up your rent checks. You wear this watch. That's brutal, <laughs> man. Just... Show up in your Porsche. Knock on the door and collect a check. I mean, that's this is the kind of watch you wear for it. That's brutal, brutal, brutal. Where's the rent? And you look like the titanium case back, huh? That's odd. We we should have known that from the teaser that apparently, and I didn't know this till today. All the deep seas have titanium case backs. No, we kind of so, guessed it. What we thought was it'll be the sea dweller. We didn't think they'd go and make a deep sea because obviously deep sea is much bigger. I mm -hmm. thought it was going to be Milgauss. You thought how? Huh? I was hoping for a full gold Submariner, but what color would it have been? Green dial. Okay, yeah, the full. full Imagine Hulk. full yellow gold Hulk. Boom! No, that's a yeah. money watch. Well, they predicted that last year. Remember? Yeah. Um, and then never going to happen. Yeah. Obviously. They're not gonna give us stuff that we want. I I stuff. still think we might see a titanium sub. It probably wasn't in the teaser, but I don't. I wouldn't rule it out. There it's could good. be pieces that haven't been covered here. With all that hype, yeah, that the uh, the yacht master got, that would make sense. And then right. they would just keep it to like only produce like five of them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Funny stuff, but the, yeah, this is the. The yeah. deep sea, we, we took a look at this one. Full yellow gold, blue dial. Look, you can see up close. Oh, no, it's white print. It's going to be white print. It's not going to be print. Oh, maybe, maybe deep sea, it's going to yeah. be in gold. Speaking of that, you know when they you know made the new blue Z, they switched from gold print to white print? Not a fan. I'm not a um, fan of that. You know what's weird? I, 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 I do like the white print oh, better than the gold okay. print. Okay. Um. But I think part of that was just, you know, going from the 40 to 41, too. So you, who knows? Yeah. Interesting. Let's see. Uh, that's pretty cool. Okay. Oh, it cuts back. There you go. We get another glimpse of. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it is. It now is you can see the saw. green hand. It's an okay. It's an okay combination, right? It's kind of a very subtle watch, right. very subtle combination of colors. Jubilee, you get the Jubilee option. Okay, this was predicted. Some people predicted this. I can't. Yeah, believe. that this was predicted. It kind of seemed like very logical too. So then I, of course, added it to my own predictions. 
once I heard about it. Nice. But have you guys noticed, like, when you wear a Jubilee bracelet, it shines like gold. It, oh, it, yeah. it just it sparkles so much that it's almost uncomfortable to wear outside. Like, if you're walking on the pier, for example, yeah, and you yeah. have, like, your back girl on, it's just a little <laughs> bit too much. Yeah, it draws a lot of attention. Yeah. It does. It's a really loud watch. It's, but let's know. be honest, that's what that's why people wear Rolex. Right? Yeah, that's true. So that others know you're wearing a Rolex. Ah, no, some people do that. Not everybody. Yeah, the ones who don't want by, I don't know, FP John, Lang Lange people that brands that people don't recognize. You want if you're wearing a Rolex, you want people to know you're wearing a Rolex. Yeah. And the, you know the Jubilee bracelet was always like for the older guys, but now it's kind of like for the younger guys too. Right. Yeah. And it actually helps. Say, for example, uh, if you're slightly smaller wrist, but you want to wear like a bigger size watch on the Jubilee, it kind of hugs your wrist, so it make it doesn't look that bad. You know what I'm trying to say? Like the case is. The lug widths are kind of a little smaller than an oyster, which is a little less flexible. Mm -hmm. The Jubilee bracelet like uh, like hugs your wrist, so you're able to accommodate a slightly bigger case watch, and it won't look odd as well. Hmm. But, yeah, but that, you know, that makes sense. I mean, it definitely contours better, right. and it is more breathable. The, the, this one strange thing was that I was, I was always heard that, and that was ingrained in my, my mind. It was comfortable and it breathed better. But then when I had the back girl, I didn't feel like there was I could there was a negligible difference between the oyster and the Jubilee. So like I think that you're right. Obviously, it does contour better with the smaller links and it is more breathable, but it's very, very similar to the oyster wearability wise. But I, I I would agree it does do better, but it's just it's just slightly better. Uh, I, I don't know. I I've been I had no problems with oysters. The Jubilee, never, never liked them. I had the you know, the Pepsi, but never felt like wearing it. Unfortunately. Phil, do you have a YouTube channel? Some no, I, I I don't. No. Okay. Wow, look at that. Ah, a... it kind of repeats twice in a way. What yeah. the hell? I guess I think this is just someone shouted at the display from the booth, right? So they just oh, maybe played I think this, this is not a full thing. trailer. There's some stuff going on because it, it plays twice. Or maybe it just goes circle, right? It's right. like a yeah. 20 second clip. And, and they just going repeat in circles. It, yeah. Interesting. Can you pull up that uh, Sky Dweller again? The Sky screen? Dweller? Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Just give me a second here. This one? Yellow yeah. gold? Yeah. Or the other one? Okay, there you go. Then why did we think this was going to be on the presidential? Um, we... Because what they did, uh, I can show you. In the clip, they yeah. show a, a watch with a fluted bezel on the presidential, right? Right. And then yeah. they do a close-up where they don't show what bracelet it is, but then they do a, a clear close-up of a, of a sky dweller. Right. In the same rose gold. So it, So we got confused with that. Well, yeah. no, no. I mean, that's the, they were trying to, it's like a subliminal messaging, right? Like, hey, yeah. did you see it? There's a fluted watch with uh, with the presidential. And they're saying, oh, meet unexpected, right? Like a classic meets unexpected. Well, you wouldn't expect uh, a sky dweller to go on the presidential, presidential bracelet, right. but that yeah, would be yeah. balls against the wall. <laughs> yeah. Right. No, but it still looks good on a Jubilee. It, it's the I rose mean, gold. It's the rose surprising. gold looks even better. It the looks obvious. It... I like the rose gold. That rose looks... gold is cool. Yeah. 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 When I saw this, I was like, "Wait, they already have a white dial." And then I was like, "Oh, okay, F full Jubilee gold." So, yeah. yeah. It's just full gold, and yeah. there you go, full rose gold blue dial. Okay, cool. now now that they've got this Jubilee bracelet on rose gold, uh, do you think the root beer comes in one too at some point? The old root beer did have one, so I, I, it's very easy to do. And if they've gone ahead and done it, I think that it's very logical and they should do it. 
because yeah. then it would it would bring some excitement back to the root beer. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Ryan Singer, thank you so much for the upvote. It says upvote it. Thank you. James the advisor, thank you so much for reminding to upvote. Guys, if you're watching this stream, uh, please make sure to upvote the stream and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed. Yeah, Tim, uh, uh, yeah. sorry. OC has posted two links in the private chat. I think he maybe wants you to look at Oh, okay. Let's see. What do we got here? Oh, this is uh, some new releases. Yeah, Bulgari stuff. Oh, they made a, the world's thinnest watch. Oh, another thinnest yeah, watch? Yeah. Thinner than uh, the Richard Meal? Yeah. Okay. So they beat Richard Meal. Oh, and they did it at a fraction of the cost. That's not good. I don't think it is. Oh, you should check out the price. I'm not going to reveal it, but. Yeah, we'll talk about it tomorrow. Yeah. We'll just save it for tomorrow. Tomorrow will uh, be all Rolex. Huh? Oh. Well, I mean, Phil, 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 he doesn't like, you know. What is this? No, Phil, I mean, we should uh, Let, broaden his yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, horizon. I want to. Get, maybe he get, gets excited by. I, I want to touch on this Tahitian uh, subdial here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to get your take on the Tahitian. Yeah, what do you think? Um, I, I think that those baguettes are cut really, really well. And obviously like diamonds aren't cool on a watch. Mm -hmm. Um, I probably wouldn't rock this, but it's cool. Like it is cool how they have the mother of pearl dial with the, the Tahitian mother of pearl sub dials. I wish that they probably wouldn't have done that outer ring on them. And like it's hard to tell this angle. I'm assuming that all the Tahitian mother pearl dials are the same, but that last one looks darker. But I'm assuming they're all the same. I can't stand those diamond indices. So, mm. yeah, it's a no go. You're not interested. Uh, would this be cool for a lady though? Well, it's a unisex watch, and so I think yeah. that I think that it, it would be the baller watch for the lady for sure. But like right. the reality is, is like. The ladies are are getting the are wearing the two tone, and I, I gave my mm. two tone to my wife before I sold it, <laughs> the one before I took it back, right? My two tone Daytona, and like sh she wore it, and she has a six and a half inch wrist, but it just it looked way too big for her. And it's like it, I I I think it's cool when women wear like men's watches, or let's say this is the unisex watch, if they can pull it off. But for the most part, it is going to look a little bit too big on a lady's wrist, and they're not going to even want to rock it um so like this is like the guy buys it and then all his friends make fun of him for wearing diamonds and he gives it to his wife and she never wears it that's what this watch is for oh man uh shout out to pedro bermudas for the ten dollar super chat really appreciate that thank you so much guys if you enjoy the show support the show either via pay either via, via paypal or super chats or become members uh you can always upvote and that's free um yeah, I look. I think they had this type of watch back in the old collection, so it really feels like they're rebuilding the catalog. They're adding more kind of weird dials, and there's the next ten years they're gonna release a new Daytona at that's that's added as a part like a permanent addition to the collection. I feel like. What do you think the retail is on this? Uh oh, man, we're talking. Mother of Pearl, White Gold, Oyster Flex, 40, 60, with the diamonds, 80,000. Probably right there, pushing pushing right, right up against the Platinum. All right, Platinum is like 80K. This is like right there because it's the diamonds on the bezel. That's expensive. That's like 30,000 right there. So, and then Mother of Pearl, that's like another five. All right, so 40 plus 35. 75 there you go there's the pricing uh, that's kind of what it feels like to me at least uh this watch is the ugliest thing i've ever seen oh damn some strong words samuel said why would you guys laugh at for wearing a diamond watch silly state why would guys laugh well the reason i say that is because if you go into reddit and if you follow reddit rolex i look at it every single day and read every comment uh, wow. When I got into watches, the reality is, is like you get dogged on like crazy for even diamonds on the dial. So Damn. like, I I I would love to like. I wish diamonds were cool. I wish diamonds yeah. had respect. I but I'd rock some diamonds, but 
you have no respect in the game if you're rocking diamonds. It sucks. It's like they're cool looking. Um, well, you you can flip the script if you like the diamonds. You have to flip the script on the haters. Actually, well, you know, once once you make a few mil, then then you can flip the script right. on the haters. But wh wh why why go out and you know, yeah, yeah spend it, it it's seventy five thousand when you could you know get the panda for fifteen and then like this you you know you'd have trouble selling it. The panda this is like going for like this you lose ten grand on the panda you make ten grand on yeah um, now. If it, money doesn't matter, it still looks like shit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, this is it's a funny one. It's really a funny one. It's not going to be a hot seller by any means, but I think it is a, It is like a, a feminine a feminine Daytona. And it's it's a piece unique. Now. It's a yeah. piece unique. Every month, every, you know... Um, Mother Pearl Dial is a piece unique, just like the uh, the meteorites. So that is one cool aspect, and that's why I do like the uh, the day date Mother Pearl Dial they came out with this year. Very cool. And then you know, since they came out with that day date Mother Pearl, my thought is they're going to discontinue the meteorite day date forty. It, that came in white gold and platinum, I believe, with the bag mar markers. But I'm yeah. thinking like this is the replace this this day date is the replacement for the meteorite, and I'm hoping they keep the Pepsi meteorite, and then that that will be the final meteorite that's that remains in the collection. I'm hoping, but I'm thinking they discontinue the day date and the meteorite. Uh, in the in the white gold or in platinum? Um, in both. Well, I think it's available with both metals, but if it's not, I'm thinking like since they're running out of you know the rock, then they'll yeah. just. You know, I'm really liking what they did with the 1908. I wonder if they're going to keep these type of a guilloche inspired dials to to 1908 exclusive, or if they're going to branch it out and start maybe maybe adding this type of dial into a day date. Uh, maybe no, I don't think Skydweller is an option. But I mean, where are they gonna go from here? What do you think about this? Right, would you would you like to see these kind of funky, you know, cut cut dials? I think it would look great on a date just, but I think that by having it on this dial, mm -hmm. maybe that's something unique to this 1908. The right. 1908 nine needs its own DNA, so yes. hopefully not. But I mean, I, I it, think that, yeah, yeah, look, think it would look great on a date just for sure, yeah. but. Yeah, you want to reserve it. I think they they just they can have those laser etched dials. Right, like the palm fronds, like the fluted, right? There's a little bit of laser edging. Uh, hey, Tim G in the chat, he says, Oh, C needs to call me. Girly reactions. Uh, Rob F uh, takes a sip of whiskey for Tim G in the chat. Thank you, guys. Show your support for Tim G. Show us that thumbs up emoji if you like Tim G. We need Tim G emoji. Seeing, yeah, thumbs up, thumbs up. Pull He's up, been getting a lot of heat for no reason. I don't know what's uh, the I don't think it's for no reason, anyway. This is not an inquisition, yeah. you know what I mean? Um, yeah, kind of. Uh, Scott Calvin, look at that, that's pretty cool. Thank you so much for two bucks. Tutor releases could be more telling on Rolex's plan. Interesting. Uh, Buckley had a comment on. Oh, what? Uh, Buckley. Buckley had a comment. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. That yellow Jub Sky Sky the Jubilee. Sky Dweller white dial has me by the balls. Hmm. What do you think? Is this is this a baller's watch? This yellow gold Jubilee, Phil? Does this scratch the? I, itch? I think that's definitely a baller watch because I when I first got into the game, I was thinking Sky Dweller full gold with white dial was a possible grail. And wow. so I think this is just one step above the, that, you know, instead of the oyster, now you have the Jubilee right. and the full gold. Because remember up until last year, they didn't have the full gold Jubilee that came no, out. No. Yeah, this last is, year. This so This is first time. No, this is brand new. Brace I think that is super baller. Up. And, you know, it's, well, I tried on, first I wanted the white dial Sky Dweller. Then I wanted a black dial. The black dial is, is too gray, kind of too matte. And the white dial, it's very silvery. 
And I'm wondering if this is the same white dial as the steel version, or they they it looks like a brighter white to me instead of more of a silverish white. So it'd be interesting to see if that's the same shade. It's it's going to be great either way. Uh, when I tried on the the white dial steel in the store, it just fit my wrist so well that it just looked so gorgeous. Like the Sky Dweller is definitely on my list. I think this is an awesome watch. Yeah, yeah, it's really it's the biggest, and it's still in that comfort zone, right? Where unlike the the deep sea, that's too big. It's, yeah, it's this is forty two. I think it's fine. It's, yeah, forty two mil. It's uh, yeah, yeah, it it's gonna wear out if you bang the shit out of it, like right. yeah, like some people, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, what what my biggest worry about this watch is the is the movement uh what 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 did they call the bezel the rotate master command control? bezel yeah command bezel yeah i i don't know I, I feel like it's you might end up breaking it someday <laughs> if, if you're not if you don't handle it with my only concern is like you know you get the sky dweller you know and it, it is bigger and it is heavier it then it doesn't get it quite as much wrist time as your other lighter watches yeah. but i have a feeling that you would just you would just put that out of your mind and you would just wear the crap yeah. out of it because it's so yeah. gorgeous. But and the reality is it's not going to be as comfortable as yeah. like a sub or they just yeah. or anything else. And on a Jubilee, it contours better, like you said, Phil. Mm. I mean, the Jubilee bracelet. Yeah, but you only have the easy link adjustment. And yeah. so you're really going to... But I guess that's another good thing about the Jubilee bracelet is you can fine tune it slightly more. But with my back girl, I was like, should I take a link out? And then like I talked to this one guy at 80 at 80 in San Diego and he's like, I already tried that and it didn't work. And the watch head is still traveling north on my wrist. So he was kind of running into the same issues I had. And then um I I have a feeling that 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 this would sit on my wrist very well, much better than the back girl, and it would it would be a forever part of the collection. But the reality is it's like if I get the full gold day date for 40 but for the sky dweller they're gonna charge 50 and i only am gonna get you know one full gold watch in the next 10 years and day date only comes in full gold well let me allocate my full gold to the day date and then i'll get the steel sky uh buckley in the chat says the move is to order it from italy and get 20 percent vat back same price as day date. Wow. See, have you considered, uh, Phil, I know you travel to Vegas to buy a watch, but have you considered going to Italy to buy a watch to get 20? Oh, that's a big difference. 20% off VAT. And if you buy this, imagine buying this for the same price as a day date. That's hardcore. Yeah, I mean, if you could really truly save the ten grand, but you know, I haven't heard of that before, and who knows, maybe there's some sort of tax thing, or who knows what could happen. You're traveling back, or who knows? Mm -hmm. We got original OC it says, "Great to see Tim G in the chat. I'll give you a call soon. Breakfast meet meeting with CEO of Booker at seven a.m. Then off to New York SE and CNBC to pitch some projects." Then Miami for late dinner with J Lo. Sounds like an eventful day for OC. Yeah, no, yeah, you don't know the context. He's just I responding to what Tim G had posted. Perfectly. You have to explain it to me. No, no, uh, Tim Paige. G had posted something earlier. I know, I know, I, I know. He's he's replying. Hey, shout out to uh, Pedro Bermudez, five dollars super chat, bro. That haircut looks sharp. Congrats on that. Right, it's a completely different look. People thought I looked like Pigsley. Uh, no, it's a completely different face shape. I'm losing weight, guys. Uh, is replying to this. Breakfast tomorrow in Stamf Stamford, Connecticut at 6 a.m. in New York City for a day raise money. Then San Francisco till Friday. Then Singapore. Back to streaming in May. Uh, okay. Look, they have similar kind of fast lifestyles. Yeah. High rollers. I mean, OC, look, is what I understand is OC says 
Tim Tim was gonna have uh, a haircut with just uh, like a hairstylist or whatever, number one hairstylist flying out from San Francisco, no problems. <laughs> Tim G says something. Suddenly, it's a fucking inquisition. What does it matter? He's not selling. He's not. The uh, no, 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 no. People no, no, say it's, it's the no, wizard. It's the wizard. No, 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 How no, no, is Tim. it the wizard? He's not buying or selling watches from anyone. No, no, Tim, that's not fair. That's not fair. OC says it as a joke, and he admits it's a joke. But Tim G well, has maybe always. He can't Tim admit G has it, but made everybody knows statements. it's a joke. Come on. No, Tim, you've yeah. had experience of people coming on your show. I met pret- him pretending to be someone else and scamming other. People and then you. Well, how, the... how did okay? How did how did Tim G scam me? He took me out know, to right? lunch and uh, pay for my lunch. No, no. Did, that... did you did you know Wizard was gonna scam people when you had him but, on the stream? But Tim no, G is right? not a dealer. No, no. He's not you a flipper. Know. You don't know. You don't know. Well, right? Okay, don't I don't know, know. exactly. Don't know. And he hasn't yeah. done any business. Exactly. So then why is he coming on air and lying about him? About what? About he's not mm-hmm. lying in order to get away. The, listen, the li- the Wizard. <laughs> Lied to build a uh, trust did, so that he you, can buy yeah, but, and but, sell but, watches. Yeah, exactly to build, but you didn't know at the time. You only knew about the wizard. No, no, I knew. No, everybody knew he was a seller. Everybody knew he was a seller and a buyer from the beginning, yeah. right from the get go. Right. He was a buyer okay. and a seller. Okay, so uh, this is what people are asking in the chat. Will you yeah. vouch, vouch for Tim? He's G? not buying or selling, so I'm no, not no, vouching. No, no. no. I, don't care. I don't care. You don't know what transaction. No, I'm not vouching for. I'm not vouching for you. No, but but Tim G has been trying to sell investment ideas in the chat group. He's not selling investment ideas. No, no, ideas. he has been. He's been. He's been trying to he's sell investment ideas. He's giving ideas, right? No, no, no. Right. exactly. So, so are you vouching for Tim G today? On I'm not vouching for you either. All right. I don't no, know no, what I, I you're you saying is true. I, I mean, people say, "Hey, if he doesn't show the camera on, then you can't trust no, him." No, no, well, no, Vimal, Tim, you don't show Tim, camera no, either. No, How Tim, do I know Tim, you're telling Tim, the truth? I'm not. I'm not pretending to be someone else. I'm not pretending to have multiple watches. How do we know that? How do we know that? I didn't say I have. I didn't say I have. But but how do we know you you do you don't have? I mean, you could have a mega collection. You could have six hundred yeah. pieces. That that is better. That is better than someone pretending to have okay, when they don't just... have it. But mom... so, no 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 Tim, your circular logic won't work. Here. Are you watching? What I, what is he what is he trying to accomplish? We're just making small talk. He's giving no, 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 me are you watching, ideas watching of watches to pull up and what my opinion is on them. Yeah. It's kind of my fault for encouraging it, but like, what does it matter? At the end, he's not trying to achieve anything. This okay. is silly. Tim like, Wizard was doing that because he had ulterior motives. You see, his ulterior motive was to scam people. What is what is Tim G's? I don't know. Motive? Why is he pretending to be something that? Well, I, I, we don't know what parts one. he's pretending, which ones are not, and it's uh, not. Uh, it's impossible okay. to prove. We can't prove. It's like the same thing about you. Impossible to prove. What? I, I'm not pretending to be anyone. I'm not saying, claiming but to have things. But we don't know. You're see. No, no. Here's the thing. You think you're not pretending to be anyone because you know what the truth is. What not? What isn't the truth? Whereas. It's it's the same thing. Like, but but I don't know what is truth or not truth of what you say. What? You know what, uh, Tim? Tim, no one's buying your circular logic. It's no. I, I, how it's can I don't, tell us something now. about yourself? Tell yeah, us I mean, something I, about yourself. What kind? What I, kind I of car to, do you have? I don't want to sell because I'm not trying to sell myself. Well, okay, but I, I just want to know what kind of car do you have? I don't have a car. Well, how do we know that? Car. You might have a Porsche. So how does it matter? I'm not exactly. You're not trying to question, sell or buy a anything. Okay, what, so Phil, that's Phil, it. I have, a, I, feel I have a question for you. What is worse? If someone says they have a Porsche when they don't have it, or someone says they don't have a car and actually have a Porsche? Uh, to me, who you, be you more know what? Of? To me, it's Phil, like you, what's the Phil, end goal? Who, who should you be more? The wizard of? was 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 saying saying stuff to. Uh, this the wizard was doing it because he had an ulterior ulterior motive. There's no ulterior motive. Or none that I can suss right, out. So yet. But however, I wouldn't trust G3. anyone who comes on with their without the camera on without right, their. So you're vouching for Tim G. That's all I'm asking you. I'm not vouching for Tim G. No. Okay, fine. Okay, so you're clearing that as well. You're not vouching. Oh yeah, of course. Okay, cool. No camera, no vouch. Okay. Uh, I mean, username okay. Mickey ten dollars super chat. I think Tim G wouldn't vouch for Tim G. He said he can never come on the cam- on the camera as well. So. Uh, no more talking, watch, collecting boats or cars unless you show real verified pictures of them too soon. I mean, sometimes people don't want to dox their stuff. They say like, hey, this is the kind of thing I have, but I don't want to show mine because you can see serial number and then you can 
there's all kinds of weird stuff that happens. Sometimes people do it uh, uh, for, you, you. I don't know. You never know why people do stuff. Let's just see how it plays out. Just let just let it okay. run out, and we'll see it where all it right. goes. You're, you're on record right now. You, huh. I gave. You. Okay, fine. Um. Yeah. There you go. Tim G says he's not pretending. There you go. Prove it otherwise, and you can't prove the negatives. So, it really is. It's 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 not that. Why are we trying to prove this? It's pointless. Instead, we should be concerned about the Rolex releases, not whether. Other stuff. Oh damn, my, right. my drink is here. Got a friend from, from high school bringing me something. Oh hey, 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 you guys wanna see this? This is uh this is pretty cool. It's a nineteen oh eight on the wrist. You tried it on today? No no, this is Alex. Shout out to oh, Watchaholic okay. Alex. Thank you, and by the way, thank you, Mickey, for ten dollars super chat. Uh Really appreciate that. Oh, and also I had uh, a PayPal donation from BW towards the Watches and Wonders. Really appreciate everybody who's supporting the show uh, and the trip to Watches and Wonders. I'll be live streaming like 10 hours a day. I'll I'll do my best. Look, this is practice. Good. We're so far, five hours, 40 minutes. Pretty good. Uh, when's so. the release? Yeah, it's in an hour. Hmm? When's the Rolex release tonight? I don't know. It could be, it could be like one o'clock. I think maybe we could. Say Someone we said two thirty, like was what time it dropped last year. Two oh, thirty. Yeah. But at the same time, like who knows? Maybe it drops in an hour. Right. <laughs> you never know with early. this yeah, stuff, it's right? Late. Oh, Phil, do you have WhatsApp? No. You don't have WhatsApp. Download WhatsApp. I'll give you my number. Here. Do to be honest, like all right, Tim. Tim, you. Tim G is making some very nasty comments. Now it's up to you. Oh, what kind of nasty comments? What Let's see what about? he's posted about OC. Oh, OC. Oh, okay, okay. Just, just calm down. Take a calm down. Calm down. I don't know what's going on. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, I'll just be right back a second. I'll be right back. All right, Phil. Uh, so, have you been to multiple ladies, or are you just trying to work with one? Person? Um, I'm just trying to work with one right now. Um, and my mom had bought some some a bunch of jewelry at this particular place. Oh, that helps. So yeah, I'm thinking that like so already I have like a a good standing. And like when I told her I wanted the black dial Daytona, she kind of like. She she was like super nice and she's like writing down like every watch I want and like putting it in the computer. And then even though I told her I wanted the, the the no date sub as like my first choice, um, I still have a chance of maybe she's like, Well, hey, if you know, if we get any of your watches in, we'll we'll call you, you know. Right. So um so I guess I was thinking about texting her tomorrow, but I, I'm probably just gonna hold off and just kind of wait wait it out. Good. see unless unless like i'm hoping maybe tonight like there is something i really really like and like who knows maybe there's a finally like a date just dial that i like and i can put that on my list too or something yeah what date just styles uh are... oh so i have i have the wimbledon 36 oh nice yeah but if you got another one what would which one would i'm actually get? on the list for a sub no date oh, and, same uh, nice. and a gmt so let's see which GMT? Hey, you know uh, what? The, yeah. You know sorry. what? I think we're gonna do. We'll, we'll t let's take a break. Let's take a break. We'll take a commercial break. You want to go to the after show? Or? Let's go to the after show. Yeah. Let's take a we'll take a commercial break, guys. Uh, I'll be back on when the releases happen. Uh, I'm just gonna go get a little take a take a little break. Uh, I need a break. You know, I I've been going for five hours. Uh, Vimal, thank you so much for helping me out. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, I'll take a little break. Take a little break. I think break would be cool. Uh, I'll be back on when the actual release drops. It's, uh, it's tough to go by yourself. Uh, but I, you know what? I'll be refreshed. We'll be back fresh. Uh, Phil, you got my number? Yeah, I got it here. Send me a text. Um, what I'm I'll do yeah. that. Send me a text. 
and uh, you know I, I'll I'll go back up online in like an, two hours. Maybe yeah, I'm probably gonna hit the you're gonna sack. Go to sleep? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but thanks hey, for if coming you, on, Phil. Yeah. Yeah. I'll definitely uh, come join you guys again. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Very cool. Nice meeting oh, you. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate you having me on. Yeah. yeah no, it's, 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 it's freaking awesome to have yeah. you on. I really appreciate, it. dude. Uh, freaking legend for for doing this. Uh, it's pretty pretty impressive that you had the balls to come on come on and speak your mind. That's what this show is all about. You know, getting diverse opinions, uh, the diverse minds uh, to talk about different watches. I think uh, today was a very educational episode. This music does not. Let me just change it. Let me just restart. It. Here we go. Okay, there we go, guys. If you like the show, make sure to upvote the live stream. Upvote. Hit that upvote button and, and come on uh, the after stream. And yeah, yeah, the link is a uh, is in the chat for the after stream. Remember, support the show and drop the link. Yo, Buckley. Yo, uh, after show. Yeah. Yeah. End it. Boom. Later, buddy.